It's the Bob and Tom Show. Well, the church burned down and no one knew what Pentecost Baptist was going to do. The Sunday brimstone got so that gum hot it burned up a church bus in the parking lot. <laughs> In a panic, the Reverend Dr. White called up an ex-member that hadn't lived right. He owned Joe's beer joint right across the fence. It's the same Joe's he preached against. He said, I don't really want to be a hypocrite. I got a Sunday school class about to have fits. We're all excited about revival week and been moved by the spirit, so to speak. <laughs> With all the souls we saved and money we spent, we thought God told us to sell that tent. I got a famous evangelist supposed to come and doesn't run out of chairs. Will you loan us some? <laughs> Joe says, hell, you can just use the whole dang place. Ain't nine on the jukebox, amazing grace. I ain't supposed to be open because of them blue laws, but we'll open tonight if it's all right with y'all. <laughs> Preacher said, well, I reckon that'd be okay. The good Lord works in mysterious ways. He's going to talk about Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, and I reckon I could do it from the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> At the first Baptist bar and grill. <laughs> it's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. <laughs> when the sinners finish one more round, We'll have dinner on the ground and go inside and hell pray we don't get killed. <laughs> the evangelists came with a well-dressed choir. They showed up around happy hour, looked around the joint, and didn't take it real well that the white ministry has gone to hell. <laughs> Ms. Mills that taught you Sunday school and two deacons in the back room shooting pool were sharing the Lord with a Jim Beam rep who was teaching Ms. Mills some line dance steps. <laughs> Reverend White was reading from the book of Luke to a tall drunk trucker about the puke you had John 3.16 memorized, trying to dry his ass out to get him baptized. <laughs> the evangelist yelled about the lights and the beer, said, White, you can't save any souls in here. This place ain't nothing but a den of sin. Ain't the kind of place Baptist ought to be in. Preacher said, well, we don't really need y'all here. You didn't do a very good job last year. Only save one sinner. I was Todd McGuire's a little less old bee that set my church on fire. <laughs> Joe's beer joint has done been revived. Only been here an hour and I done saved five. Sure, it's got mirrors and a big dance floor, but I finally found the flock God called me for. <laughs> They're at the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. Not a stained glass window anywhere in sight. Just a bloodstained floor and neon lights and a communion wine. And here is always chill. <laughs> We're here every Sunday. We're living large. The only church with a cover charge. <laughs> and if you don't like our doctrine and think we ain't devout, We'll have our bouncer throw your butt out <laughs> of the first Baptist bar and grill. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Bob and Top Show. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Look at, look at him over there. Hey. <laughs> Make eye contact. Make eye contact. There he is. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee. Can you feel it? You can almost feel it, Tom. What's that? You can reach out and touch the Super Bowl. It's almost here. Not really. we got another week. What are we going to... What are you going to do this weekend, man? What are you going to watch the game, man? You know, we had the uh, the initial uh, Pro Bowl <laughs> action no, <I'm laughs> last <really>. night. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. What'd they do? We watched some of that. Have, ping, you, ping ever, pong, <laughs> have you ever had knitting. a... Uh, uh, there was a certain point I had a buddy uh, who had a giant pole barn. <laughs> Uh -huh. And uh, we would go out there and, you know, have, roast a pig or whatever and have a great time. But there was giant pole barn. And just after he built it, it was totally empty. And I'm going to say it was like, it was 100 feet by 100 feet. It was huge. Just huge. That's what that looked like they were playing dodgeball in last night the, for the NFL Pro Bowl games. It was ridiculous. I think my daughter Sophie said... I feel like I'm watching something from the state fair. <laughs> and they were, and there were no stands. There were no there, yeah. people were were standing on the ground, lined up like at a kid's soccer game. Uh -huh. It was, hmm. it was ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I found that I have a life and was doing something else. I forget what I was, but I'm maybe I was and the, uh, trimming my nails. I forget. And if you've never been hit with a dodgeball <laughs> thrown by Derrick Henry. <laughs> From seven feet away. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I don't know how people are standing after that. 
So what are the activities in the Pro Bowl? I know they've got the when is the uh, the kick tack toe? Kick tack toe was the kickers. Was, last, was it or, last oh, night? Oh, I missed that. I don't know. It was last night, but uh, Sunday's the rest of the fifth. Sunday's the, the the flag football, and I can't imagine that kick tack toe's not on Sunday. That That's seems like be a funny. marquee event. Yes, Ace. No, I saw a clip oh. of uh, last year's Pro Bowl uh, flag football game, and the stands were packed. And yeah. it was it was a, a Vegas. It was a stadium though, yeah. but it was. Was it in the Raiders Stadium? Yeah. Huh. Well, last night's last, last night's, night's action was not. We there, watched the passing competition. Did you watch any of that? It looked like. <laughs> thank you. It looked like a carnival game. It did. That's why she said the state there fair. Were these, there are yeah. these things moving <laughs> behind, and, and they to, had to hit them. It had a, uh, the higher the number, the more points you would get. Yeah. Baker That's Mayfield. Fun. Yeah. Baker, Baker Mayfield was killing it. <laughs> and then you had Jason Kelsey snapping the ball, uh, uh, long snapping through his legs, mm -hmm. going through the five hole right in the middle. He got five <laughs> points. It was ridiculous. Wow. Uh, but you I can see you would have enjoyed it. Yeah, you, Actually, you would have loved it. Yeah, you would have you would have enjoyed it. I'll uh, <laughs> maybe read about it. <laughs> it had absolutely nothing. Was Gardner Minshew? Uh, yeah, Gardner was <laughs> there. Yeah, then, I, then I'll have to. He get was a kind tape of right of in the middle. Yeah, he scored twenty <sighs> points. He did all right. He did okay. Mm -hmm. What are they? Th and they're throwing at what? The targets. Okay. Targets. They have targets. Little round targets. Yeah. Things like, are moving. And just like a carnival. Kind of like ski ball. They had a big number ten. You could get ten uh, points. I if love you ski ball. I'd rather play it than watch someone else do it. You do love ski ball. I remember that. About you know what else I like? You know that one that's got like the the uh, what is it? Sort of like the sand on the bowling alley. You stand up and it's got that metal puck. Shuffle puck. Shuffle is that what puck. they call that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's real fun, that's too. That's a classic game. That's yeah. fun. Yeah. That's a classic mm -hmm. bar game. Mm -hmm. I like the one where uh, it's not shuffle puck, but it has uh, plastic bowling pins at one end, and, and they flip up. My grandpa oh, yeah. had that in his basement. We, no kidding. Yeah, we got to play with it all the time. As I kids. love that, too. I love the sound of that. Yep. I, I love the, the com competition. Why don't they have that at the NFL? And we also had to, you had to powder that one, too. Yeah. Yeah, it was, that was yeah. fun. Mm. Man, that was really, fun really fun. Those classics. Yep. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe, they should, maybe they should have them do a couple of those things. They may have pinball competition. <laughs> well, aren't they going to do closest to the pin where they Golfing, play yeah. golf? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That is... In the Pro Bowl? They, yes. Yeah. They're going to have closest to the well, pin. They no longer really have a... I mean, the Pro Bowl game, you're, you've got these very valuable athletes. You don't want them to go out there hitting each other really hard, blowing their knee out right. for... for uh, the Pro Bowl. And uh, the argument continues, is uh, golfing a sport or not? Or is it a, you can stand and smoke and drink beer while you're competing? That's not an argument. Well, well, well. John they, they're, they're, they're letting the NFL yeah. players do it when they might be injured, so I don't know. <laughs> now, we'll see. Um, uh, uh, coming up, we have a couple of interesting requests. A lot of uh, fascinating stuff in the news uh, today. Um Although I'm not sure we're going to be able to beat yesterday's story about the <sighs> cho the chocolate you're supposed uh, to give your lady friend. Uh, what was it again? I think I think the lady friend should give it to the man. But, you know, what was that? What was the actual name? It was uh, let's have period sex chocolate. Yeah, and called, that was yeah. from Kotex, exactly. Yeah, literally from the Kotex That's people. Let's have period. Sex. Seems clunky. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah it is. Yeah. It is. Five truffles made with vegan dark chocolate and shatavari. Shatavari, an alleged is. libido boosting herb. Mm. Yeah, the heart shaped box of chocolates is available at let's have period sex .com. <laughs> wow. Trying to take away the stigma of having sex during your period, which I didn't know there was a stigma. There's to none. It's Valentine's Day. Let's have period sex. <laughs> it's Valentine's, it's Valentine's Day. Day. Let's have period sex. Uh, Everything's red. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, unfortunately, this is causing, causing people to weigh in. Yes. Uh, Jesse writes, I was always told when the front door is painted shut, use no. the back door. Thank you, Jesse. When the <laughs> front Whoa. door is painted uh, shut. Jesse's grandmother was a wise woman. <laughs> pass that along. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an actual thing. We get all these Valentine's Day oddities. There's What was the one you can... Have a cat neutered. You name it after yeah. your ex, and they'll neuter it. A feral cat, and then they release it back. And in then the there's wild. A, the one where they name what is it? Insects. There was hippo poop or something, <laughs> wasn't there? Yeah. Or? How does this work? Do you you write a note to your uh, ex and say, hey, by the way, you might want to check the listings at the zoo. There. Maybe they send your ex a note. Well, these you. have been around. Like, you better, can't you send cockroaches yeah. And, yeah. and dead fish and <laughs> yep. yeah, all sorts of black roses? You know what? And, just I got why don't before. you just let it go? Yeah, move on. <laughs> <laughs> That's life in the big city. Okay. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, okay, well, in any event, um, if you're... <laughs> if you're pining, keep it to yourself. How about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if you... I don't still don't understand the Kotex company with the Let's Have Period Sex chocolates. I just... Okay. I'm not has, sure. Has Kotex uh, crossed the line from, like, it's not... We all know that that's a sanitary napkin. Right. It's not a Kotex. Like Xerox, Kotex... They also make tampons. Yeah. Yeah. I saying, didn't know I didn't know that Kotex was a brand. I thought it was like the material that no. yeah. all tampons were made out of. Kleenex. Yeah. For, for yeah. when I was growing up. Yeah, right. it's it's a brand. Kotex. Yeah. Kotex, Playtex, Stampex. Yeah. Well, they, well this, see, it's not like everything else. It was acquired um, by one of the major oil companies. Now it's Kotexico. <laughs> so, oh, you, that's interesting. You uh, can trust your badge to the <laughs> man who wears the, the badge. <laughs> the big bright Kotexico star. That's the old jingle. Very good. Sure it is. Do you remember that one? I like No, it. no, no. You can trust your car to the man who wears the star. The no. big bright Texaco star. I Milton remember Burl. that. that Milton Burl would old. come out dressed as a woman. It was so Oh, yeah. Unfunny. Texaco sponsored the whole thing, didn't yeah. it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah, sure but, did. And then, and then uh, well, apparently what happened was that people that didn't live in the East Coast got television sets and yeah. wrestling got better ratings. That changed right. everything. Uh, now, uh, we have uh, Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. You want to give me a little a taste of what's going on? Uh, we're going to uh, talk some more about the Pro Bowl games that uh, happened last night in Orlando. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is chasing Tom Brady. Uh, and we'll talk about Jim Harbaugh introduced yesterday as the new head coach of the San Diego Chargers. He had some comments. Dan Quinn, whoop de doo He's the new head coach of the Washington football team. Are you happy about that? Shut up. Oh, and uh, <laughs> Taylor Swift, I I hope she, uh, you know, we were talking about if she wants to have a show in Tokyo and then get to Vegas to see her boyfriend play uh -huh. in the Super Bowl. I hope that, you know, she can get to the airport on time and, and get a seat. And, right. Uh, well, yeah, apparently sure. there is a fly in the ointment, if you will, about her getting all the way to yes. uh, to Vegas. But as Tom would say, he kept telling me, oh, they'll figure it out. They will. It's yeah. Taylor okay. Swift. Yeah, that's one phone call. Yeah. Not if Tony Dungy has anything to say about it. Yeah, well, he's not the commissioner. <laughs> he wants to ban uh, Taylor from uh, all NFL games. <laughs> really, Good luck. Really missing the point. Did it? you guys see a stat? I think yesterday she's brought $331 million into the NFL this year. Uh, that's that's got to be ridiculously that's high, high right? That yeah. sounds like the guys who keep track of how much time we waste during the March Madness. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was like, come well, on. Whose ass did they pull that out of? I don't know. Uh, we'll find out what's going on with uh, real sports and Taylor and everything else in the world. Uh, the uh, the most interesting thing to me in sports, you don't even have, Chick. I didn't give it to you. Okay. Well, why don't you do it as special correspondent? It no sweat off my nuts. It involves <laughs> the uh, solar eclipse. <laughs> No have kidding. Been, have you been following the story it's at all? It's a big deal. Heck yeah, big deal. I game have, deal. yeah. Is it really? Didn't uh, we watch the last solar eclipse together, me and you, Josh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we walked out of lunch at a restaurant. We went, oh, oh well, how about that? <laughs> yeah, we Did had, you wear your goggles? <laughs> I'm blind. Yeah, we, we, had had nacho, we had nachos and mozzarella sticks, and we had our special plastic yeah, glasses. Yeah, I ordered yeah. goggles for you. Yeah. Well, the um, this is going to be a really big one. Really good. And it's there's a tie-in to sports, which we'll get to coming up. Right now, it's quiz time. Um, Christy Lee, uh, Yo. you, got, you got married when? May twenty third. And uh, of this of this last year. Yes, sir. And then your husband moved into the house when? Two weeks ago. Okay. It'll be two weeks Sunday. Ah, uh, no. So Why the, Russia? the significance right. of this is, um, uh, you are getting a new bed. Yes. What sleep kind? number bed. That's right. A sleep number smart bed, Christy Lee. And uh, you have one right now. Yep. Uh, but you're getting the... Uh, I need big. I need king size. All right. And that means uh, there'll be uh, one person on either side of the bed. Now, you can set the firmness level of your sleep number bed at the touch of a button. Your firmness level is... 35. I like a soft mattress. So you like what is, in effect, a water bed on your That's side. That's not water and, bed. And uh, Andrew prefers what? He likes a firm mattress, so it's at 100. So, but, so this is not going to affect anything in a bad way because everyone's well, going to be happy. Well, the dog's like a 100 bed than a 35-2. <laughs> I've so noticed they're on that side. So you're exiling the dogs to Andy's <laughs> side. Nice. Uh, <laughs> who's Andrew? I thought it was uh, Arnold. Andy. 
Andrew. Andrew. Oh, that's Andrew. short for yeah. Andrew. That's very helpful. <laughs> uh, the sleep number smart bed is so smart that it adjusts and uh, you can change it at will. And it also is so smart it'll tell you what your best ideal comfort level is over time. Don't believe me? Well, how about J.D. Power? They rank sleep number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in store. Check them out. J.D. Power, the famous rating agency. You can find out those ratings, jdpower.com slash awards. They uh, have a list of all the 2023 awards, including that one for the Sleep Number Smart Bed. I know I love my Sleep Number Bed. My Sleep Number, a crisp 85. Thank you. Uh, you'll find, the, of course, those beds only at Sleep Number stores. You'll find those at sleepnumber.com slash show. And right now, this is a very special event, of course. The President's Day sale comes around but once a year, and right now, They've uh, cranked up the savings 50% on the Sleep Number Limited Edition Smart Bed. Plus, some very special financing is available for a limited time. So uh, this is the weekend to uh, finally check out the Sleep Number Bed and uh, keep you and everybody else happy. Be a nice Valentine's Day gift. Get on it right now. Sleepnumber.com slash BT Show. Coming up, the eclipse in space. And a song from Mr. Goddard. I've got an early morning request, Pat. Okay. Uh, get out your guitar. This right. is the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. My wife listens to ASMR. I don't know if you guys know what ASMR is or stands for. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. And I don't know what that is either. It means whispering. That's all that is. Bob Ross, he's, he's whispering, and he paints on the canvas, and it's all scratchy, and he takes the paintbrush and dips it into the water and hits it on the easel to beat the devil out of it. <laughs> and then sometimes Bob would have his squirrel in studio, and the squirrel would be like... <laughs> That's ASMR. <laughs> I'm, I'm home from school, third grade, just being like, I don't know why I'm so relaxed. But, Bob, you're doing it right today. <laughs> That's what my wife listens to every single night. Her favorite lady, she's got three-inch fingernails, and this Wolverine woman <laughs> is always just click-clacking on things with their fingernails, typing on a keyboard, and out of nowhere, she'll be like, I'm going to eat a big pickle. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, I'm about to fall asleep right now. <laughs> Turn this off. I'm driving. I was part of the team that launched the first, the first low salt, low sugar peanut butter into the category. It was called Simply Jif. It was targeted towards diabetics. I wanted to call it type two peanut goo. But... <laughs> Yeah, of course you don't feel good, Greg. You ate an entire rotisserie chicken at 11.30 at night. You shoved the whole thing in your fat face in six minutes, Greg. I think you ate the rubber band that holds a legs together. I mean, come on. My birth certificate? That document is 54 years old. I also don't have the Declaration of Independence. Because I don't know if you've ever seen an organic peanut butter kid go off the deep end. <laughs> It is not pretty. Okay, these kids, they spend 18 years eating it, then they go off to college. They have one bite of a Jif sandwich. Six weeks later, they're passed out on a park bench with nutter butters all over their face. It's I, I made this crazy movie called Freddy Got Finger. Mm -hmm. And it was, uh, you know, I wrote it, I directed it, and it was a really, really crazy movie. And, uh, you know, it won the Raspberry Awards, and the people said it was the worst movie ever, ever made, made, and all this yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. but the, that was sort of the point, was to make the, the crazy movie. The worst movie, movie. yeah. Mm -hmm. kind of the point of it, right? So now what's happened is, and, and really what's been a really exciting thing about going and, and doing these shows is, you know, people are coming out to the shows. They're bringing their Freddy Got Finger DVDs, and and it's turned to, uh, it's sort of turned into a sort of a bit of a cult, sure. you know, 
mm-hmm. smash. I've gotten a call from the studio recently. They said the, the DVDs have been selling through the roof. They've sold over a million units of the didn't, DVD. And didn't I hear that you, you're going to do a director's cut? I want, now I want to do a director's cut of the movie <laughs> because, you know, <laughs> because there are scenes that just, you know, when you, when you edit a, you know, when you do one of these commercial studio movies, especially a movie like that, they focus group it and you had to change things and tighten it all up. Right. So there are some, some crazy scenes that I'd like to get back into it. But also it's sort of just the, I think the irony of doing a director's cut for me sure. personally is pretty funny. Whenever there's a movie, there's always a porno movie that someone makes based on the yeah. title. Yeah, it was no. called Freddy Got Fingered. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to you, Tom Green. <laughs> people actually, to be honest, the things that people really like out of the movie are some of the sillier scenes, not sort of, not so much the gross scenes, but mm-hmm. people, people always come up to me and they say, Daddy, would you like some sausage? Which is this line from the movie. Daddy, would you like yeah. some sausage? So I sing that on stage. Uh, you know, come, come see me on tour. We'll, we'll be singing some of the hits. Sing along. But, uh, right. <laughs> always, that's your stairway to heaven? Pe- yeah, that's my stairway. Uh, the Bum Bum song would be my stairway to heaven. That, that went to number one on MTV, the Bum Bum song. When you Google Freddie Got Fingered, the first thing that comes up, the first line is Freddie Got Fingered quotes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Yeah. And then you go to that page in the sausage. Yeah. The sausage organ comment is the very first line. Yeah, there's all sorts of very silly lines in the movie. Yeah, it's there's not, a whole pile of quotes yeah, here. Yeah, so I was in a rap group when I was in Canada when I was a teenager. That was actually What were they called? We were called Organized Rhyme. We were actually had a record deal when I was mm. 19 years old. No with, kidding. Right out of high school with A&M Records and we had a number one hit, you know, in, in many Canada? markets in Canada. We were the much music uh, video award of the year for best rap video. That was sort of the... Is that uh, on your website? Uh, you can find it on there. Yeah, you can find it on there, and you can find it on YouTube. And, uh, you know, the thing... That was sort of my first sort of realization. Hey, I, I want to work in show business, Which, you know? Yeah. I was I was sort of like, all of a sudden I had this record, and we were touring, and we were doing radio shows, and I, I went and started my radio show and right after that. Mm-hmm. And... Um, you know, it was initially a rap music show that I turned into a talk show, which then turned into my TV show. But, uh, but so, uh, yeah, I, I, I've had a lot of great rappers on my on my website too. Like if you go on on, on TomGreen.com, you can see me rapping with uh, Too Short and Exhibit. There's this funny video of me rapping with Exhibit mm-hmm. where I surprise him with this rap that's ended up on YouTube. It's got two and a half million views now, and mm-hmm. you know it's sort of funny because you see these rappers who just aren't expecting me to start rapping, and then right. I start rapping in their face, which is fun. So. <laughs> can Morning <I> laughter <laughs> <laughs> just might be the best medicine. No matter how hard I try, can't keep my hand. Off my <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Here we all are. One of our uh, favorites, comedian Ian Bag today, and also Willie G will uh, Willie G hey, be Willie. our guest today. Uh, and I'm a, I, I think we may be getting an episode of News We Failed to Mention. I'm sure uh, we are. Starring Jeff Oske. Oh, we, J-O! Um, now, we were talking about this new idea, the uh, AI Ace. <laughs> Um, no, no, we're not. Be? No. <laughs> what is the purpose of this? Now, why do we need an AIA? You know what? I'm interested <laughs> to see how this is going to turn out. You go right ahead. Well, all this AI technology, maybe we could have um, uh, the AI ace joke of the day take on the real ace Cosby joke of the day. He'd lose. Uh, it, well, there we go. But you're referring to it like it's a real thing. This is the first phase as the AIs take over the world. Uh, coming up, we have an obscure thing in the world of sports. But first, we have a, a request. Um, I want to say a special hello to our uh, requester. Okay. Uh, because uh, congratulations, cancer-free. Yay. A lot of folks dealing with um, a lot of stuff out there. And uh, I'm uh, pleased to say uh, that uh, that Aaron is uh, cancer-free. That's great. Um, uh, he says, uh, dear Tom and fellow blundering idiots. Oh, so mm-hmm. you, so oh, you can see cool. why that's a, wow. so. And Aaron is also the uh, first one listed in the cancer-free booklet. I see. Uh, yeah, uh, A-A-R-O-N. Except sure. it's spelled E-R-I-N. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, that mean it, thanks for that's that. That's a girl. So that's a lady? Yes. That's a lady, Aaron? Yes. Not um, necessarily. She can uh, spell it any way she wants to. Or he. Um, okay, fair enough. Now, this person is writing uh, from A-T, excuse me, A-T-H-O-L, Idaho. Atoll? No, Athol. Uh, I, I believe it's Athol. It's Athol, I know. Oh, that's right. We've been through this before. Well, there's a, there's also, um, there's a, a couple cities named Athol. Outside of Barcelona. Um, mm. uh, no, in no. here in the United States, oh. uh, Pat. I want to say Athol, Massachusetts. Yeah, we, got, we have the yeah. sign on our door over yeah. there. Somebody sent us. Uh, and uh, it would be very awkward if you lived in Athol and had a speech impediment. 
Uh, all people would that would even out. Yeah, they say it. Long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, in any event, uh, you know they have an Athol High School, <laughs> <laughs> the Fighting Athols, Athol Police. Yeah, they're they're, they're the Brown Spokes. <laughs> um, however, what does Aaron want to hear? Uh, Aaron wants to hear uh, the song about uh, the monks and the cheese. Pat, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to set this up. Okay. This involved um, some French monks. And they had a uh, during the pandemic. They had an ex an excess amount of cheese. They were yeah, trying to get uh, here, rid of. Here's the news story. They had three tons of cheese, and they were desperate for people to buy it. Mm -hmm. It sounds pretty good. Um, uh, Chateau Abbey's raw milk semi soft cheese discs. Is it Chateau? <laughs> Chateau. You just said Chateau. You know that. It's right? spelled C I T E A. All right. Oh, I thought it was no, like okay. Citroen the car. Remember those? Okay. No, so I, I think it would be Chateau. Is Chateau no, just outside of Athol? It would be Chateau. <laughs> oh, Chateau. Okay. Ah, so thank you, Chateau. I Josh, can't sit over this. Picking up alerts. on the, 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 the relation between <laughs> Athol, Idaho. Oh, boy. And, uh, <laughs> hey, look, I'm just trying to read the mail. Yeah, I, I, I hold the Mike, emphasis uh, on Mike, trying. Mike, Mike Mark is responsible for this. So you, it's pronounced Sit, Sito Abbey? Is that what it is, Chris? Must be, yes. Okay. Yeah. Did you ever have one of those cars, one of those Citroen? I did not have a Citroen. Will you stop talking about that? I think they're available in Europe, and you probably saw one when you were picking up the cats in Paris for your sister, okay? <laughs> I saw, no, I saw one. Not I, normal people don't have those no, cars. I saw one upside down on a road in France with a dead body lying right next okay, to Okay, that's a great story. Can we get to this I one? I remember thinking, I wonder if that lady knew she was going to be lying on a road with those shoes on. Anyway. Um, the um, You're judging a woman who was dead? That's one of those awkward things your brain does. I had no idea. No, no, it's one of those awkward things your brain does. Thank you. I had no idea you had such an eye for fashion. And <laughs> <laughs> worry about oh. some. Uh, it was really shoes. weird. It was the car was upside down. Oh, it was awful. Think about that for a while. Um, That's okay. really going to bother you if you um, keep thinking about it. So once again, the monks at the Sito Abbey had three tons of cheese they had to get rid of. By the way, they won the silver medal. Hey, hey, it's monk cheese. Here, here's Pat in the international food and drink competition <laughs> in the Lyon. Best song setup ever. Yeah. You know what year the monks that that abbey was founded? Uh, 1610. 1098. Ooh, I was way Imagine. off. Marked down from 11. I wouldn't want to take a black light into that place. My God. Oh. It'd be like bat guano in a cave. Oh, oh no. <laughs> There'd be so much dried up. Uh, okay, Pat, you got a song about That's that? That's not my name. My name is Pierre Hardon. Oh, oh Pierre. Oh, monsieur. I didn't I see you in on, there. I sleep on your couch. I eat your cheese. I kiss your wife. Oh, oh you rascal, Pierre. Oh. Here we sit. On a bunch of fromage, we have almost trois tons spoiling in the garage. Hey, hey, we got monk cheese, <laughs> the creamiest cheese around. But nobody is buying, lack of customers shut us down. Oh, what happened to your French accent? We are praying for sale. <laughs> Won't you order s'il vous plaît? We've got quite a nut here. Buku bills to pay. Hey, hey, we got monk cheese. Tons and it's starting to stink. We could have thrown in some homebrew. Cause lately we started to drink. I am done now. Oh, oh thank you. Uh, thank I'm you. going to have a cigarette. Oh, yeah. Merci, you've earned it. Do you know what these monks Merci. make? Uh, they make a lot of wine too, right? I don't know, do they? Yeah. I think it's a big thing. You get your wine and your cheese and your monks. They probably do smoke. Also, they make uh, pocket... Uh, what? Yeah, there's one Abbey. A lot of, a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They're very highly those prized. Yeah, oh, yeah. Abbey of Majora is the uh, name yeah, of that That's exactly right. That anyway, uh, Aaron, congrats, Latex is a congrats on being cancer-free, Aaron. Oh, sorry. Um, and uh, I'm sure you put up a good fight. Good for you. That's great news. Now... Uh, we uh, turn back to the sports page with uh, Mr. Chick McGee. Uh, the 2024 Pro Bowl games results from last night. The Thursday Skills Showdown <laughs> in Orlando. The NFC took a six-point lead oh, on the AFC after the opening night. Oh, thank Christ, I had my of the two-day Pro Bowl games <laughs> competition. Can you, which can you bet on this? Pits crap? AFC players. <laughs> I don't think so. Against those from the NFC and various Skills Challenge. A total of six challenges took place last night. One of which will see the winner announced Sunday. Can I make a suggestion? The Olympics-like shut-up. Olympics-like event concludes Sunday with five more skill challenges. This happened Sunday. 
Madden, NFL head-to-head, gridiron gauntlet, kick-tack-toe, tug-of-war, and move the chains before the highly anticipated seven-on-seven flag football game. Yes, Tom. I think they could make this a lot more interesting with some of these skill tests if they had some of the uh, folks uh, that are commentators have to do it against these guys that are constantly being critical. Yeah. Oh. Why? That like, doesn't make any sense other than to embarrass the people who are, and and they wouldn't show up to work. Wouldn't you want to see Stephen A. out there? No. No, Stephen no a. I wouldn't. No. I like, would. I wouldn't want to hear some of the players broadcast a game. <laughs> well, good luck next year. <laughs> but, they, but they do. Well, some of them are good at it, and some of them aren't. Well, you know my rule. I've always wanted to see one of those commentators at the 50-yard line get tackled <laughs> just once. <laughs> what? <laughs> Precision passing last night. Baker Mayfield won that for the NFC, edging uh, C.J. Stroud. The best catch winner last night will be revealed on Sunday. The closest to the pin, Brian Anger and this One is this, for that's, the that's, NFC. That's with golf, not horseshoes. <sighs> that's correct. Yeah, and I think ninety-eight percent of people you hear closest to the pin golf. You know it's golf. Absolutely, you know it's yes. golf. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you, you are old get man, out more. muddy the water. You know that? No, it's just this is so muddy dumb. The water. <laughs> uh, high stakes. Uh, Miles Killebrew wins for the AFC. Starting off with football in hand, each player attempted to catch punts from a jugs machine. That's because the uh, jugs machine was named that because it looks like two big old. Now this is uh, taking place in Orlando, right? Yes, again, Orlando. Yes, the players that succeed in catching the football without dropping others will advance to the next round. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Christy. Yes. You you have heard of the jugs machine? Yes, of course. Right. Um, and the uh, the Pro Bowl is taking place in uh, Orlando. Orlando, Florida. Yes. The most famous jugs in Orlando, Florida, oh, I would think, yeah. would be those of uh, the the bar known as the Booby Trap. You, do you remember the Booby Trap? Uh, the Booby Trap Lounge. Mm -hmm. Josh, did you ever see the Booby Trap? No, I never did. Uh, uh, it sadly, it's been taken down. Uh, oh, okay. It was um, it was uh, two buildings that housed a uh, strip joint, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but uh, the buildings were made to look like two large boobs. Here it comes. Here yeah, it comes. they were. Stand by. And uh, oh yeah, no, I'm familiar with this. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And by the way, to make it authentic, one of the buildings was slightly larger than the other. Oh, <laughs> must have, must have slept on the on the left side. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, I remember Rodney Carrington was weighing in about this. Rodney. <laughs> Rodney Carrington is our guest. I was in Orlando, Florida here recently. I went to Disney World. Mm -hmm. I spent $3,000. I stood in line for 14 hours and rode three rides. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not real sure, but I think I got screwed on that deal. <laughs> <laughs> I asked was a little sore when I left the Magic Kingdom that afternoon. Uh, also, uh, went to a little... Can you say bar? Mm, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We went to a place down there called the Booby Trap. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, that's famous. That's exactly what the hell that was. Mm -hmm. A Booby Trap. And uh, I tell you, I've never been so happy to see a place in all my life. It, the building is in the shape of two big old boobies. You know? <laughs> and, and it's like a Wizard of Oz for grown men. You know, we pulled up to it. I, I just got out of the truck. I skipped up to the door. A little midget answered. <laughs> he said, can I help you? I said, we're here to see the wizard. Is she here? <laughs> oh, by God, she was. <laughs> <laughs> she had two big old friends with her, and I kind of like that. Uh -huh. You know, I tell you, you, you know one thing you can't do is lie to your woman when you've been to a <laughs> bar. You can't do it. You can't do it. Where you been? <laughs> How much money did you spend? Nine thousand dollars. <laughs> Where's the car? They got that too. <laughs> Where's your clothes? Hell, I don't know. <laughs> Who's she? Hell, I thought she was you. <laughs> <laughs> you become dumber than hell, don't you? <laughs> then later on, it'll all clear off. You know, y'all be laying in bed together, and she'll ask you, "Well, <sighs> did you like it?" <laughs> oh God, no! It was awful. <laughs> oh, big, tall, blonde, big. Women, I damn near threw up. The whole time I was in there, I was thinking about you. I love you, baby. They got a place where I live in Tulsa. They, there's a bar that'll come get you if you need a ride. <laughs> Instead of, look, look, they got like a little truck. Got two big old on top, sirens. They'll pull up in your driveway. 
<laughs> no, no, she's here. Pull around the block and I'll run through the house. <laughs> Rodney. Rodney Carrington, currently on tour, by the way. Yes, he is. I want to check that out. Um, now, <laughs> do you want me to do a sports interruption? Sure. Go right ahead. Now, you're aware of the uh, forthcoming solar eclipse. Um Yes or no? Eight, no, time I wasn't. One time in April, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's... First uh, of April. Apparently going to be a really good this one. This is what I think it is. It's really cool. And actually. I'm the, the path, as I understand it, kind of goes from Mexico sort of right through the Midwest. Uh, Monday, April 8th is the day. Passing through sort of like Evansville, Fort Wayne. Indianapolis. Uh, Cleveland. Uh, in any event, um, the Cleveland Guardians, formerly known as the Cleveland Indians... Uh, have an interesting issue going on here. Their home opener is Monday, April 8th. They, uh, mm. yeah, their first, I want to say, I think their first 10 games are on the road. Whoa. But this is the home opener, and the game might be happening at the same time as the eclipse, so they're trying to decide what they're going to do. Oh, it's, it's, a brief uh, pause. Give everybody it? goggles or their they, little glasses. They may and... open the ballpark and have fans come in, and this is going to be a huge deal because it's my understanding this is a... Uh, a full-blown to total total totality. total yeah. eclipse. Let me see. It says uh, now. For example, it'll be in Central Indiana. It looks like at about three o'clock in the afternoon on that day, and it, it says it'll last approximately four minutes and three seconds. And but this will have a uh, what they call totality, meaning that the uh, um, th the uh, sun will be completely obscured. By the moon briefly, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be there'll be a bunch of activities and people dancing and uh, you know calling up the gods that sort of thing. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's there's a good map of the totality. Yeah. You can see there. Yeah, it kind of goes across the Great Lakes, Lake oh. Erie, Lake Ontario, heading up to Canada. Oh, April April eighth, two thousand twenty four. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a big deal. But I it, it's uh, I think there'll be a lot of activities that are going to be associated with it. Yes. In various places. But yes. Obviously, the, if it's cloudy. That'll be a problem. By the way, Indianapolis Motor Speedway is having a big event there for that. Yeah, I will be responsible for bringing the sun back. Oh, at the end of the eclipse. Is that because you're Nasdaq? Thank you. Thank you very well, I much. I hope you're not sick that day. I hope so too. Yeah, yeah. You, you'll be plunged oh, into a lifetime of darkness. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you couldn't just can bring it back? Can you, can you imagine a lifetime of darkness? Like, no. in, when would this? The like 1880s or somebody? It, it, would that be that's that recently that somebody could get away with that? Man, I don't know. Maybe in some areas. Yeah, not knowing what the eclipse was. Oh, I think with the internet you could get away with it now. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine? <laughs> you could. You could probably blame it on Taylor Swift. There'd be some conspiracy theory. <laughs> In the 1300s, some uh, yeah. some yeah, uh, tribe man. in the plains, they look up. All right, who pissed off the sky yeah. god? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the dragon ate the ball. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> What's yeah. What's going on? Which one of you stepped on a tulip or whatever? When <laughs> okay. You... Please bring it back. <laughs> throw the virgins off the cliff. <laughs> man. The more we can throw off the cliff during totality, the longer we're going to. Don't what? we have enough trouble with the dinosaurs chasing us? <laughs> uh, come on, people. <laughs> Anyway, that's coming. It'll be interesting to see how the, uh, what the Indians, excuse me, sorry, Guardians. what the Guardians of, uh, try to do with their professional baseball. Well, I've got one answer for you as far as the eclipse uh, goes. It will be available on your high-definition television, and that's where I'll be in my <laughs> compound, yeah. secure and safe and wallowing in the luxury of peace of mind with my Simply Safe home security system. Simply Safe is trusted by the experts, named best home security system of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report. Simply Safe has everything you need for whole home protection, HD cameras, indoors and outdoors, advanced motion sensors, ent entry sensors, as well as hazard sensors that detect fire, flooding, and temperature change. Simply Safe system is easy to set up yourself without any special tools or know how required. I did it. I was just going to say, you did it. But if you prefer, you can get one of their expert technicians to come to your house and install it for you. Plus, with the 60-day risk-free trial, if you don't love your system, I don't know how that would happen. But if you don't, return it for a full refund. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And for Bob and Top Show listeners, we got a deal for you. Order now. Get 20% off any new Simply Safe system with fast protect monitoring by visiting simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember... There's no safe 
like simply safe. Got that cool stuff with the uh, like the doorbell kind of camera thing. And yep. how many cameras do you have? Seriously, nine. Nine. So oh, it's, I have it's, nine and a spare, actually. Oh. So it's kind of like yeah. switching the Super Bowl if you mm -hmm. want to see what's going on at Chick's house. I have a switcher. I have the three dire uh, three directors. They each have an eight-hour shift. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, that's simplysafetom.com. Thank wrong. you, Simply Safe. If you don't believe me or Chick, just read the reviews. we got some cool stuff coming up in the news, um, including, um, do you know what hot slaw is? I do not. I, I didn't I either. I think I want to. Try it though. It, Coleslaw on a sandwich, right? I, a little bit different than that, but it's. I mean, I know it sounds kind of like a sexual position. And I gave her the old hot slaw last night. I don't. She's thinking like, we were on that dress for a year. I did not think. Uh, I didn't think that either. Well, but maybe it's just me. Won't walk, walk right. Well, happy <laughs> Groundhog Day. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Become a Bob and Tom VIP and get your Bob and Tom fix twenty four. Talking with uh, comedians Mark Klein and Nick Griffin. Nick, anything new in your life? Any? Uh, well, no. I mean, I'm just out there, you know, trying to make it work. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you got to try to enjoy yourself. Obviously, I, you know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a positive guy, very optimistic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've noticed that. <laughs> what I like about you? <laughs> yes. I feel Is this like, your New Year's uh, resolution? Yeah, I feel uh -huh. like you know, 2010's your year. <laughs> no, I just I I need to be more realistic, and mm -hmm. I feel like you know. Um, you got to enjoy yourself in the moment because, you know, in an hour, a day, a week, it's, you know, it's all going to suck again. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. that's life, right? Good, sucky, good, sucky, mm -hmm. sucky, sucky, sucky. You say that in Japan, you're going to have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I, uh, mm -hmm. It's just hard adjusting to the sucky part of life because when you first get to Earth, everything's sweet, you know, when you're a baby. Mm -hmm. Everyone's kissing your ass, hugging you, feeding you, and then <laughs> <laughs> boom, acne, erections, calculus. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me, is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. seeing some of its coldest temperatures in years. The mayor of the state's largest city has opened warming facilities for people who are homeless or don't have reliable heating. The extreme cold in some places has caused heating fuel to thicken, affecting heating systems. The roofs of at least two businesses in Anchorage collapsed under the weight of the snow. To the south, the state capital of Juneau set a new January snowfall record of 6.4 feet of snow. And that's a look at things you may have missed. More of the Bob and Tom Show coming up. Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em with the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, 24-7. Special guest, Randy Gandhi. He's a Randy Gandhi. 
Randy Gandhi. Randy Gandhi. Randy Gandhi. Randy Gandhi. Randy Gandhi. The answer is. The answer is sputum samples. <laughs> sputum, sputum samples. samples. Exactly. Oh, mm. The question. What do you call someone who's a spitting image of junior samples? <laughs> <laughs> The answer is yes. Kenmore Weed Whacker. <laughs> <laughs> Kenmore Weed Whacker. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what did Barbie yell as she made love with Ken in the tool shed? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is I, sir. I, sir. I, sir. I, sir. Yes. The question. <laughs> Tough envelope. What does the coat girl say to Sammy Davis right after she says, hat, sir? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is Stevie Nicks. Stevie, Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. Stevie Nicks. <laughs> what happens when Stevie Wonder tries to shave himself? <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Mark Sweeney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. But it's strange living back in America, you know? I've, I mean, America's like a foreign country to me in a lot of ways. Why? I, just, I don't know. Things are weird. You know, I have friends that don't eat bread anymore. Everybody's on a low-carb diet. No. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down a little bit. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. <laughs> Can I just say that I really that. love doing this program? Oh, thank you. You know, as a com this is like such a fun... It's actually entertaining and fun to do it, you know? And as a comedian, you, you do a lot of shows. And, uh, you know, like I, was, I did a radio program a few weeks ago, and they introduced me as the bad boy of comedy. Mm -hmm. I never said I was the bad boy of anything, nor do I want to be introduced as such. Mm -hmm. they Only in comedy do you ever hear that. You never hear that in other professions. You never hear, he's the bad boy of gynecology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, the, see, the, see the guy putting on his yeah. gloves with had his fingers his, cut off? Had his finger in a dike. <laughs> <laughs> a thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces drawn by Edvard Monk. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> Hello. You're listening to Bob and Tom 24-7. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. My favorite rejoin music. I enjoy this very much. Mm -hmm. Who are these guys? The Late Show? Is that what you said? Is that right? Do you know? I'm not sure which one this is, but it's Who nice. is it? Ty Benatar's son? Who is it? Uh, of course, that's exactly <laughs> correct. Uh, now, we have... Um, Patrick Benatar? Uh, right. uh, coming up, comedian Ian Bagg will be joining us. Willie G is going to be joining us. Uh, what have you got over there at the sports desk? Uh, Patrick Mahomes is chasing Tom Brady, Brock Purdy, Miss Purdy, and playing in the shadow. Brock Purdy... Playing the one? Put, uh, Brock Purdy has to put up with Joe Montana right on his tail, playing for the San Francisco 49ers. Do I hear something really weird? I would love to hear something really weird. Joe Montana um, is uh, part of one of the companies that's the most successful marijuana company in California. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Really? Good for him. Yeah, really. Hmm. A little oddity there. <laughs> I forget what Super Bowl it was, but you know the Montana story, the famous one, is that they're driving down, I think it was against the Bengals to beat them. It was like 17 seconds left or whatever. And before they start the drive, Montana comes into the huddle and he goes, hey, is that John Candy over there? He points up into the uh, stands, and it was John Candy watching the Super Bowl. Oh, oh cool. So everybody looked around. Oh, yeah, Hilarious. John Candy. I love John now Candy. Now let's yeah. go win the game. And now, and what did that do? <laughs> Put everyone at ease. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that's something I would do. That's a natural-born leader, people. Okay. Yeah, that's you. That's me, baby. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Anyway, where am I? Uh, the Chiefs seek to become the first team in 19 year to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls when they take on Purdy and the 49ers in Vegas on February 11th. However, we're not allowed to hear about it because what happens in Vegas 
stays. That's the right. Place. They may not even broadcast it. So good, good luck. Of course, 19 years ago, back-to-back -back Super Bowls, a uh, guy by the name of Tom Brady and the New England Patriots. And Jim Harbaugh fulfilled one of his goals. He won a national championship with his alma mater, Michigan. Now he's looking to capture his ultimate goal, a Super Bowl, hoisting the Lombardi with the San Diego Chargers. Here he is. L.A. Chargers. From the nope, San Diego. <laughs> they moved back. Here's God. I didn't know that happened here overnight. He, here he is from yesterday's news conference. I want to. I want to drive my RV out. I want to drive my RV out and uh, and 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 go to a trailer park. Uh, you know, like down by the water or uh, by Disneyland. There'll be two that I've researched that are close to the facility, and uh, I want to Jim Rockford it for the. Uh, <laughs> oh. For the next uh, couple months until we move to the new facility. Good reference. I had that thought going through my head. <laughs> you don't think that's funny? It's dated. Oh, well, my God. Did Jim Rockford live in a trailer? Did you know he lived in a trailer? No, I've never actually seen uh, Rockford, Rockford Files. Rockford Files was a good show. I think yeah, I'm sure. Enjoy I'm sure. I think you'd enjoy it. Yeah, I think I would, too. Uh, here's here's more from Jim. It was I just before I was... Ted Lasso. Can you... Huh? For just a second, what? Stop talking. That was me. I'm sorry. I didn't say anything. It was. It was me. I'm, I'm over here. Sure I'm over tall. here. Not. <laughs> I'm over here not paying attention. I'm looking for something. <laughs> Here's more, Jim Harbaugh. I try to emulate Ted Lasso uh, in a lot of ways. That's 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 TV show. Yeah, that's that's one of the best. Jason Sudeikis, uh, you know, tremendous. I got a great story of how I met Jason Sudeikis. Oh, don't uh, go for you, Jim. Don't leave anything. I think out. that yeah. there's. A life lesson in every every one of those episodes. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah. If you haven't seen that show, piece of advice, if I may, watch the Ted Lasso show. <laughs> All right. That's, that's great. That's funny. Uh, Coach, what about uh, <laughs> the team uh, that you're taking over in football? And I'd rather have them do this. It's fun. I know. That's uh, yeah, alarm bells should be ringing a everywhere. Of, what idle chatter there. Yeah. Bro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Want to hear something cool, Josh? And, uh, yeah, I do. Um, so do I. You know what this is? Yeah, this is the... Is this like a cover of the theme of Rockford Files? Yeah, this is yeah, it. it's done it, yeah. You got kind of an aggressive organ. You left out the best part. What's that? Hey, this is Jim Rockford. Leave him message and it's always angel going jimmy i'm in jail again man if you could get that sounds like a fuller version of that yeah what that is doesn't that? sound like the actual it says theme. mike post I, hmm. okay. well he may have composed it yeah let's try this version here uh no that can't be right that might be incidental music yes. sounds like driving to pick up rita moreno being played on a harmonica <laughs> uh okay how about this version here They're all good. Yeah, that's a great tune. Now go ahead and play the cool thing that you said you asked if I wanted to hear. <laughs> oh, that, that was it? Where's the... He, I think someone has someone has compiled all the answering machine messages that started the, the show. Really? Where where are those, Tom? I'm sure they're there. I... Actually, he's looking around like they're over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best thing I've ever seen. We'll have those coming up. Is this the real one? No. You ain't you ain't hitting on it. Okay. It says Rockford Files main theme. <clears throat> Uh, and the Washington uh, football team, uh, they've come to an agreement with Dan Ken uh, Dan Quinn. Not only is he a Dallas Cow an ex Dallas Cowboy, but he's a coach. So oh. great! <laughs> this is a great idea. His defense, uh, the Green Bay Packers scored early and often. Well, I can't wait. Well, yeah, for you're this talking about guy. the mighty Quinn here. Yeah. How about oh. the, hey, the mighty I Quinn? I that one. Yeah. Good. He's going to lose. You didn't like that song? I like that song. Hates it. <laughs> Loves the Rockford Files theme. Hates <laughs> the Mighty Quinn. Mighty Quinn, Quinn out. Why don't you like the Mighty I just, I, just I, I can't back up any of my opinions anymore. I just hate it. Man, for <laughs> You know what? That is fair. That is fair. You know, I'm just saying. Sometimes you don't know why. If it comes on, I change the channel. Here we go. Fair enough. Rockford. Hey, Jim, uh, this is Angel. Uh, the horse stole my wallet, and they got me down here at the cop shop. So if you'd want to come out and bail me out. So funny. Bail me out. That'd really help. But yeah, help he, he lived in a, a, a sort of a shabby trailer, of course, on Malibu. Rather unlikely. Oh. But, uh, but funny.
Yeah, he would have been a neighborhood association to out yeah. of there. Yeah, they, the the Malibu yeah. Colony would have had him yeah. hanged. <laughs> but, uh, uh, more sports coming up. Well, that yeah. James Garner is charming. He could probably. Oh, he uh, he's is great. charming. Could, he has the wiles, the too. Oh, I loved him. He is Maverick, perfect. Nichols. Yep. Come on. Awesome. The Notebook, right? Notebook, uh, yes. He was in. Uh, um, uh, we had that great song by. Uh, Escape. Uh, I'm in a vacuum. <laughs> James Garner, won't you save me? <laughs> that song, never mind. <laughs> oh. Coming up, uh, you think Travis Kelsey and uh, Taylor Swift are the only romant uh, romantics in the history of the National Football League? Oh, I beg to differ, people. I can wait. The landscape is also coming up. Oh, uh, I can't coming wait up, to hear that. Uh, sex injuries. Oh. Uh, in the bedroom Broke coming Dick. up in the Broke news. Uh, <laughs> this is the Bob and Broke Tom Dick. Show. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Text us at 888-262-8661. More Bob and Tom next. I like soccer now. I love to see our soccer team lose, not because I'm against them, mm -hmm. but because I love to see the look of disappointment in all these fake bandwagon fans. I was in the airport when Landon, Landon Donovan and the boys lost. The right. People were in the airport crying. Oh, look at that. We were just so we're just so proud of them. We love our soccer team. Really, name three players. <laughs> <laughs> just, How true. Just say you like soccer. First of all, we shouldn't even have a soccer team. We should have soccer players. But our national team's only function should be to go to other countries and allow them to stomp us because <laughs> they can't beat us in anything else. Mm -hmm. We go to every other country. We take their best athletes in all their other sports. Soccer is the only thing they're still, they still have a shot at beating us in. Why would you steal that country's joy? We still have fun. We still have porn and mm -hmm. other things that make us happy. <laughs> you know, a tremendous point. sport. Yeah. And these other countries, all they have is that. And the last thing they want to do is lose to somebody they hate and the sport they perfect. How pissed would you be if the Lakers lost to Al-Qaeda? <laughs> like, you understand? <laughs> Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. You tell the story again, and I always Which love one? the story about when you and Cheryl were playing and you, the day that you finally, well, the, the day that she quit playing one-on-one -on -one against you. You mean when I finally beat her? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this, is, this is Reggie's was, sister, yeah, of course. A couple of years ago. <laughs> uh, she, 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 wasn't, she wasn't gonna play anymore. Well, when I sent her shot into the <laughs> my mom's rose garden, <laughs> we started playing horse. Right. But you gotta remember, Cheryl was always two to three inches taller as we were growing up. So mm -hmm. I started to catch her in height my freshman and sophomore year of high school. Mm -hmm. So up until that point, Cheryl dominated me. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she dominated on everyone, you? though. Oh, yeah. uh, I don't feel so bad. Uh -huh. Didn't she score? A, how many did she score that one night? You, you, you scored, what was it? 45. 45. And she came in and... You know, I'm gloating. Because <laughs> uh -huh. you know, we had played in the away gym. She had played at the home gym. So mm -hmm. my dad was with her at... the their game, and my mom was with me, so we get in the car. Hey, I had my best game ever. Uh -huh. 40, 45 points. Strider started. Strider, what did you do tonight? And she looked at my dad and look, kind of looked down. Like, uh -huh. My dad's like, oh, she had a pretty good game. I was like, oh, yeah, but I bet it wasn't 40, 45. Yeah. Uh, no, she had a really good game. <laughs> well, what's really good? Uh -huh. She had 105. <laughs> By yourself? <laughs> I'm like, they, the team scored 105? No, 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 son. <laughs> Cheryl. Cheryl scored. <laughs> 100, 105 and points. Five I bet that record still points. stands. I believe it does. Mm -hmm. They beat that team 179 oh to my 12. God. The point guard, which is still a record, had 39 assists. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was like crazy numbers. <laughs> You ever put your nuts on an anthill? No. You haven't? No. 
Me and my buddies used sure. to do that. We do anthill rides. Whoever can stay on the longest, get your nuts out, ride an anthill. See, these are the advantages to growing up in New York. Yeah. That never came up. <laughs> There's a few activities in the big city. We never got sure. to the point where, you know something, I'm going to just drop my nuts on the anthill for an hour. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the something great thing like about that. New York is if you did drop your nuts on an anthill, no one would notice. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, would you? Have you seen the crazy guy on the anthill over on third? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's not, isn't he? Yeah. Wow. It's dangerous, though. One year they swelled up to look like a sack of kneecaps. Uh-huh. <laughs> kneecaps, you say? <laughs> nice. We play gay chicken. You ever play this? A gay t- chicken? Prob- probably gay. not. Gay uh-huh. chicken? Oh, gay chicken. Hold on. Have you ever asked that question and got a yes? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, gay chicken, yeah. I was in a gay chicken league for six years. Chicks played. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. Darn right. I can tell he's got I soft love hands. love the gay chicken. He's got soft hands. Why do I think I don't want to know how this I don't know. want to know. Oh, no. It's a real chill game. It's a... Uh, you stand there, you and your buddy stand there, you hold on each other's penis. Right. Okay? Right. That's and the right. first person to let go yep. is gay. That's ah. right. I see. Gay chicken. So, in other words, you guys. Now, if you look them in the eyes, you get a warning. <laughs> There's a lot of hand washing in this game. If you look them in the eyes, you get a, a warning. Welcome to a new show called I've Never Been uh, That Boy. Yeah. <laughs> to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend. It's just a woman on a bus. So that's how you know you're too high. Comedian Dwight Slade. What's bugging you in the world? You mentioned a couple things before. Uh, I'm tired of the roadside memorials. These people were places where people wrecked their cars. They wrecked crosses. You know, it's a nice sentiment, but I don't drive in your graveyard. Don't put your headstones on my freeway. You're bumming me out. Bravo. Couldn't agree more. Uh, and have you ever seen one of these roadside memorials on a curve ever? No. no. Always on a straight Yeah, yeah. straight away going to Nebraska. Nebraska. Well, what the hell happened? <laughs> 3,000 people a day get through here. One guy, ah! <laughs> Maybe it's good he's dead. He could have run into you. You don't know karma. <laughs> people go, well, it reminds people to slow down. It's for safety. That's not safety. You're driving along. What is that, a wreath, a teddy bear? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I am so there with you. That is brilliant. brilliant. Uh, and, and my friend always pointed out, he goes, how come Jews don't wreck their cars? Which is, you know, you wonder. That's true. These Christians, terrible drivers. Jews, 10 and 2, going down the road. Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller. This chick likes to say. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hi. There's Pat Godwin. Hi, chick. He's in the performance room. Coming up with the brand new Washington football team head coach song, Dan Quinn, the mighty Quinn. That's like coming that. up. Uh, sure. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. And Malibu Pink now available in Steven Singer Jewelers 24 karat gold roses, the number one gift for Valentine's Day, exclusively and only available at IHateStevenSinger.com. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Uh, today is Groundhog Day. Yep. We're not going to make a big deal out of it, but uh, it is a great, good movie. I highly recommend it. Remember when I uh, I came out and saw my shadow uh, coming out of a... Uh, we, we couldn't get a Groundhog Day, a, a Groundhog suit, so we got like a big beaver. We got a beaver mm-hmm. suit. That's the year I came out of a porta john mm-hmm. dressed as a beaver. <laughs> ah. I remember that. And then I had just purchased a brand new leather jacket, Washington Redskin jacket at the time. Yeah. Gorgeous jacket. That This was the morning he decided, well, let's put him down in a sewer. <laughs> and he can come up out of the sewer and be the groundhog. Oh, that's, that's right. I had crap all over my new jacket. Oh. And I don't mean dirt. I mean crap. This was back when Some Goat Boy of... meant something different than Goat now. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh, it wasn't yeah. the greatest of all time. Oh, it was, poor uh, chick. It was, uh, well, thank you. Those were, those were good days. And then there was the time that we reenacted... Uh, 
The groundhog being shot on the grassy knoll as yes. it came out. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Saw his shadow. Sort of an oh, the humanity moment. Uh, here he uh, comes. Oh, oh my uh, God! Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll give you a, a report on the groundhog, blah, blah, blah. blah. Taylor Swift and uh, Travis Kelsey, uh, despite what you may have heard from some people... We'll see. <laughs> uh, they're uh, they're seeing it, they're dating, I guess, and they're uh, very happy together. Yeah, they seem to be enjoying themselves. Not just the first uh, NFL Hollywood starlet, famous lady, if you will, uh, to be hooked up with. Oh, is this, so is this Red Grange? Remember, uh, <laughs> Red close, Grange? Close. Do you remember uh, Tony Romo's girlfriend? Remember her for a little bit? <laughs> oh, yeah. Jessica Simpson. Yeah. Jessica oh, that's Simpson. Right. That's exactly oh, right. Nice. She was in. Uh, she was in the stands uh, watching her favorite cowboy play and lustily booed by the fans. Oh. You know, hasn't she now got enough money to buy an NFL team? I don't, yep. I don't she's know some what kind the deal of self entrepreneur. She. She's like a Kathy Ireland. She has her own shoe line, clothing line. Well, good for her. Wears. Please go, savvy. girl. Is Kathy Ireland successful? Very, one of the most successful women. hit my ears being successful. Kathy Ireland? Kathy Ireland, no. Yeah. She's one of the most successful women entrepreneurs. Is she the place kicker in one of those movies? Necessary Roughness. Yeah. Necessary Roughness, yeah. Kathy Ireland. Oh, yeah. Remember that? She, they bring her out as a place kicker, Tom. Wow. She was a Turns former she model. Can kick, she can place kick. Good for her. Isn't that great? There you go, girl. Uh, then we had Tom Brady, and uh, remember his ex-wife, a famous lady? Remember this? From Blue Bloods. Sure. Yeah. yeah, who's G that? Giselle. Is Jizzy in Blue Bloods? No, no. His the the woman. Uh, there's a woman in Blue Bloods who is mother to his uh, son or one of the kids. Oh, the, the, oh, the woman, oh, two of the kids. Oh, Michelle Monaghan or something, right? Is it's that right? Some, I mean, it's yeah, Somebody something like that. Like that. Yeah. that she that had a kid with Tom Brady. Yeah, but that didn't make the the kind of uh, no wave that this whole thing is making. I'm not even halfway there. Well, yet. No, but yes, Ace. The one that dated the the giant player? You got that on there? What's the giant player? Which one? <laughs> yeah. The, the, the uh, Shailene Wood, it, Lid, Woodley uh, and oh, Aaron yeah, Rodgers. Of course. That? They were together uh, forever. They were engaged yeah. or for a week. Give or take six months. <laughs> uh, Russell Wilson and Ciara, they're, mm -hmm. they're still There's, together. Yep. Her name is Ciara Wilson, Tom. They're married. It's nice. Good for them. Isn't you know, I don't nice? know why this is becoming a big uh, problem with anybody. Just let what him about have... Joey Heatherton? Didn't she date? Right, yeah. <laughs> oh, you, didn't Joey... she date? Wait a minute. Lance Rensel? Well, was it Lance Rensel or Lance Allworth? I don't oh, remember, no. but... Lance Allworth is the good Lance. Oh. Lance Rensel one of them, the one One of them had an himself. issue. Yeah. yeah. I, I, uh, I forget which yes. one. Yeah, the Rensel. AFL Glamour Boy, I believe they call <laughs> Rensel. him. Rensel, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think, Ace, you're thinking of Y.A. Tittle. I think no, a giant player was married to. I just want to say why a tittle uh, to see Jason what chick would. Yes, married to somebody on Law and Order. Mm. All right, glad we got that cleared up. Don't forget that okay. Kurt Warner uh, had uh, was married to. Oh, the wire uh, Gozer goblin. the Gozerian. Yes, from, uh, from, uh, <laughs> Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> no, no, honey, I think that's a great hairdo. It fits your face. Aim for the flat top. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then my, I think this is the most interesting one. Which back, one? Back in the fifth. Back in the fifties. <laughs> The Los Angeles Rams had a quarterback by the name of Bob Waterfield, and he married Jane Russell. And wow. they were married for quite a while. I want to say like 20 years. Oh. However, here's the cool part. Jane Russell and Bob Waterfield went to high school together They at Van Nuys High. Oh. Wow. He became an NFL quarterback. She became became a sleeping with producers to get in the movies. <laughs> See Wasn't how she this works out? Wasn't that a, there's the Howard Hughes connection there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, Russell. her and uh, the outlaw and uh, Howard uh, uh, spent I don't know how much money designing the bra that she would wear, and it was it was <laughs> oh, quite man. the uh, quite yeah. the uh, people didn't think she was wearing a bra, and it was <laughs> what, what is it about these rich guys that they go so berserk? Over boobs? Over no, over, <laughs> you know they, they they end up getting tigers and hippos and they design brasiers and I, is Jane Russell the one in the picture where Sophia Loren is really like I can't no. believe you're wearing that? No, or is that uh, Jane? Who's that? That's I Jane forget which two. Mansfield. I know Mansfield. who's two you're okay, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I saw a Merv Griffin show the other day on the internet, which is on your computer now. I don't uh -huh. know if you guys know. Oh, that. Oh, cool. But uh, they had Mariska Hargitay. On Merv Griffin in 1960 something with her mom Jane Mansfield. No, I'm kidding. Gosh. And Mariska was like two years old. Aww. It's adorable. Aww. She's gorgeous. Yes. Adorable. Up to this day. Jason um, Sayon was married to Angie Harmon. 
Oh, that's oh right. okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Angie that's Harman. right. I remember Angie Harmon. She had this, <laughs> all those dents in the back of her throat. She was in the Bahamas with us <laughs> one time. Made her, made her voice sound yeah, like this. Yeah, she had a real voice. I remember Angie uh -huh. Harmon. Every time yeah. I see her, is, is she 6'4"? Or is she, she seems no. like she's very, very big. Evidently, Rizzoli and Stiles, or Isles, Rizzoli yeah. and please, Isles, please. had like 38 seasons. They did, yes. <laughs> he had no, no, no idea. Chick no, is right. No, it was on for it, a long time. It's ungodly no, long. What? It, it's on every day of lifetime. And I know you like it. What are you talking about? It's awful. Well, it's a show, show called Rizzoli and Isles. What? Never it was heard like of it. It's, it was it's a okay. police detective. It's, it's still out there. Show, yeah. <laughs> it's a lifetime. Yeah. Never People aren't it. turning the radio off because we mentioned a show you've never heard of. <laughs> Rizzonian <laughs> Styles? Yes. You've got to Rizzonian stop Isles. She Isles. Was a, she was a uh, Boston cop. <laughs> you have to admit uh, that don't there you guys, are... Do you have, guys ever do anything like, like to remind yourself that you're alive, you, you not watching to television? You realize there are things out there that you're not aware of. Well, I'm, glad that, I'm glad people watch them and just I wish we would keep more of them off the road so I could get around a little easier. So I thought the Bob Waterfield, Jane Russell, I didn't know they That's were a hell of a story. together. Yeah, yeah, it's a great story. Very and sweet. you know, Joan Crawford. Uh, yeah, if Pepsi I would have given you $10,000 if Christy would have known who Bob Waterfield was. Do you remember Bob Waterfield? No. You don't remember the name? Nope. Oh, he was. Uh, if they, I did, I would lie. They were the first. <laughs> Thank you for your, <laughs> as always, Tom, thank you for your support. <laughs> um, uh, that was the Rams' uh, offense that went crazy in passing uh, yardage, and I forget who the receiver was. Uh, Elroy Hirsch or somebody, maybe? Crazy hmm. crazy legs. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe not. But Don uh, Hudson? Don Hudson was a Packer. What I remember that. What the hell are you guys talking about? Well, we're going, we're going obscure Packer. on you. Yeah, and Swift and Kelsey, what, they won't be the last. That's right. Yeah. Oh, God That's right. No. You know who I've heard about? Rizzoli and Isles. That's who I heard about. Well, They're isn't Olivia Culpo dating seasons. somebody? Okay, I can't too? stand it anymore. Can you All move right. on? <laughs> God's sake. More sports. <laughs> More sports coming up, including we'll, uh, we'll talk about Taylor Swift. She might have a problem getting to the Super Bowl. Um, you know, making connections and flights from Tokyo, yeah, sure, of course, that's yeah. a crapshoot. Now, on a much more interesting thing, we've got uh, injuries that occurred while having um, uh, 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 issues in the sack, if you will. Booty. Ooh, booty and uh, sex booty, injuries. Booty sack. Uh, we have um, um, <laughs> uh, the headline literally says, poop falling from the sky in upstate New York. Of course it does. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, how about you doing this? Never heard of it. Yeah. Never heard of it. How about, how about okay. using that here? All right. Never okay. heard of it. Uh, and uh, frogs in your luggage. But right now, if you're having that Super Bowl party, you've got uh, just a couple days to get this organized. Because if you want to have the best Super Bowl party, the one they'll talk about, the one they'll talk about your party using Roman numerals. That's how good it's going to be if you employ Gardner's Wisconsin cheese at your party. Am I right, Josh? You're absolutely right. Artisan meats, quality cheese. Gardner's Wisconsin cheese has everything you'll need to serve up amazing snacks during the big game, <laughs> including their famous squeaky curds. That's right. They're made fresh in the morning, most often delivered to your doorstep at about 48 hours nationwide. So we're talking fresh, my friends. Plus, new flavor out there, but only for a limited time. Do not dilly-dally. Pick up some Gardner's Buffalo Wing Cheese Curds. That's right. They're only available through the 6th of February. This is a must for you football fans out there. Buffalo Wing Cheese Curds. Everyone will love them. In a related note, last night I sliced up some <laughs> Buffalo Wing cheese, yeah. one of their uh, bricks, uh -huh. right? And I was cutting it, and I had to, a piece, and then another piece. I went, this is so good. I'm going to cut this up, and I'm going to bring it to everybody at work. Yeah. Oh, good. Where is it? Where is and it? I put it in the container. It's still in my fridge at oh. home. So I apologize. I'll have to eat it myself this I weekend. Would've, the only thing I would have changed about that story was I ate the entire container. What I, <laughs> I wanted to. So yes. No, I'll bring it in uh, Monday. Oh, it's great. always great. We can send Ace over to your house to pick it up right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's not doing anything. Ace? I'll give you my garage code. <laughs> Don't forget about the oven-baked cheese as well. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, baby. Grill it, skillet, air fry it, microwave it. Be sure to try oh. Gardner's newest flavor, jalapeno oven-baked cheese. Spicy, ooey-gooey, just perfect for that party. Now, Josh, what if you're serving Bloody Marys at your party? 
I'm glad you asked, Tom, because they have these meat sticks that would be perfect for stirring Bloody Marys. My goodness, get that plastic swizzle out of there. You're killing the environment, you plastic swizzle jerk. That's right. We see pictures of a turtle with a gardener's meat stick in its nose. That turtle's a smiling. Yeah. I'll tell you that. <laughs> they also have super sharp aged cheddar, summer sausages. Check out all the flavors and all the bundled package deals at gardenerswisconsincheese.com. Try them out. You're really going to see the difference. And I think you're really going to like what they have. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend 59 bucks or more at GardenersWisconsinCheese.com. Thank you, Gardeners, for being a part of the show. We sure are fans. Oh, thank you very much. Now, uh, coming up, we've also got Claw Machine in the news. And if you're thinking of enlarging your male member, you may want to stick around. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. all right. Uh, I'm not going to tell you why. All right. You, you may need a ball-peen hammer. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Essential morning radio all day and all night. Yeah, go! This is Bob and Tom Radio. Radio. News we failed to mention with Jeff Oske on the way on a Friday. Speaking of Jeff Oske, he's going to be on the road with our own Pat Godwin coming up Saturday, February 10th. Pat Coslett Simplicity Furniture Shop in Evansville, Indiana. Well, Mark, why would we go see a comedy show at a furniture store? Well, they have a stage set up. They have two great comedians in, and you can do some great furniture shopping while you're there. I know Jeff Oske, very excited. He's being paid with a brand new couch for doing his stand-up routine, and you can see it live. That's Saturday, February 10th, Evansville, Indiana, Pat Coslett's Simplicity Furniture Shop. If I could speak English, apparently I need more coffee, and I'll go do that while you go do something else and keep it here all morning long on Bob and Tom Radio. I'm Chick McGee with your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Patrick Mahomes is chasing Tom Brady. Brock Purdy is playing in the shadow of Montana. And winning the Super Bowl would be another major step for either quarterback. Mahomes and the Chiefs are trying to become the first team in 19 years since the New England Patriots to win back-to-back -back Super Bowls when they take on Brock Purdy and the 49ers in Las Vegas on February 11th. And if Taylor Swift is jetting from her upcoming concert in Tokyo to Vegas to see Travis Kelsey play in the Super Bowl, she'd better already have a place to park her plane. Officials at Harry Reid International Airport and the FAA say space for aircraft parking in and around Vegas has been spoken for. Four airports in the area have a combined 475 parking spots. By comparison, the Phoenix area, where the Super Bowl was played last year, has 1,100 private spaces, and those are all sold out. Jim Harbaugh fulfilled one of his goals by winning a national championship at Michigan. Now he's looking to capture a Super Bowl. He was introduced yesterday as the new head coach of the San Diego Chargers. And the Washington Commanders have an agreement, and Dan Quinn will be the new head coach of Washington. He was the former defensive coordinator of the Dallas Cowboys. NBA winners last night, Lakers, New York, Philly, and Cleveland. Top 25 college basketball, Nebraska upsets number six, Wisconsin, and Arizona beating Cal. I'm Chick McGee, and that's your Bob and Tom Sports Update. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. What's the longest any of you have had to sit on the tarmac? I want you guys with me in Las Vegas because oh, uh, Gore, oh when Al right? Gore was yeah. the vice You're president right. was You're landing. Right. Yeah. Right. I was making out in the back. It didn't seem like a very long. <laughs> that doesn't count as a mile high club if you're not off the ground. Well, you don't She's know. Right. You weren't there. Like, All right. We you can't. You can be on a plane to be in the mile high club. No. You, you got to be up, up in the air. Got to be up in the air. It has to be up in the air. Those are the rules. It was. Yeah. We. I think we were sitting there for about an hour. Yeah. It was. Changed my vote. I was so pissed. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Paul. And this is Storm. And we're Paul, Paul and Storm, Storm. And you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We have uh, a guy that is, uh, I mentioned earlier, internationally famous for a little something. It's the only talk show devoted to the artistry of uh, the bass guitar. It's a little thing we like to call Bass Talk. Wow. It's the Bass Talk Show with Mark Christopher Roman on the bass. Uh, yes. Marcus, how are you, sir? I'm great. How are you? Good. Well, this bass player, he was having trouble finding a gig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a so, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> so he decides to take a part-time job in a funeral home. Uh-oh. Okay. So he's working with a funeral director, and they're late one night, and uh, 
a local guy named Stanley Smith had just died. Mm. And he's there on the table in front of him, and they're just amazed at this guy's certain body part. Oh. It's incredible. It's it, astounding, actually. Mm-hmm. It's bigger than any porno stars you've ever seen. Wow. So between the two of them, they decide this has to be saved for posterity. Mm-hmm. So they remove the body part. <laughs> mm. And they, well, who would know, right? right. right. So they remove yeah. it and they stick it in this great big glass jar mm-hmm. uh-huh. with formaldehyde. Mm-hmm. Well, the bass player decides he's going to take it home and show his wife. Mm-hmm. So he takes it home and he sets it on the table. <laughs> he says, honey, come in here. you got to see this thing that I just brought back from the funeral home. Yeah. So she comes in and she takes one look at the jar and she goes, oh, my God. Gosh, Stanley Smith is dead. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see why people flock to the airwaves to hear the fabulous show. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio 24 7. 24 7. 24 7. Like, you can't get a regular <laughs> cheeseburger in L.A. Like, if you get a cheeseburger at a restaurant in L.A., it's always a burger that was happily raised right. by the owner's barber, Jeff, <laughs> spelled G-E-O-F. Of course, yeah. yeah. I just want a cheeseburger. I want a burger made from a cow <laughs> that was born and raised to be a burger. <laughs> All right? I don't want a burger with dreams or hope. <laughs> I want a burger that knew the deal. And I want a cheese that is 40% plastic. <laughs> All right? I want a cheese that when I poop it out, I poop out a keychain. <laughs> My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. Ah, uh, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm-hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Mike McRae, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Bob Show. Hello, hello, hello. We're getting ready for the Super Bowl. We're getting ready for Ian Bag to come visit us. And uh, Willie Griswold will be on the show this morning. And here's Tom. Oh, well, thank you very much. I believe we're going to uh, uh, look at the big screen. And there we go. It's a special edition of, uh, of uh, uh, Jeff Oske and news we failed to mention here on the Bob and Tom program. Jeffrey, good morning, sir. Hey, thanks for having me, Thomas. Uh, we're doing a little early today. Uh, oh, I'm excited we have a new sponsor this week oh. at the Failed to Mention News Desk. Our new sponsor is Ed Septic, Septic <laughs> Sewage and Plumbing. You have your choice of any plumber, so why not pick one that won't have sex with your wife while you're at work? <laughs> That's Ed Septic, Septic <laughs> Sewage and Plumbing. Yeah. They'll bang your pipes, but they'll never bang your wife, and that's a guarantee from old Ed. Oh, well, well that's well. nice. All <laughs> right, now let's get this started. Now, here's Jeff Oske with what you failed to mention, Noose. Pew, 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 pew. A 73-year-old man set a new world record for being the oldest man to swim the legendary Ice Mile. What you failed to mention, the man said he could care less about the record. He just wanted the feeling of having a tight scrode once again. <laughs> the water's cold, you see. A tight scrode. <laughs> tight Chilly scrode. water. There's a new, uh, there's a new, uh, let's see. Oh, man, I should learn how to use this thing. A new. Uh, oh, there's a new Hot Wings hot seltzer alcoholic <laughs> drink. What you failed to mention. Hey, I'm a fat drunk. What do you have for me? Well, sir, have you tried our new Hot Wings Hot Seltzer? <laughs> Sold! <laughs> A little playlist. Hey, uh, an Amish man's horse and buggy were stolen while he was shopping at Walmart. Well, you failed to mention, uh, so uh, they, uh, they aren't cool with cars, but you can shop at Walmart? Do they know how the products got there? <laughs> a uh, new study says sex gets better with age. What you failed to mention, absent from the study, Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Prince Andrew. Oh. They didn't ask, didn't ask those fellows, did they? They did not. <laughs> a snowboarder got stuck in a gondola overnight and almost froze to death after the workers shut off the lift and 
and went home for the night. Well, you failed to mention, hey, lady, enjoy your free lifetime lift ticket. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the lawyers will be calling, you see. Yeah. A circus truck carrying <laughs> animals caught on fire on an Indian oh, highway. Geez. Well, you failed to mention, it didn't help matters when the circus's clowns tried putting out the fire that they used a bucket that contained only confetti mm. instead of water. Oh. <laughs> It almost fed the fire. Yeah, really, yeah. Right, yeah, right. 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 <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, I'm so glad I didn't do this while Eon was here. Uh, a couple is fighting over their baby's new name. Well, you failed to mention that's going to happen when one of you wants to name your baby Ivermectin. <laughs> Ivermectin. Ivermectin. Yeah, no That's one, a COVID no one reference. No one argued over that. Oh. That, that joke would have flown great two years ago. Hey, uh, maybe I wrote it two years ago and I just got oh, yeah, What about that? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting casual. Well, it still works, by the way. Ivermectin. It's just rectally you have to apply it in case you're okay. getting, getting the COVID. You know, suppository ivermectin available uh, in the pharmacy near you. Oh, if you like that one, you're really going to love this one. All right. They think they may have found Amelia Earhart's plane. What you failed to mention, uh, uh, rumor is two dudes just found Buddy Holly's burnt up Les Paul in a field in Iowa. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's, that's sad. sad, really, isn't it, Pat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nope. Is the guitar still playable? <laughs> nope. He played a Strat, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I uh, actually, right. I looked it up. It said Les Paul. Oh, good for you. <laughs> really? Because yeah. I knew you would call me. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff does his research. <laughs> I spend minutes preparing. <laughs> this is a dangerous <laughs> room. Um, You're not using cards anymore. You've got a teleprompter. Yes, I love that's it. right, Chris. I like the laid back style. <laughs> Taking it to a whole new level. See, I think he's leaning back because he's trying to figure out how to get the thing to scroll. <laughs> so these pauses are here it comes. Uh, we had a pizza and circumcision mix up in the news this week. Whoa. We failed to mention it's a pizza place where men are forced to always leave the tip. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> you know what I like to hear from my audience? Instead of laughter, someone saying, that's good. Hey, hey nice see, one there, buddy. You yeah. See, the implication is the foreskin tip has been sliced oh, off. Oh, oh okay. You, oh, my gosh. Yeah. You, you leave that for the Thank server. Thank you, Tom. Oh, they, yeah. yeah, spell that out. Nice they tip. never would have figured it out. No. <laughs> Thank God you're here. The thing hey, I love hey, about look. Tom is he knows our audience yes. is intelligent. Yes. Oh, yeah. And he plays to it. That's right. What a jerk. Yeah. No, there's, and there's, finally. No, there's, you know, there's, there's, by the way, when they, if they take off the tip, uh, there's extra cheese. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh boy. That's if they don't take off the tip. Oh, Do sorry. it right. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and finally. <laughs> Are you uncircumcised? Uh, no, I got, I'm, I am. My son's not. Really? Uh, yep. How'd that happen? Uh, I just had him not cut it. <laughs> Did you, did you whose, whose decision was that? Was that yours? Oh, I should have just said yes. <laughs> really, you really, was the, really should. Was, have. The, was there an argument with the lady friend? Oh, no, God. it was up to me. I'm the man. I get to pick what happens <laughs> to my guy's member. If it had been a, if you'd had a daughter, she could have picked. Right. Yeah. Uh, Whatever it, they're hey, doing. I, here's 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 my thing. If my son wants it, I, I'll happily pay for the surgery. Now? Uh, yeah. Whenever. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, I don't know. As Bob used to say, I had it done, <laughs> and I couldn't walk for two years. <laughs> of course, I was four days old. Yes, of course. <laughs> and enough about my son's penis. And back to the news. Yeah. Uh, U.S. syphilis numbers, and finally, thank goodness, U.S. syphilis numbers have risen to their highest point since 1950. Uh, what you failed to mention, damn, I put all my money in Bitcoin. <laughs> I've been Jeff Oscar, and this has been the news that we what you failed to mention. Failed to mention. Jeff Oscar. Right, Jeff. Uh, that was good. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Mm, <laughs> very good. Very good. Yeah, those syphilis numbers. <laughs> yeah, boy. They're off the charts. We had. It's interesting that we had two syphilis stories this week. Mm -hmm. Yesterday's story, I think, was uh, kind of got uh, glossed over I, I, or, or skipped over, I should say. That was, to me, fascinating. Do you remember what it was, John? Uh, now, uh, I yeah, do. they found syphilis well before they uh, they thought that it was originally 
brought to a certain area of the world. Yeah, by Christopher Columbus, yeah. right? And he's the one that's supposed to be the father of... Well, when, when, <laughs> when Europeans came to uh, what is now yeah. what they called the New World, they thought that they arrived with SIF. Now they're thinking it's uh, maybe 12,000 years ago they found that in some old bones. Yeah, researchers used paleo and paleopathology techniques hmm. on 2,000-year-old bones unearthed in Brazil, found the earliest known geonemic evidence that bacterium that causes syphilis was in the bones, and it also mm-hmm. causes two other related so diseases. So the whole Columbus this thing may be the uh, myth of syphilis. Oh, them bones. It very well could be. Yeah, uh, <laughs> famous book. Yeah. How would you like to be known as the father of syphilis, all right? Well. Jeez. Well, you know, who knows? That'd but be a rough uh, one. Uh, uh, just kind of a kind of interesting story. Uh, we have uh, Chick McGee at the Bob Tom Sports Desk. Uh, if Taylor Swift uh, is jetting from her upcoming concert in Tokyo to Las Vegas this uh, week from today, give or take a day, to see uh, Travis Kelsey... She'd better already have a place to park her plane. According to officials at Harry Reid International Airport and the FA, that's the FAA. Yeah. (laughs) They say space for aircraft parking in and around Las Vegas is already spoken for. Four airports in the area have a combined 475 parking spots for private planes. By comparison, the Phoenix area where the Super Bowl was played in 2023, has 1,100. Those are all sold out as well. Pilots flying into Vegas still might be able to drop the passengers off and park at other airports in the region. That's what they're hoping for. Between the casinos and the mountains, Uh there's about... uh, 20 miles of runway <laughs> in any direction. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. According to the Post, uh, Washington Post, not New York Post, if Swift flew from Tokyo to Vegas to Melbourne in her Dassault Falcon 900 jet. Oh, nice. The uh, roughly 29-hour trip might burn about 8,800 gallons of fuel and create about 90 tons of carbon emissions. Oh, mm-hmm. whatever, yeah. So, thus, that is more than all the carbon emissions that six average Americans will produce this year. Well, Taylor, just tell your fans to plant a tree. That'll be fine. Swift's publicist has said she buys carbon offsets to compensate for her jet travel. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you know, I think it's fine. Um, all every, half the, all of the owners, are, I'm sure, are flying in private jets. Can't they just touch down, have Taylor get off and fly it somewhere else for... Whatever, 24 hours. Yeah, they go, what, no, couldn't they go, fly over to L.A. and wait for yeah, her and come back and pick her up? And they'll come back. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she'll have to play. They won't have to park the, it. She'll have to pay for the gas and probably tip the pilot a little something extra. And okay. daddy no, can no. afford it. Taylor's getting a spot. It's yeah. the person who's Don't reserved the spot right yeah. now that's yeah. going to have to park in L.A. Who reserved it three years ago. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Honey, you're not right. going to believe this. Taylor Swift kicks us out of our private yeah. spot. Yeah. Well, maybe I mean, the commissioner may. It's, it's like good concerts where the bands always hold yeah. you know, 20. T- t- yeah, the, yeah, yeah, maybe the commissioner's <laughs> holding a few things. Now, those climate activists were going to protest, but it's going to take them too long to walk to Vegas <laughs> to uh, make their signs. Out of, you know? no. like they'll, be, they'll be upset when no. they find out the football's made of pig no. scrotums. How about that? Is the football still made out of the uh, sack of a pig? Uh, I think it's <laughs> pig skin, but I don't think it is. Yeah, no. I think I some think of them are horse eyes. 90% or... scrot. No, yeah, yeah. You know, the jet fuel's made of baby seal blood. <sighs> That's okay. I, I would still take a private jet. That's fine with me. <laughs> Absolutely fine. Stupid world record. A British man reports that police mistook him for a thief after they saw him running with a refrigerator on his back. Jeez. Everybody got this? Yes. The BBC reports that Daniel Fairbrother was stopped by officers in... Steve Naj, Steve Naj, while practicing for the London Marathon. Mm. He said police officers quickly realized he was not stealing anything, and the encounter ended with them shaking my hand. Is that a nice story? <laughs> <laughs> you see a guy running down the street with a refrigerator on his back? I mean, what are you going to think? Um, for those of you uh, <laughs> I listening... I bet he's stealing it. <laughs> for those of you uh, listening to the Bob and Tom show for quite a long time, or uh, just... Uh, just Man. enjoy our show and want to pick up little nuances. When Tom says something like, well, that's a great story, or, wow, that's very interesting, mm-hmm. or, wow, that's fascinating, that means he came up with the story. I, mm-hmm. I can only imagine if, if you had just read that. Oh, on, no. Oh. Do you, you want to know why? I'm just sitting over here being bored. Yeah. Yeah. Bored? 
<laughs> this has because you love stories from the UK that have the names of towns. I thought you would love the name Fairbrother and the place called Stevenage. Fairbrother is his last name, and Steven uh, Stevenage or Stevenage is the name of the uh, little town. You know where that's near, don't you? No, um, where is it near? Badger's Cleft. Yeah, right? Badger's yeah. Cleft, which, yeah. is, which is right near Snatcher's Snatcher's uh, uh, Snatcher's uh, Drift. Oh, Snatcher's Drift. Oh, okay. Yes, I think it's Badger's Drift and Snatcher's, Snatcher's Cleft. Cleft. Okay, there you go. <laughs> uh, Mr. Fairbrother has been running with a refrigerator strapped to his back in hopes of raising money for a diabetes related. The charity. Isn't that nice? With his marathon. Um, ironically, <laughs> by the way, the, the refrigerator is full of Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> High in sugar and such. A, is that... <laughs> a fan of Cool Runnings, as this could get any more muddled. <laughs> the Doug E. Doug vehicle? <laughs> yep. What? Fairbrother has named the refrigerator Tallulah. After the Bob Slay movie. Sure. And some pretentious prick yeah. <laughs> has insisted on typing Bob Slay, Bob Slay. instead of Bob Sled. Come Technically, on. he's correct. That's the BBC. But you don't want to spend any time with this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when the cops saw, so the cops see a guy, they think he's stealing a refrigerator. Right. That's named, what you would think. Named, there he is, named Tallulah. Yeah. Yeah. You know what they yelled? Freezer or I'll shoot. That's what they yelled? <laughs> it's a dorm fridge. About yeah, everything, it's tiny. Every picture I've ever seen of the UK and London, it makes me automatically want to run there and live, except for this one. <laughs> that looks like a bad uh, a suburb, apartment yeah. complex. Yeah. yeah. It's outside huh. of Windsor, probably. There's not a lot of greenery in that shot. <laughs> no, no Chelsea. It, it is there. kind of a mini fridge. They, they really kind of are overdoing it. Dorm, dorm fridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well... So you, you, do you think you could run with a refrigerator on your back? I, I, I couldn't run at all anymore. My, my knees are shot. I can, Me I can ski with that, that little thing on my back. Those vests where you put the plates, the weight plates yeah. in, those are, those are pricey. So yeah. maybe oh, if you yeah. have a dorm fridge laying around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what if is, uh, anybody called the guy's house and said, is your refrigerator running? You know, that old classic. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better go catch it. <laughs> oh, I used to love that one. <laughs> that is a good joke. Yeah, Prince Albert in the can. Uh. Oh. <laughs> no, is, it, is Jim Walls there? Is Bob Walls there? Are any Walls there? No? Well, let's hold the house up. There, there. you go. There's your yeah. He's a classic. Calling the bowling alley and say, do you have 10-pound balls? We sure do. How do you ride a bike? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Love it. Man, oh, man. 10-pound balls. Ten pound. I've never weighed it, but maybe close to that. I don't know. A stupid Another one? <clears throat> A man in Iowa, listen up, Ace. A man in Iowa attempting to break the Guinness World Record for the most amplifiers played at the same time. Mm. <laughs> According to <laughs> Iowa Public Radio, Mr. John Locker, owner of Gig Day Backline. Oh, this is like a, a gear for concerts and stuff? Is of that course, what? amplifiers, you know. He'll try to beat the current record of 50. By connecting a total of 80 amps. Oh, so he hasn't done it yet. He plans to use a beat. <laughs> this is so good if we're doing a preview. <laughs> Wait a minute. Tom. Wait a minute. Tom. It's not even, it's not even. Tom. Yes. Will you tell her to hold it down? <laughs> Isn't this what Marty McFly did in the beginning of Back to the Future? <laughs> Doesn't he just sort he tried to uh, hook them all up and uh, <laughs> right, yeah, right. and then the up. alarm clock went off like 17 <laughs> minutes off and the, the experiment worked or something? Yeah. I just remember it blew him yeah. across yeah. the room. Whoa. Uh, anyway, Mr. Locker plans to use a built base, B-I-L-T, with a whammy bar for the attempts. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Either doing five minutes of famous bass lines, all oh original boy. bass lines. <laughs> oh, I cannot wait for the audio. <laughs> or a combination of What's both. the most famous bass line, Ace? What do you think? Uh, Peter Gunn, Purple Machine, the uh, Barney uh, Miller uh, yeah. intro. Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, famous bass line. That, that's a good. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's got to do. Oh, uh, um, these boots are made for walking. The, that's the, good. Da, 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 da. He's got to do some Primus. Will you rock a while, please? True. Uh, is that, is Carol Kay probably is responsible Les, for something. Les Claypool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, that was, it sounds like fun. 100 amps up there. Do you remember, because um, a lot of the bands now, uh, sometimes the amps on stage are fake. Mm -hmm. Really? Sure. Yeah, sometimes oh, yeah. sometimes they'll have it's a little, little amp with a mic in front of it. And oh. then, wh who was it? Uh, Rush. Remember that? They had they put um, uh, clothes dryers up there. They had the a joke. washing dryers. 
the crew would go out and put laundry in and out. And <laughs> gotcha. <they> Hilarious. Had, <laughs> rotisserie chickens went to her. Yeah, that was really, that, that's that's kind of funny. That's pretty funny. That's so awesome. The days of the giant stacked amps like the dead used to go out with really are kind of done. And by mm. the way, I know sometimes we've been known to drop the ball. But listen to me. This <laughs> attempt of the most amplifiers yes. hooked together mm -hmm. is coming up February 25th. <laughs> can we keep track of this date so we can check and see how this I'll put it does? in my phone. Where's this happening? It's happening at the Val Air Ballroom uh, in Iowa. So that's there. that's on a Sunday. Let me go the watch 25th. this live. Yeah. So oh. on the 26th. Godwin and I, are, we'll drive out. Yeah, well, that'd be fun. Yeah, real, real fast. You can get there, what, in the afternoon, the way you drive? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two and Pat, Pat, oh, Pat does uh, say that I drive fast. Now, um, uh, coming up, we're going to be visiting with comedian Ian Bag. We've got uh, one more sentence to the uh, oh. amplifier oh, story. Oh, There's more. Des Moines guitar player James Bien will be on hand that day and will be playing and hosting a pseudo jam. Nice. After the world record attempts. In Des Moines, oh man, maybe some Slipknot guys will show up. There you are. They All right, I put it in my phone so we check on it Monday, the 26th. All right. With audio. With audio. Yeah, well, well, yeah, I'm not sure. I wanted maybe we could vote on what bass line he should play. I would What's love. What's the one that, J that Jimmy Pardo plays when he's in oh, here? Redbone coming Redbone, that one's yeah. a good one. Yeah. I would love to attend this if they want to pay me. That would be great. Mm, okay. <laughs> what, what's your fee? Uh, $10,000. <laughs> oh, that's a workable fee. That's workable. Yeah. Yeah. You're coming down for them. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I get. I, I smell a charity on this. So <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, uh, coming up, we have um, uh, uh, what not to do to enlarge the male member. According to physicians, what about pulling on it? Does that uh, well? That's kind of <laughs> over time. It'll yeah. Um, also, over what's time, hot time. slaw? When's the last time you pulled? We're, we're going to find out about that. I'll I bet you uh, like to pull on yours right right after the show every day, don't you? Just give your your pot a yank. Yeah. Lock that. To you go down door. there. You, you know, I'm going to take that's a nap. Lovely. How about cozy cardio? The baby deserves this. <laughs> baby deserves this. <laughs> I'm going to go on the live cam. <laughs> you did good, to Tom Chap. <laughs> I tried to change the subject. There we go. That, that is, is good. This would be a good great. baseline. Hey! Bang, 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 Too early. Bang. Hey! We're coming right back. Baby awesome. deserves to pull on my All right. Uh, 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 this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> For a complete copy of the Bob and Tom Show. Slide guitar. Uh, I wrote a song a long time ago called The Lifelong Tiger Fan Blues. I know the Cubs and have issues and but the tigers uh mm -hmm. have had for a long time and i wrote it when we were like oh for 19 years <laughs> and um and then we got good in 2006 but then this particular season 2010 here um we're we uh, we were great and then we you know went off the cliff so i yep. rewrote it about a week ago <laughs> Baseball fan since I was a little boy. I had a bedroom full of little baseball toys. Batting a ball and a Wilson glove. Yeah, me and the national pastime, we was oh so in love. Every opening day, oh, I still get that itch. I can hardly wait for that very first pitch. All my hopes and dreams. All in place, I get visions of my tigers in a pennant race. Win or lose, I got a lifelong tiger fan blue. 2006, we made it all the way to the fabled fall classic, only get a St. Louis whooping and our Detroit ass kicked. <laughs> 2009, we was tied with the Twins. We had to go to Minnesota to lose it again. And 2010 started off with a bang. We was leading the league in everything. <laughs> Hang on. It's for you. Oh, but come the All-Star <laughs> break, our season's done. Our goose is cooked, oh, they're setting our sun. Win or lose, get a live 
on Tiger Fan Blues. Bring back K Line. Bring back Cash. Bring back Greenberg and all them homers he'd smash. Mickey Cochran, Schoolboy Row, Ty Cobb and Rocky Calavito. Win or lose, got a lifelong Tiger Fan Blues. This is the rewrite. First, Samaya broke his arm, then Inge broke his hand while Mags was breaking his foot. Gian was pulling his ham. <laughs> half of our roster was MIA. Now, half of Toledo's been called up to play. I don't believe in fate, I don't believe in signs. Waiting on your destiny's a waste of time. But how the hell else can we possibly explain Armando Galarraga's imperfect game? <laughs> Win or lose, got a lifelong Tiger Fan Blues. Just like me, you're gonna end up crying while spending Sunday afternoons with the Detroit Lions. That's great. Oh, there's some frustration there. Jeff yeah. Daniels. The imperfect game. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe this. You're, you're a talking dog. Uh, what, what are you doing down here in Florida? He goes, well, I started out in New York. I used to teach other dogs how to lead the blind. And then, well, the Gulf War broke out. and So I went over there, and I brought medicine to uh, injured soldiers and rescued soldiers. And that was over. I came back to New York, and I was on Broadway for a while. I was in Riverdance. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you had the, the tragedy with the Twin Towers, so I helped out there and started sniffing for bombs and things like that. And finally, I decided I'd, just, I'd had enough, and I was going to come down here to Florida to retire. Mm -hmm. The guy can't believe it. He walks back in the other room to the other guys. He goes, what's the deal? Why are you selling that talking dog for $20? The guy goes, because he's a big liar. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24 7. Uh, Lowell, Lowell Sanders is here with us. I'm on the road. Uh, <laughs> now, Lowell, are, are you a single, single man? Yeah, I uh, left a wife in Detroit. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I see how it works. Police should have found her by now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They won't, they won't find her. Hey, no way. You're, you're that good, aren't yeah. you? Well, where are you from, by the way? Patterson, from Patterson, New Jersey. Oh, sure. That's famous. Yeah, place. you know, small. Sure. Thug downtown. You mm -hmm. know, it's tiny. So small, we used to get robbed by people we knew. <laughs> small. People were like, stick them up. I'm like, Andre? <laughs> I'm going to tell your mother, man. <laughs> by the way, how is Aunt Carol? How is she doing? <laughs> I'll come home for dinner. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Five. Four. Three. Two. two one. <laughs> and why and how soon? Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, we're all here. There's Josh, Ace Cosby, Christy. Hi. Pat Godwin, I'm Chick. Here's Tom. Hello. Thank you very much. Coming up, comedian Ian Bagg will be joining us. Veteran comedian um, Ian of Canadian heritage. Big hockey fan, Josh. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and, um, I'll, gonna... star, I'll star weekend in the NHL. In Toronto. In yeah. Toronto. Stay right. Wana. <laughs> now, um, he doesn't realize it when he gets here, but Ace is going to school him 
uh, with In Comedy with the famous Ace Cosby joke of the day. So we certainly look forward to that. Oh, right now, we are once again wading through the sporting scene with Jake uh, McGee at the Sports This is the only test. thing I've got. Uh, we're all done. We're all done. We're all through. We're uh, waiting for the Super Bowl. I'd rather hear Running with the Devil. What? Did they do a version of Running with the Devil? No, Red, Red they didn't even so. What? What's that got to do with Red Bull? <laughs> so, famous, Ace, you were talking um, about famous baseline. Should we just uh, go around the room? Uh, what would you like to hear, Josh? <laughs> famous baseline. <laughs> I'd right. like to hear West Side Story. That is a good baseline. Jet song. Fair I, enough, Ace. Tom, fair enough. Now, will you do something? I, it's unbelievable. I didn't know. Maybe it's the vodka thing. Double uh, vodka, no, yeah. No, yeah, no. he likes vodka, then put some more vodka, vodka in there. Okay, down. we have uh, Christy Lee at the bottom of Tom News. What have we missed? Here well, we health experts are warning against a viral penis enlarging trend. A viral? Mm-hmm. <laughs> viral penis. How do you say this word? Okay. J-E-L-Q-U-I-N-G. I assume it's jelking. Or... Uh, jelking? I'm not familiar with that one. I've never seen it. <laughs> I never jelked. Doctors say it could actually make your male members smaller in the long run. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Nobody wants anything to do with that. God, this is awful. According to the New York Post, this new trend, yes. follow me here, Chick, mm -hmm. involves firmly and repeatedly right. pressing a thumb and index finger, not necessarily yours, anyone's, at the base of a semi-erect member, much like squeezing the dregs out of a toothpaste tube. <laughs> The dregs. Um, that's what, yeah, that's, that's what bottom, it says. Yeah, the, the bottom of the, the aggressive oh, motion. Yeah, yeah. Who says that? Yeah, who refers to those as dregs? <laughs> oh, no, I'm, Apparently yeah, the I, New York I, Post does. The aggressive motions purportedly cause micro-sized tears that heal and become slightly larger. All right. That's this like any... Like fascia, like when you... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dr. Rena Malik, however, warned that doing these sorts of exercises can create... No one's doing this. ...permanent damage to your penis. They're creating... I mean, a lot of these trend stories, it's two people. I agree. And then they go, there's a new trend now. No, there's not. You I'm need looking... Something to... There's a whole website about it. And she is this a woman? Is this a female doctor? It is. She doesn't have any business around my penis. That's oh. exactly right. She, she doesn't, doesn't have... An, uh, <laughs> she doesn't have that organ. She <laughs> nope. can't... Prescribed. She I'm sure she's incredibly uninterested in your male member. That it can cause bruising, <laughs> problems with local veins and arteries, as well as nerve damage. Well, that can lead to penile numbness. I like to call it the main vein. Yes, <laughs> and she wouldn't know that. No, she wouldn't know that at all. <laughs> Dr. Michael Bull added that this jelking can also induce Peroni's disease, a condition, of course, where... Where uh, you have a pastry and it's filled with uh, meats and cheeses. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, is that Peroni? Uh, that's Peronies yeah, oh, is, is where erections become curved and painful due to <laughs> scar tissue. Does you know what? But if it did, yeah. men would not care. We'd power through. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much it hurt. Really? Don't this you is think? A terrible idea. Don't do this. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Hey, if you want to jelk your joint, you go right ahead. <laughs> Doesn't jelking sound like a dance from the 20s? Sounds like <laughs> a jelk joint. Yeah, like, yeah the, the one where you take your, your knees, make it look like they're crisscrossing. Da, da, da. Oh, da. look, they're doing the jelk. Jelk, 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 jelk. Yeah, Bob Fosse <laughs> did that on a chorus line. The winner of the 1929 jelk contest. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. If you want to make it bigger, do the old fashioned thing. Take a ball peen hammer and. See, this, uh, this asks the question again, what I asked earlier. What? When was the last time you pulled on it, Tom? And you, you won't answer it. <laughs> right after the show, you want to go back yeah. there and relax? Yeah, that's. I, mean, I don't have any right. phone calls to make. Oh. I uh, like to. I know I will every now and then. What about you, Josh? You... Oh, I've, I've, I've heard Tom in his office. Yeah. 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 Heck yeah, just real wrap it up. Real can, you funny. Smell, can you smell the mayonnaise I wrap the glove in? <laughs> <laughs> real, real funny. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you going to say? Nothing. Okay, okay. What do you got over there, Christy? Oh, uh, we have more injuries during sex, this time involving folks that live in Britain. A survey of over 2,000 people in Britain reveal most common injuries people have experienced during sex. Let's run them down. This is according to Love Honey's UK Bedroom Disasters Report. <laughs> What? <laughs> Does hell. this come out annually? I Whoa. don't know. Uh, the most common sex injuries were number one. Anyone want to guess? Oh, no, start with number the one. breaking, right? You want to start with number 12? No, go to five. I've had an injury. Move oh, wait, wait, yeah. stop, stop right, the wait presses. <laughs> Hold up. I pulled a hamstring. Oh, okay. That Okay, pulled muscle number three, Ace. Very good. Number three, pulled muscle. Did you stop or did you power through? <laughs> I'll power through. That a baby. AC. <laughs> number five is back injury. All right. Uh, back okay. injury. Yeah, yeah, been there. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it didn't cause the back injury, did it? No. 
Okay. So but an it, existing it, back injury, it irritates it. it hinders, your, yeah. Okay. It hinders. <laughs> yes, your performance, oh. without a doubt. Uh, number 12 is a broken bone. Oh, jeez. You're doing it wrong. Oh, you break. You can break something in that. Well, that's in broken your, penis is 11. In your joint. It's only 11? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But how there's no bone in that. How does it burn? Well, that's a separate category. Well, the bone category. is 12, a penis is 11. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're you're confusing. A stuck foreign object number 10 in It doesn't say where. Okay. It could just be stuck. Uh, that's so that could be either a party. Yeah. Yeah, I presume. Hey, hey baby, have you seen the remote? <laughs> hey, watch this. I can change the channel. <laughs> can you kegel up to channel 7? I, mean, gotta, I want to see the weather. <laughs> Anal tear. Oh, I saw them open for Static X once. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Uh, hemorrhoids. Hemorrhoids? That's, Wait a minute. Is that a sex injury? Sure, for plenty of well, anal. Yeah. yeah. What? Really? Yes. Yeah, the, the pressure. Anal Do they can cause, cause hemorrhoids. Do they cause hemorrhoids? It can. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. Oh. Vaginal tear. Oh, yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. That's, that's We've tears. all been there. Pretty much every time I have sex. <laughs> no, no, hang on. I don't it's think. not tear, it's a tear. No, no. tear. Stand, stand by for self-deprecating. I don't think I'll ever have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, UTI. Oh, the uh, yeah, the, under, the old, uh, underbelly. The, the, the honeymoon go. disease. That's right, oh, the honeymoon oh, disease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ugly, no, uh, ugly. Oh, yeah. No, it's, uh, <laughs> it's what you do. <laughs> Tom, uh, it's one of your favorite I saw, uh, saw, a saw a ball in a pair of soft balls and some tube socks. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's one of Tom's favorite lines. <laughs> You're rubbing me raw, right? You're doing it too much. <laughs> yeah, body heat. Body Number heat. two, bruises. Bruce, you well, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> you should have followed instructions. And the most common sex injury Pregnancy. in Britain. <laughs> oh, sorry. Very Carpet burn. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. sure. Boy, those are not, oh, those are nasty. Mm. No, is, that, is that from the from the rug or is that from the it's from the rug candle Tom. getting your pillow letting your pubes on fire <laughs> how would a carpet burn that's be? candle burn that's a oh, candle oh sorry they both start with a hard c <laughs> <laughs> the most hazardous sex positions um, doggy style number one at 50 percent. it is really? i thought it was uh reverse, reverse cowgirl this is in britain and okay. this yeah they're not doing reverse cowgirl in britain oh. is that what is that the uh that's why not. that's why in britain by the way since it is england uh none of the injuries involved getting your braces stuck in the other person here we go again oh, here we go he loves it. Loves it. missionary style 35 <laughs> percent. they got the bad teeth josh well see, yeah i mean they're yeah, not gonna get them fixed i, I think improvements in a long time okay. <laughs> they're not gonna get them fixed <laughs> now, josh is too modest to tell you that when Josh lived in England. I, he told me this off the air. I'm probably talking out of school. Josh and his uh, English sweetie used to play a game called uh, uh, Lexington and Concord. And this, right? this, this English girl would shout out, Oh, the British are coming. Oh. Uh, just when he peaked. That's, you, sh you should be congratulated, Josh. <laughs> yeah, I, I recommend that game to anybody. Peaking. Once again, Lexington and Concord, uh, the British are coming is the key line. When we come back, we'll I'm try peaking. to rescue the We also the show. played a game called Bangers and Mash. Uh, I'd, I'd bang her and then eat mashed potatoes. <laughs> and then, of course, <laughs> sticky toffee pudding. <laughs> this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. The show is also out there for you on our YouTube channel. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skill it, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. Ah! 
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. We have Donnie Baker and the Pork Pistols. Now, do you guys have a little tune you're going to play for us? Yeah, we got a tune. This goes, uh, since you was talking to Johnny Rutherford from Michael and Mechanics, <laughs> Michael. this goes Mike, to, Mike to Christy Lee. There's right. something about you. Yeah. There's something in the air tonight. Uh -oh. <laughs> Fire ass hot. This tape is dedicated to her from Donnie Baker and the Pork Pistols on Q95. <laughs> I bet you're not wearing underwear tonight. Oh, Lord. And we pray there ain't hair under there tonight. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Chill the night. If you don't wear undies, your booty's gonna get cold. Chill of the night. If you don't wear panties, your body is gonna get stolen. <laughs> White snakes. Oh. White snakes. Ooh. Christy Lee. Ooh. I better get with me. I just wanna get close to you and set my pork sword. I want to get close to you, cause one and one makes three. It gets real cold, so you don't need Franny's Christy Lee. You got Donnie and the Chill the Night, Chill the Night, Chill the Night. <laughs> 295 playing a white snake for Christy, and she's sitting in a puddle. Chill the Night, Chill the Night, Chill the Night, Night. <laughs> Donnie Thank Baker you. and the Pork oh. Pistols. Uh, Bravo. <laughs> Morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Hi, this is Mike Birbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. It's the most outrageous video ever because it features real girls. And not just any real girls, but real girls on video going... Woo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> just the way you love them. Real girls on video going... Woo! All kinds of real girls on video going Whee! all across America. Real girls on video going Whee! features real girls. And each copy of real girls on video going features a group of loser drunk guys going. Whee! That's right. You get real girls on video going Whee! and loser drunk guys going. Whee! And hey, act now and you'll receive at half price real girls on video going that's real girls on video going Whee! and the bonus tape real girls on video going and the drunk loser guys going Whee! but wait order now and frig of all video will throw in real girls on video going and that's real girls on video going. Real girls on video going. And real girls on video going. And, and all complete with loser drunk guys going. Harder now. <laughs>
essential morning radio all day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> it's time for Oliver's Cliff Notes Hits of the 70s. This week, Timothy by the Boys from May 1971. Now, here's your host, Oliver Lang. <laughs> okay, let's see. The lyrics are kind of hard to understand here. I'm just, I'm just reading them off the album cover. Three guys are trapped in a mine. Let's see, Joe was looking at Tim. Oh, what the f***? They ate him! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> <laughs> This has been uh, Oliver's <laughs> Cliff Notes Hits of the 70s. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hi, this is Larry Reeve, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy. In just a few minutes. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Yo. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. Josh Arnold at the I Hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. Chickster. There's Ace Cosby. Howdy. I am Chick McGee. Here's Tom Griswold with... A very special guest. I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he is comedian Ian Bag, uh, and I'm trying to remember the name of the town that you're from. Terrace, British Columbia. Uh, Let's there. get to the point. Why? Why was I blackballed from this show for so many years? Uh, <laughs> you know, if you don't know, Ian. Yeah. Okay, maybe that's yeah. the point. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm oblivious. The, that's why I, I was asking. No, I have the other answer. Oh, you know. Oh, <laughs> you know. Oh, you know. Uh, Good to see you haven't changed. <laughs> uh, that's right. What's the name of the town again? Terrace. Terrace British Columbia. Uh -huh. What population? Uh, I think we're up to uh, about 12,000 people. Everybody's uh, oh, pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 The big LNG plant has brought people to town. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, yeah. Natural gas will be flowing because of my people. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. I'm a fan. Did you get a little like taste that. of that? Natural no, gas yeah, money? No, just a little huff. Oh, 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 sorry. The, uh, the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just a oh, quick huff. Well, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, uh, Ian is a... Uh, am I correct? I was trying to think of... Scorpio? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> amazing amazing hockey player? Yes. I, I, I may oh. be wrong. Are you the one that had the um, uh, professional hair removal done on your back? Sure did. And my nose. And, oh. yeah, and his uh, eyebrows, right? And my eyebrows. In yeah, the yeah. middle. In the middle. Was it expensive? In the, middle. Uh, the, uh, the, the, the laser? laser? That yeah. wasn't too bad. Hmm. Yeah. It wasn't too bad. How, how much hair was on your back? Oh, enough that you could get it lasered. <laughs> enough, that, enough that a Russian woman smiled when I came in the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of hair, Tom. So does it hurt? I mean, did you feel a heat when they put the laser? I, I feel like you're getting snapped by a rubber band oh. about, about 1,500 times. Wow. Yeah, okay. it was fun times. So, does someone have to sit there Steering the thing? Are you yes. Like, yeah, it's a lady. No, they just let no, it go willy nilly. That's like a Roomba. Have you never been to the an esthetician where they do anything to your body, like no. facial or? You haven't had your sack waxed. He doesn't even. He, he notice how far he is from us. Oh, yeah. he does yeah. not like people. He's not going to get close. <laughs> You're right. No, to no, people. no, no, no. I don't and like. You don't know this either. He's about people. this high. <laughs> he's about this <laughs> high <laughs> above the floor too. No way. He's right. Yeah. He's got a stage over. There, she's in show business. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. We like to call it an ivory tower. <laughs> he lords over the rest of us. So, no, so wait a minute. So, so you've got some, uh, is this laser thing? I'm, I'm all like I can think wand. of. I'm envisioning, oh, it's a wand. See, I'm envisioning Goldfinger. Okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, no. No, no, Mr. Bond, you're going to die. What a great scene. Uh, it's going right for his nuts. Uh, yeah. The laser. <laughs> I think you can get that done, too. That's kind of good. Yeah. You know, I think John, you can get that clear. Josh Arnold gets that done quite often, or you used to. Right? I was. Yeah, yeah, I was getting waxed, though. Yeah, yeah not, not lasering. the lasering. Of down on your... Yeah, everything down there. Ladies. They can do that. Really? Yeah. Ladies get their pubic hair lasered off. Oh, yeah, I know. Sure now, does, do. that, does it ever does it ever grow back, or no. is that it? It's done. It's over. It's like Christmas every day. <laughs> yeah. Is there a is there the smell of burning hair? Yes. You Ugh. can smell it a little bit. Wow. But I was on drugs. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, you get yeah. <laughs> of course, you take a Tylenol, Tylenol, uh, uh, an extra strength not Tylenol. No, I didn't want to say Tylenol three. I didn't need a bunch of people at the door. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Shoot them up. getting those. They're legal in Canada. <laughs> now, so uh, how long did it take to do the back? Uh, it was just, it was, like, it was about 30 minutes or something like that. Oh, really? For your whole back? Yeah, you did. But I had to do it, like, Ten times, yeah, or multiple sessions. Oh, yeah. Yeah. wait a minute! And Tylenol now, three is uh, illegal in Canada. Legal, legal yeah. Legal. I gotta move there. Yeah, That's have you not seen it. what's going on in Canada? No, they're I haven't. definitely on Tylenol three up there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah Kraft peanut butter. It's crazy up there. <laughs> Kraft peanut butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's nuts. <laughs> and our cheese whiz is different. <laughs> so, so they did they and they lasered the the, the eyebrow thing because you had the connection. No, I didn't get that laser. I, uh, I didn't trust them with that. A friend of mine, uh, he had his 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 face. He had his hair. Lasered, <laughs> and the lady stopped a little, and she burnt a hole in his cheek. Oh, oh, I, yeah, Brody whoa. Stevens. That's no it. kidding. Yeah, yeah. I remember. You know, he was, I was like, "What happened?" I was like, "What'd you have? How did she just stop?" He goes, "She just stopped, and it just kept going the same place." I'm like, "Oh, oh yeah, holy it was hell!" Crazy. There's a thing right now of uh, um, the internet. I don't have the story in front of me about, about people that want to give themselves a dimple. Oh, dimple oh. blasty! I saw that. Have you seen this? Mm -hmm. okay, what, yeah. what do they do? I'll, I'll if pull you want to, well, you. You, you give yourself a dimple on the chin, well, wherever, and wherever. I mean, I guess I, I don't know if you can do it in the butt, or uh, I'm not sure how it's done. Those two the dimples butt. above the butt. That, yeah. uh, oh, I, I, I see. I ever see. You know what I see in the airport every so often? The fake butt cheeks, mm -hmm. and that's really noticeable. It's, <laughs> it's really noticeable that a hundred pound girl has the butt. Of a 300 pound guy. It's so bizarre. And I'm, just like, I'm just like, what are they doing with those? Like, what, what, what? I don't know. I don't know. It's all right. If you got them, God bless you. You got to do whatever you got to do. But at the same time, get it together, people. <laughs> Ian Bag is our guest, Mr. Bag. I like the way he said that, so the letters would be written to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Uh, and it's Bag with two G's. Yes. Is that short for something? Uh, baggage. <laughs> Which you bring a lot of to any situation. Yes, yes, How's yes. your personal life? Can we ask about it? Yeah, sure. What do you want to know? I don't uh, know what's happening. I've got the wife, and I've got three dogs what? now. Uh, we, we, uh, my wife uh, found a homeless dog on the beach in front of our house. Wait a minute. Hold it. Three dogs. Run them down. What kind? We got we got uh, Lou, half German Shepherd, half Pitbull mix. Okay. Uh, afraid of the wind. <laughs> uh, I got a, I got a scared dog, yeah, too. Yeah, right. home. Like, but at the same time, here's a dog walking by and must leap from the bed in the back room and run with hair up to tell them you can't walk by her. Yeah. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. yeah. But we go outside and what was that? Uh, uh, and then we got Minnie Pearl, French Bulldog. Uh, she decided she was she she uh, we had to have her eardrum removed not too long ago. Oh, goodness! So they, re they they took her eardrum and her ear canal out and sealed the ear. Hasn't changed her a bit. So who knows how long she's been deaf? So, oh, right. Yeah. And then we have Doctor Henry Wong. Mm -hmm, sure. Uh, yes. Doctor Wong is one. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. Uh, he's. He, 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 I don't know what he is. He's just like this furry little, just I don't know, Shih Tzu. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't just know. Just a what. mutt. Yeah. He looks like, on, on uh, Rick and Morty, there was a dog that took over the world. He looks exactly <laughs> like that. The dog. underbite kind of thing? Yeah, uh, okay. a little bit of an underbite. Yeah. But he's like, like, and, he's, and, he's, and he's hung like a bull moose. <laughs> oh. Like, when we found him, my wife honestly thought he had five legs. Oh. <laughs> wow. And, oh. Uh, yes. And, and, uh, and yeah, it, it's, I, I can show you guys pictures during the break. I can't show them to the radio people. But, uh, uh, um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's very impressive. Wonderful, and he's probably about he's probably about tw he's anywhere between ten and twelve, <laughs> and went from the streets to now demanding what he wants to eat. It's very, <laughs> it's very bizarre, and, and we'll take his food out of the dish and put it on the ground because it isn't up to his satisfaction. <laughs> and then you'll see him gnawing on a paper towel. I'm like, <laughs> pick a side, buddy. God, I know that. I, I, I live the same life. Uh, Do you live on the beach? Yeah, we live on the beach. We live in uh, Long Beach, California. And, uh, it sounds yeah, like it's a long it, beach. It, it, it's a very long beach. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> and, uh, um, uh, it's so long that people can't get to the end. No, no, that's nobody's horrible. ever done it. Good nobody's ever done it. And that's why the dog lives there. Good to know. Uh, we have Christy Lee at the Baba Tom News Desk. Would you care to read a news story for Mr. Bag? Yeah. Have you heard about Cozy Cardio? No, oh. it sounds fantastic. So the latest exercise trend, my friends, comes to us from TikTok, Ugh. the new workout regime. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it involves laying somewhere. It says cozy, right? The, the new workout regimen, rather. Taking hold on the social media app simply involves walking in place in the comfort of your home using a mini treadmill. Oh, one of those things. Yeah. The idea trail. gained traction after a woman named Hope Zuckerbrow began posting videos about her cozy cardio setup, which involves wearing comfortable clothing, 
lighting candles, setting mood lighting, making a protein drink, and using a walking pad that faces her TV with a favorite show playing. The aim is not to push yourself, but to get off the couch simply and get your steps in when you can. Burn two calories an hour. This is like sitting and watching TV. You're just walking slowly. Like it. It's with better a than going. sitting and watching TV. At Barely. Least. Ace, yeah. you kind of do this, right? You'll kind of you stand watch, watch TV and watch, stand right? and walk around. I stand a is a treadmill behind the couch. Yeah, there you go. You, you stand on the treadmill or do you walk on it? Both, actually. Yeah. You have your treadmill behind the couch, though? Mm-hmm. So you can see the TV. TV and yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I like, I like your style. <laughs> now, Josh likes to, um, uh, uh, you like to do this and lift Twinkies uh, as weights. Sure, they yeah. Do curls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> overweight, <laughs> overweight. Oh, I thought he was talking about young men. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, lift the, lift the old Twinkie. Yeah. Milk the Twinkie, if you know what I mean. Twi- yeah. He likes, he likes to sit on the Cozy cardio. Man. This sounds uh, so nice. Cozy so cardio stupid. sounds so cute. And Zuckerbrow. Zuckerberg. Is she a redheaded, uh, like, uh, uh, with person with her. no emotion? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I am Zuckerberg. That sounds like a fake name. Uh, right, right now, I want to see how your uh, 2024 food life is going. Let's uh, check in with HelloFresh. Maybe it's time to shake things up. Uh, today is officially Groundhog Day, mm-hmm. and maybe your food life feels like Groundhog Day. The same things over and over and over. Shake it up a little bit and get some help. With HelloFresh. And the HelloFresh, they got a great idea. They go do the grocery shopping for you. They send you the stuff. They've already got it all pre-measured with the recipes right there. You pick from one of dozens of recipes each week to choose from. And you can pick as many as you want. And you've got great food. You're making it yourself. But they've done 90% of the work. Some of the stuff, you work on it for five minutes, pop it in the oven, and it comes out, and you get ready to rock in there. What do you got over there, Christian? Uh, this is a, one of their easy meals. It's called Creamiest Mushroom Ravioli with Parmesan and Heirloom Grape Tomatoes. Mm. A pasta dish that takes only four or five easy steps, and you've got one big, beautiful plate of food. All right. HelloFresh, by the way, uh, like I said, they want to shake up your meal life with some great food. And it's uh, it's cheaper than uh, getting stuff delivered. And uh, have some fun with uh, that free breakfast for life when your subscription is active at HelloFresh. Details are at HelloFresh.com slash BT show free in honor of that free breakfast. One item per box with an active subscription. The code, once again, BT show free. The place, HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. That's HelloFresh.com slash BT show free. By the way, all kinds of food from calorie smart to carb smart to good old fashioned comfort food. Give it a shot. Shake up your life. Have some fun and uh, get rid of that uh, feeling that it's Groundhog Day on your menu. When we come back, we're going to hang with comedian Ian Bag. Mm-hmm. We have um, uh, an odd story in the news about something called hot slaw. What is that and why is it possibly going to become the official dish of a state? Plus, there's a monkey loose. We'll find out where. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. You know, here at Charlie's Tavern, I stay mighty busy making drinks. But the phone, it never stops ringing. I love Tendon Bar. This job is really great. My customers are thirsty and I hate to make them wait. But it always seems the phone rings as I start to pour a beer. It's some fella asking me to page his friends. He says are here. Okay, buddy, you hold the phone and I'll check to see if they're here. Is Seymour butts around? Have you seen Dick Peter? Are you Jack Hinoff? Is anyone Sharon Peter? <laughs> Have you seen a Harry Beaver or you a Peter Stroker? And it seems like almost every night I'm paging Richard Smoker. <laughs> paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Uh, yeah, his uh, name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. Have you seen a Mr. Bader? No, but you can check back later. Could you find a Harry Balzac? Not right now, you'll There it is. 
You know, this worked yesterday in rehearsal. I had. Does anybody hear the phone ringing? <laughs> I hear it. My headphones. You heard phone oh, ringing? you hear the, oh, did you hear the ring phone ring? in your headphones? Wait a minute, ring it again. Did I answer it or not? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, I wait, I just heard it. <laughs> uh, hello, Charlie's Tavern. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> hello, Charlie's Tavern. I'm sorry, I can't hear. There's someone Speak up, David. clearing their throat in hello, my mic. Hello, Charlie's Tavern. What's the matter? Is it noisy in there? <laughs> yeah. I was hoping you could paint somebody for me. Sure, who are you looking for? I'm trying to find a Mr. Padasso. His first name is Stuart, but they call him Stu. Oh. Stu Padasso? <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right, hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> hey, is there a Stu Padasso here? <laughs> right here. Does anyone know a Stu Padasso? He's over there. I see him. I'm sorry. Right. Someone said he just left with Haywood. Haywood who? Uh, Haywood Jablomi. <laughs> no, but buy me dinner and drinks and, and we'll talk. <laughs> wow, that'd that be a wild. Well. That'd be a wacky twist, wouldn't it? Hey, Bob and Tom are hey. doing it. There's the oh, phone. Sorry. The phone's ringing. Uh, hello, Charlie's Tavern. Oh, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, could you pay someone for me? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> who are you looking for? I'm uh, looking for a Miss Finger Do. Uh, what do you want to kill her? Uh, first name, <laughs> Wilma. <laughs> Wilma! Wilma Finger Do! Uh, sorry, somebody says she's in the back room with Willie. Oh, uh, Willie who? Oh, uh, Willie Fisterbottom. Ooh, that's got a herb, baby. Whoa. <laughs> what ethnicity was that supposed to be? Hell <laughs> was that? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they call here several times a night, and it's always the same. He asks me if I'll page his friend, and then he says their name. Hey, is BJ Hunter there? Can you find a Peter Wanker? I'm looking for Amanda Kiss. Have you seen Woody Spanker? Aging Richard Smoker. Richard Smoker. Yeah, his uh, name is Richard, but we call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker. Really? <laughs> My song is nearly over now, so I'll cut to the quick. Who knew there were so many guys named Peter, Rod, and Dick? And if you see somebody, or if you need somebody, Paige, let me be quite blunt. Uh oh. I'll try my best to find him. Or my name's not Michael Hunt. Paging <laughs> Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Oh, uh, yeah, his name is Richard, but they call him <laughs> Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Is Mike Hunt here? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Paging Michael Hunt. It's Paging. not on the script. Pa Paging Michael. You're supposed to say. Paging Michael Hunt. Give me the Hunt. last part of the song again, would you please, Steve? You're supposed to say Paging Michael Hunt, then say. Paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Oh, yeah, his name is Richard. <laughs> they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. <laughs> Paging Michael Hunt. There we go. Paging Michael Hunt. Is Mike Hunt here? Ah. <laughs> that went well. See, that really makes a difference when you, when you when set you it up. That stuff, yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah. If you're on top, you got about eight, eight seconds to live. Is that it? I wouldn't say eight. If you're on top, Godspeed to your ribs, ladies. Is that what we're getting at? Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nerve. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. I'm getting ready for that weekend. Friday starts the weekend, Tom. We got breaking news, kids. What? Breaking news. Oh, breaking what's news. That? What's that? Buxatawney Phil. Oh, we all know who Buxatawney Phil is. The renowned groundhog has predicted. He's dead, right? And they shot him. <laughs> oh, no. This is awful news. Yeah, it's like a... That's Liberty Valley. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. It's an early spring. <laughs> That's exactly right. Phil has oh. said it is an early spring this year. We Things are about to yet. warm up. Yeah, I know. It's, this, this, this groundhog doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. You don't Could know that. Could we just be positive for I one moment? I am being moment? positive. I'm positive this thing doesn't know what it's doing. Huh. Yeah. I think we should go there old one year. Old-fashioned, old-fashioned way of telling things. <laughs> Broadcasting. Send me there. I'll go there. 
Oh, really? Puxatawney, Pennsylvania. To Nobbler's Gob? No, it's Gobbler's Knob. <laughs> Nobbler's, Nobbler's Gob is the weekend that certain people are playing. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know what you're doing. I hope you got a drop button. <laughs> doing, but I'm intrigued. Uh, uh, Hobbler's Gob? Nobbler's Gob. Nobbler's Gob. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and the, he's got the, buck teeth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, the, the Nobbler's Gob would be... I think Gobbler's Knob is Bad. more suggestive. Yeah. yeah. That was a group that? in high school. I'm going to gobble that knob. <laughs> Ever had that done with uh, with braces? Uh, with, with the, um, the, let's see, where no. what, what was I'm I? asking. What was I saying? Oh, I know. We have a guest in the studio. <laughs> he is yeah. comedian Ian Bag. He's hanging out with us. And uh, now. Blackballed for five years. <laughs> <laughs> well, you keep it up, mister. Maybe another five. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You know. Speaking of black balls. <laughs> <laughs> More of a mocha, really. Here he is with his joke of the day. I think Groundhog Day is big here, even bigger in France. Is right. that right? What do the, you know, what does the groundhog see when they wake him up in the morning? What? what? His chateau. Oh. <laughs> the groundhog saw his chateau. Oh. Now there is chateau. six more weeks. Of Hold on. Sir. He saw his house? Chateau. I'll try. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, not die still with it. He defecated on it in his chateau. That's what I got out of it. Got a house. You got it on his feet. It's a nice house. I'm sorry, Christy, you were saying? Ace Cosby's joke of the day brought to you by Sleep Number. That's right. Save 50% during the President's Day sale on a limited edition smart bed only at a Sleep Number store or sleepnumber.com. Love my Sleep Number bed. Thank you very much, Christy Lee. Ian Bag is our guest. Can, can, Ian, I, can um, I ask a question before we go any further? Sure. Uh, what what is it with presidents and beds and sales? I don't know. Yeah, that's no, a big yeah. thing. That is a yeah. great question. Well, yeah, well, is there something that I don't know? Because I'm about to become an American and it might be on the test and I need to know. Oh. <laughs> you, know yeah, what? You, you raise yeah, a good point. I, um, I, uh, they don't do this in Canada? They don't no, do like, we don't prime have, minister sale? Or? No, we don't sell anything. <laughs> do, you have a, do you have a prime minister day? Uh, we, every day is a prime minister day. <laughs> okay. Every day he pushes his way into our lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what he sounds like. No, you live in, you've been living in the United States yeah, for a long time. Do you? Uh, are you an American officially? I'm about to be. Oh, I'm wow. about to be, kids. You can't stop me. I'm taking the test. Well, welcome, Ian. Yes. Yeah. Do you, Congratulations. Um, I do thought you, have you got like in a... because of your wife, right? Well, she opened the door. Come on. <laughs> Is it a hard test? Right. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, a, yes. Uh, Apparently not. That's what everybody tells me, but they make it sound like it is. Everybody that I know, they say. I think I think they've they've given that test to uh, real to Americans who were born and raised here, and we you, can't pass it. You were going to say real Americans. <laughs> yes, Thank, you, Christy. <laughs> Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Christy. Not the fake ones like Ian Beck. <laughs> Imposter American. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to America. You weren't born <laughs> Judgment. here. Judgment. You know they won't let, they won't they won't bury you here. You know they won't what. What? Oh, that's what? right, yeah. Oh, you become a, a naturalized citizen. They, they have to ship you back. You didn't know that? So that's right. Yeah. Oh, they'll take your taxes, but they won't take your body. No, no, no. no. You've got to, they got to ship them home. Not going to dirty up our soil, boy. Uh, that's right. Do you get a tax credit if you take the test? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I think all of it is. I think I get. I don't know what I get. Okay. I, I know what I get. What? I, I, I get uh, Social Security at some point. Ah. Yes. In, Theoretically. And my, and my wife said, you've paid so much. You get that. You get that paperwork filled out, and I'm just like, okay. Okay. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, now, um, uh, let's see. Where were we? Uh, oh, I know. We were talking to Christy Lee at the news desk. What happened? Uh, a monkey has been recaptured after going missing in the Scottish Highlands for over five days. According to the BBC, the seven-year-old male Japanese macaque named Hong Shu. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This show's filthy. Wait a minute. I know. Oh, can yeah, you say macaque, with a, say macaque with a Scottish accent? I can't do that. Macaque. Yeah, can't macaque. find... Can't find macaque. <laughs> you can take our lives, but you'll never take macaque. <laughs> you can have macaque when you pry it out of my cold, dead hands. How did you escape from the Highland Wildlife Park at King Craig? Stephanie Bunyan, who lives nearby. Hold it. Barely can walk. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie Bunyan. That's real. Really? Paul's, yes. Paul's sister. Yep. Right? Uh, she lives nearby. Spotted the primate helping himself to a bird feeder in her yard. How's it going? I'll and contacted <laughs> the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland. Wow. Knowing a monkey, that bird feeder is probably now full of monkey seed. <laughs> oh, the drone, uh, oh, man. The drone team observed the animal is that until... Is monkey seed or monkey doo-doo? Oh, monkey seed. Monkey doo-doo. <laughs> Those monkeys are The cacks aren't known for doing that. <laughs> oh. A drone team observed the animal till it was a shot. drone team. <laughs> With a tranquilizer dart and taken oh, back goodness. to the park. All right. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, monkeys are awful. They bite. They are not <laughs> awful. They poop. They throw If you get enough of them on a typewriter, Tom, you'll get a book. <laughs> I keep It'll be completely that. unreadable. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be, I'll get a book. I've seen it in old movies. <laughs> Unless you can speak monkey. Speak and read monkey, but other than that. You know. A Brazilian woman facing charges after Completely bald. <laughs> She's an American woman, but we described her. <laughs> Brazilian woman, yeah. Um, is facing charges with uh, police at Bogota after find after they found 130 poison dart frogs in her luggage. What is going on here? I don't know. Uh, the animals, which were dehydrated and stressed, were discovered in small film canisters. Oh, God. local police said the amphibians what? can catch up to a thou uh, can fetch up to a thousand dollars each on the sellable market oh, for people so wanting like to buy a, a poison dart frog uh, yeah. oh if you, people want to buy all kinds of crazy stuff it's just that I mean, wouldn't the film canisters give it away in as much as nobody yeah. uses nobody film? uses film anymore harlequin frogs also known as poison dart frogs measure less than the size of a human thumb oh their skin glands produce a highly toxic poison though which has in the past been used by indigenous people to coat the lips of darts that they use for hunting. Mm. By the way, harlequin frogs are an incredibly uh, critically frog. endangered species. <laughs> so slutty. slutty. They're, They're not slutty. slutty harlequins. Either. Those harlequins. <laughs> soft core slutty. <laughs> yeah. They'll kill you, right? They're, no, they're a romance novel that'll read you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, they're super dangerous. Yes. Though, right? Will can... they kill a man if you hold one? I don't know. I don't know if it'll kill a man. This isn't the same stuff that. Um, uh, this isn't the stuff that they make that what that hallucinogenic from that we wrong frog. You're people thinking were about li licking no, one. No. They were licking yeah. the toads. Yeah, it's a wrong frog. Wrong Get frog. your frogs right. Come on. <laughs> okay, I told you so. Racist. Oh, um, no. I told you. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. It was what, who was it? What, oh, who am I thinking of? Oh, Aaron Rodgers. Oh, uh, wasn't he licking the toads or something? Was no, that? that's ayahuasca oh, again. Ayahuasca. Yeah, I went, that's where I went to camp. No. Camp, Camp Ayahuasca, <laughs> yeah. We, we, we do hallucinogens and Hello, vomit. Father. Hello, right. Father. Speaking of animals, researchers say a live newborn great white shark was spotted in the wild for the very first time. Oh, oh yeah. Right. It's brand new. Of course it was just yeah. spotted for the first time. Oh, good point. <laughs> you just got the look for me, and I very rarely give that to you. You know what? I liked it. Did you? Oh. Wildlife <laughs> filmmaker Carlos Guana and UC oh, Riverside. Hey, hey bad crap. <laughs> Here comes a little bad crap. Hey, bad crap. <laughs> And UC Riverside biology doctoral student Philip Stearns were scanning the waters near Santa Barbara when they captured footage of a white five-foot-long shark pup. Hmm. Stearns said, we enlarged the images, put them in slow motion, and realized the white layer was being shed from the body as it was swimming. I believe it was a newborn great white shedding its embryonic layer. Wow. That's pretty cool. He added, in my opinion, this one was likely hours, maybe one day old at most. That discovery was documented in a paper published in the journal Environmental Biology of Fishes. I'm sure you guys... They quickly killed it so they could study it in the lab. They did not. Oh, I, I do have a question about your story. Kill it. The guy was from UC Riverside, which mm -hmm. is inland. That's not who you want studying your oceans. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. They let him, not, leave. I, they I, let him leave campus. You yeah. Know, I don't you want that. him at UC San Diego. Yeah, I want, him, I want him on the coast. Did you I say don't. he was five feet long? The, the pup the, was. It's a baby shark. Yes. How big had the mother have to be? Well, they're pretty big, great white sharks. 12 to 20 feet. Guana said where, uh, where white sharks give birth is one of the holy grails of shark science. No one's ever been able to pinpoint where the babies are born. No one's ever seen a newborn baby shark alive. That's crazy. This point. Mm. Yeah. How have they not? I don't know. Wow. Because they live in the ocean. <laughs> oh, cool. That's why. It's big. <laughs> Want to hear the song? No. No, no, no. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I couldn't resist. God, that's awful. Okay. <laughs> well, How many good. times did you hear that in your life? Oh, it's it's uh, fortunately that's over. Now today is Groundhog Day, and you just announced Puxatoni Phil. What was it again? Uh, Saw the shadow. What is it? No, did, not did not see the, the shadow. shadow which, so early, early spring. Early okay. Spring. Yeah, I'll remember that in April 11th when it's 10 degrees out. Yeah. Um, now, and you remember the movie, Chris? Have you, have you seen the movie Groundhog Day? I uh, have. Yes, okay, so you remember this? Uh, this is the alarm clock every morning. Yes. Great Sonny and Cher tune. We say we're young and we don't know. Won't find out too. Sonny, we're in the fur vest. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. You want to wait for the share part? You got me. 
Yeah, Cher sang first. Cher sang first. first. That was Cher. Yes. Yeah. And then Sonny, yeah. God, yeah, I can't tell. They, they make Cher <laughs> sing flat, so Sonny doesn't seem so flat. Oh, why? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. Sonny. Uh, but, uh, you, you know, know, he had a restaurant down the street from my house, and I prefer if you guys would talk very nicely about him. Oh, oh really? Good place? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was called Bone House. Oh. It's now called Nick's on Second, and it's fantastic. Oh. Oh. I love to go there for a drink on a Sunday after work. <laughs> It was called Bonos? Bonos, yeah. Hmm. Ah, Sonny Bono. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Sonny Bono. Okay. Oh, All right. As opposed to uh, when people would uh, not Bono from nope, YouTube. No. It's a no. different guy. Bono. Different person. That'd be great if it was, it was Sonny. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, it was the same person? Maybe the, just, U, the YouTube guy comes out with a fur vest on <laughs> and they do a version of I Got You, Babe for the... Uh, Sonny Bono. In the, in the yeah. <laughs> Sonny Bono. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that'd be funny. God, Godwin's got to get on that. Uh, but God, you, got a, you got a tribute for us? For what? What do you want, Sonny Bono? Anything? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I want sure, Sonny I got Bono. Uh, my son's thirteen and in his room with a VR headset and talking to his friends on Zoom. I know one thing is true. Whatever I ask him, is there something he'd like to do? He says, "Dude." Uh oh. <laughs> I got YouTube. <laughs> I got YouTube. At the end of the month, my money spent. The cost of entertainment is putting me in debt. I should get some of these streaming services I bought. Oh, I'm not sure of all the things I've got on the tube. <laughs> I got YouTube TV. I got Netflix. I got Hulu. <laughs> I got Peacock and Showtime and HBO Max. Thank God I use my girlfriend's password for that. I got BritBox, Paramount, and Disney Plus. Chicks got Amazon Prime. It's 15 bucks a month. Yeah, it is. My son comes to me and says, Dad, you know what service is still free? <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> I got YouTube. A little production there. Uh, oh, thank you, Pat. That was really nice. Yeah, All over the place. Really nice. <laughs> uh, how many uh, services do you have, Jim? I don't know. All many, of them. Many. I would guess all of them, yeah. Mm. I, I've lost track, honestly. I don't know. Is it a tax write-off? Uh, let's... No, of course oh, not. Right, I, pay, I pay all my taxes. Do you... Uh, in a timely fashion. Are there any that you're paying for twice? Uh, I think I have six Netflix, yeah, but only because I forget passwords and I just start a new account instead of talking just, to just give up customer service. Okay, yeah. very, very good, right. very good. Uh, Christy Lee, what's coming up? Uh, coming up, we have time to do this. Okay, I think. go ahead. Bring it. A Tennessee lawmaker hoping to make so-called hot slaw an hot official slaw. state food, mm. according to the Memphis Flyer. Legislation supporting the idea has advanced in a House committee of the Tennessee General Assembly. A companion bill would make Cleveland, Tennessee, the hot slaw capital of the state. Is it coleslaw but spicy? You're very, very much correct. By the, way, by the way, I'd like to point something out. A chick recently pointed out that he was a grown-ass man before he realized that in the movie The Wizard of Oz that the black and white parts... Uh, those were the guys that later on showed up as the wizard, et cetera, et cetera. Yes. And, you know, the lady in the bicycle. The scarecrow and the lion yeah. and the tin man were... I'm lost. I just like farm hands. I just, I, farm I, just, hands. I just wanted these oh. things you find out as an adult. What did you find out as an adult? Uh, I thought it was cold slaw. No. Yeah. How do you have a show that uses words? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Did We're not you, good with them. Did, <laughs> uh, it's C-O-L-E, coleslaw. Coleslaw. Yeah. And I always right. hated it. Maybe that's I why hate I didn't. it too. Because you're spelling it wrong. Yeah, yeah that's wrong. Thing. Hot <laughs> slaw is similar to coleslaw, but it's more of a mustard, vinegar, hot pepper type of slaw. Sounds good. Maybe a lot it of people might, thought might make it, it taste better. Hmm. A lot of people thought it was just coleslaw. I like up. Tennessee, but should they make? But should they be making laws? <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think when it comes to coleslaw... He like, means for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah I get that. Just, well, I'm just like, oh, yeah. we, got, we got potholes. Let's get to the coleslaw for the <laughs> So hot slaw is... Like coleslaw, spicier. but it's spicier, yeah. There's also something you can get at a massage therapy. It, oh. it does sound like a sex <laughs> move. Hot slaw. Oh. I'm here for the hot slaw. <laughs> the hot well, slaw. Like the hot slaw. Slaw. You're gonna need girl with a Tennessee accent comes in and gives you a rub down. <laughs> you need an extra pair of pants when you leave. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Oh, I'm here for the Memphis hot slaw. <laughs> oh, my. You sure is, baby. So good. Call baby. me Elvis. Call me Elvis. Call me Elvis. <laughs> uh, uh, now, uh, coming up, what do you got over there, Christy? Uh, coming up, Papers. we have a ramen bar in the news, and we have... Could scientists determine if you're drunk just by your voice? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. I'm not drunk. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yet another boy stuck in a claw machine. Ah, oh, this uh, is yes. story. I got to see that in person once. Did you really? Yes, I did. It was one On a cruise ship? <laughs> no, it was at a bar in St. Louis. Really? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Little St. kids family, in there. family restaurant slash bar. Yeah, yeah. Did they have to call the fire department? They uh, were able to get the back of the thing opened and uh, let him out. But did he, they give the kid a prize? No, no, they scolded him. Yeah, the parents of the bar. Yeah, the the, the, the the bartender really came from the business. What was the You're kid not doing? supposed to go in there. What was the kid doing on the bar? It's a restaurant St. slash Louis. bar. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, very good. Cool. Blueberry States. Hill. It was a uh, yeah. Chuck Berry's bar. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Find, a, find a thrill while you were in there. Well, well, I found a camera in the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> There's crap on everything. You know, yeah. Right now, uh, fellas, uh, the clock is ticking. We are now in the month of February, which means Valentine's Day just around the corner. Here's an opportunity to uh, check a box off that will be helping you in the future. I'm talking about getting that perfect gift for Valentine's Day. That's where Steven Singer Jeweler comes in. Steven Singer, you find him at IHateStevenSinger.com. Christy, are you wearing the uh, bracelet wearing today? I'm wearing the Atlas bracelet. What? Tell today. me what that is again. It's a beautiful bracelet. It has diamonds, baguettes. It's in a vintage style, round diamonds, and uh, it's just gorgeous. How much? Two hundred forty-eight dollars. Well, thank you, Stephen. Can you get a free baguette with every order? No, yeah. No, French thank baguette. you for confusing the thing. Also, you're holding one of those beautiful uh, roses dipped in actual gold, hand painted yep. with uh, the color this year is Malibu pink. Dip, 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 Malibu dip. pink. And uh, I suggest, guys, that you take the bracelet, wrap it around the inside of the rose. No, I say you get diamond earrings and uh, put them in uh, in peas. Yeah, something that's yeah, easily that's swallowed. Idea. Yeah, no, and then you say be idea. careful when you're eating those peas. Oh, too late. Get the strainer. The point is, Stephen Singer Jewelers has everything you're going to need. Now, the, the beauty of this Malibu My Pink goodness. Rose, fellas, just listen to me for a second. You're going to get it in a beautiful box. Okay. It has a personalized Valentine's Day card. Everything you need, it's all done. One little trip to IHateStevenSinger.com, and you are in business. By the way, get that order in today before 2 o'clock, and it's out the door today. So you'll have it in plenty of time. Once again, I hate Stevensinger.com is the place to go. While you're there, check out Steven's little doggy. Buddy. Uh, I was looking at doggy buddy yesterday. Mm -hmm. What a cutie. Uh, once again, it's I hate Stevensinger.com. I recommend earrings or roses or that beautiful bracelet, all kinds yes. of cool stuff. You can't go wrong with Steven Singer. Coming up, headline poop falling from the sky. And uh, also a very bizarre story involving a, uh, a sound. A sound, a mysterious sound in Florida. What is it, Bigfoot? We're going to find out. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send it. More increase his salary if we're going to get him to do it right. You're right. Art, I know one of your favorite words is yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, thank yes. you. Uh, yes. You've heard and seen the say yes to Michigan commercials, I'm sure. Yes, yes. Uh, well, there's a billboard in Indiana. In fact, there are a lot of them. An Indiana yes, billboard yes, company there is. has uh -huh. launched a war between yes. the states yes. by erecting a billboard that says, shut up, Art. Yes. Oh. No, it oh. says, <laughs> say no to Michigan. I see. <laughs> it says, say no to Michigan. Wander Indiana first. Michigan tourism officials are taking the slogan war in stride, but some Michigan residents are not amused. They've even complained to the Indiana Chamber of Commerce. Travel officials in Indiana say they have nothing to do with the billboard. On the other hand, they're not terribly upset about it either. Josephine Hickman, president of the Hoosier Outdoor Advertising Company, admits her billboard design pokes fun at Michigan, but she says there are say yes to Michigan signs posted all over northern Indiana, and Hoosier's feelings are hurt. Hey, we're a fun place, what can we say? Elsewhere in the news, Governor Milliken has signed a major supplemental spending bill containing more than $260 million. For JML News, I'm Art Bishore. No, you're Tom Griswold. Thank you. I'm glad I'm not. This morning's news is brought to you so by Auto Glass Specialist in Gaylord, Cadillac, and Iron Mountain. For fast, professional, Batoski, it's partly sunny and 64. JML News time is 7.57. 
Good morning, everybody. Well, Tom, one thing I want to say, first of all, your dick is bigger than this microphone. Well, <laughs> is it my turn to talk? Because yours is smaller than this cigarette. <laughs> so uh, we'll just go from there. Thank you. Got to get some news art, so I have to cut short. I got to go in the air in five minutes here. Oh, Jackie O. Hmm. Ah, oh, Miss Universe Swimsuit Competition. Oh, I Swim love her. Swimsuit? Suit. 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 Right. Okay. We had fun on the air here today. Tom is from beautiful Cleveland. No, Shaker Heights, Ohio. Tom Griswold recently worked in Florida radio, also worked in Petoskey radio right across the way at McDonald Broadcasting. Had a great time and really learned my stuff there. Thanks for the staff, Trish, by the way. Hi, Hi to the folks in Daytona Beach. <laughs> Get a sunburn from Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. We you know, it's funny you mentioned today. Giant because yes? a colleague of mine, Tony Robbins, wrote Awaken the Giant Within, mm -hmm. Bob. Uh huh. And if we have time, I'd like to explain the difference between me and Tony Robbins, one of the most successful. I'd love to know. A couple million well, dollars? Well, no, not really. <laughs> you know, Tony Robbins wrote a book, as you know, called Awaken the Giant Within, sold uh -huh. over 20 million copies. Right. And in this book, Christy, Mr. Robbins postulates, that means theorizes, mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> that everyone has a giant within them just waiting to break out and do fabulous things. Well, I think that's a crock of, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think if you feel you have a giant within you, you're probably constipated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My new book, Meet Me in the Middle. <laughs> is an answer to Zig Ziglar's See You at the Top. Uh -huh. See, I think we are our own worst enemy, and the sooner that people realize that in the success world, we are our own worst enemy. Our middle name should be Versus. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe, and I think Chick would agree with this, success is not something we reach as a final destination. Success is like an illness, isn't it? We have bouts of success, episodes of success, uh -huh. and then we fall down and flounder some more. Mm -hmm. And my book shows you how to take advantage of those times you do succeed and uh -huh. parlay those up. And there's a reason why I'm able to drive a 1987 Cadillac Fleetwood. <laughs> <laughs> I have three yeah. cars, two of which are running. <laughs> <laughs> You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Why is like a recipe for a fight? They got a language, all of the vowels. Uh -huh. They embrace them, uh, you know, like an old Mrs. Beasley doll. All the vowels they love. <laughs> <laughs> they can't stand the consonants, uh, you know. Uh, twice I found nine U's together in a word. <laughs> you know, you see that, you could pronounce it. Ooh! 
<laughs> but you can't. You have to go, ooh, 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 or you end up on the wrong island. <laughs> <laughs> they put two airports on the island of Maui. They call one of them something like Killy Willy Pilly, and then they call the other one uh, Willy Willy Polly. Uh -huh. I, mean, I go to the wrong one. I'm the idiot. <laughs> Some guy at the airport in a flowered shirt. You know, You're supposed to be at Hilly Willy Pilly, not Willy Willy Polly, all cheerful and everything. Why don't you call one of them My My Pee Pee? Ow, ow. <laughs> Buy a consonant the next time you spin the wheel, Don Ho Ho Ho. Why'd you name everything over here? What'd you do, bring a stutterer over and tell him to hurry up? <laughs> hey, what would you call that tree? And, 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 okay, that's good enough. <laughs> How about that mountain over there? Oh, my, 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 okay, that's good. How about those big birds? Oh, oh, yeah, keep moving. Those will be the oh, oh birds, won't they? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is August. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Big day, Tom. The Ian Bag is here. <laughs> Ian's been a friend of ours for a long time. Ian comes to us from... Uh, Blackball for four years! Uh, from Blackball, Canada. Blackball, Canada. Uh, suburban Terrace. Uh, if you leave them out in the cold, that's what happens to them. Terrace, oh, terrace oh, Cleft. Terrace Cleft, Canada, whatever. Uh, Ian's uh, got uh, some cool stuff on his social media platforms, including millions of views, uh, so check it out. Uh, yeah, okay. how, how does one do that, Ian? Well, you, you, you go on the Internet, uh -huh. and you go to Ian Bag at, uh, at YouTube, or, or uh, Instagram or the TikTok or the mm -hmm. Facebook and you will find clips from my shows. And people right. will, nah, I would say 79% will enjoy it <laughs> and then there will be a 21% that will complain and fall apart. Uh, I love that. And it, is, yeah. uh, it is the double G, by the way. Yeah. The bag. Yes. Double yeah. G. Would bang. you mind telling, it's one of my favorite stories of uh, dealing with a celebrity that you, that you have uh, where you were hosting a red carpet, <laughs> and a particular uh, male celebrity, very famous, uh, was... <laughs> Do you remember this? You got in trouble with... Uh... With Brad Pitt? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm doing the SAG Awards, and, uh, and uh, it's me and all the... Like, I'm there... Right? right, and then beside me is all Entertainment Tonight and Extra and Hard Copy and all those sure. right down the line, and, and they say Brad Pitt's going to talk to you, and I'm like, well, he's going to skip all those and talk to me. So, uh, so I started out with, uh, so what's your name, fella? <laughs> and, <laughs> It went downhill from there. He didn't care for it. Oh, wow. He did not. I was Are not George. That was not George Clooney. Therefore, I was not funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's Brad Pitt walks. What's your name, fella? <laughs> and, he, and he just goes, Brad Pitt. And I go, you ever had a chocolate-covered pretzel? And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, you can go down to hard copy if you want the normal question. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They didn't have you back, did yeah, they? Yeah, no, this is cross-eyed Ian talking to you right here. <laughs> Well, that makes me sad because I would yeah. like to think Brad Pitt has a I great think, sense of humor. I think, well, he, I think he was going through a divorce, to be oh, honest with you. Bad timing. And she was right next to us oh. talking to uh, somebody else. Uh, and then he gets, he gets Ian from Canada <laughs> wanting to know who he is. You're a handsome looking fella. How'd you end up in the show business? <laughs> All right? So... And, and, and I'm just like, I, I'm like, what was the first commercial you ever did? And he goes, oh, I did a Huffy bike commercial. I go, did you get to keep the bike? And he goes, no, they paid me. Like, These are good questions, Ian. Yeah. Yeah. These are hard-hitting questions. Damn fine questions. Yeah, and I, and I was excited. And then Alec Baldwin came up, and nobody got shot. <laughs> well, that's good. No, he was actually a lot of fun. Alec Baldwin yeah. was. I, I, I said, "You ever had a chocolate covered pretzel?" And he goes, "Do you have them with you?" <laughs> that's an answer. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Very yeah, good. I'd love very to have good. one right now. And I play it along. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, Ian Bag is our guest, and we're going to hang with Ian uh, uh, once again. Uh, Christy Lee is hanging at the uh, at the Bob and Tom news desk. Have we missed anything? No place I'd rather be. Residents in South Tampa, Florida, have finally learned the source of a mysterious deep bass sound plaguing Ooh. the area for years. Hmm. Dr. James Locasio with M Moat Marine told KSTU... Now, before we tell him what it is, I've got it over here. All right. Oh, you have the actual audio? Yeah, this is, I mean, this this is really Ooh. odd. And this is from KSTU? That's right, sir. Stu TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Stu. Here we go. Uh, our mascot's a tomato. <laughs> Stewed tomatoes. Stewed tomatoes. That'd be great. The guy does the weather in a tomato suit. Yes. Sir. Well, it's going to be sunny again today. I've got the GD tomato suit on. Here we go. It's going to be spaghetti this, hot. This is the sound. <laughs> Listen carefully. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's your swamp ape. I know what it is. What is it? It's a manatee choir. He's right. <laughs> that's a, it's, it's not a bad guess. It sounds like it's got to be something huge, and I guess they could hear it a mile away from the ocean. It's the uh, Cubans. The low frequency sound travels <laughs> through the ground, which might explain why homes more than a mile from the water can still hear the black drum fish in mating season. Wow. What? They didn't even try to name this fish. Mr. Cosby, would you like to answer back? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Yeah. The old black drum fish. Yeah, I mean, it does kind of sound like a drum. It does. Yeah. I can't tell. How it's big right. are the fish that it's affecting people a mile away? Uh, I don't know how big. Well, they the are. ocean is scary. <laughs> it is just monsters in there. <laughs> monsters. You know what they say? What? It's all about that bass. They, uh, <laughs> that has been said. <laughs> I've heard that. I love, I love that song. I can see why they it's raise you above everybody bass. else. You have a very <laughs> thing. Yeah, they, they know. Um, wow, that's... Uh, I can't understand. you play understand. that one more time? Yeah, it seems... I don't know. I don't get it. It's way too loud. They're big. I mean, maybe with the on, submarine baby. with your sonar, whatever Come on, it is, baby. You can hear it a mile away. There's your black drum right there. Ooh, that's a big yeah. fish. Not very black. Like big, like a group. Oh my god, it's huge! I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that makes that makes. I mean, there's drum in it's, the freshwater. There's drum everywhere, but this particular black drum is. Uh, boy, it's noisy. Never. Have you caught a drum? Noisy. Yeah, I've oh. got a drum in the Ozarks. Really? Yeah. Hmm. You throw uh, it back. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. You don't good do, eating? You wouldn't try? I, uh, I wouldn't. No. Okay. no, no. Filled with cocaine. <laughs> I saw that Ozark show. Yeah, sure, yeah. yeah, I know. I know what's going on in that right. lake. I've seen it. <laughs> Jason Bateman told me what goes on in there. That. Right. That's a wild sound. Mm-hmm. Uh, Somebody will make it into a song. Kind of scary. Yeah, we need to put a guitar lick. Godwin, on that get out now. Yeah. <laughs> Drums and bass. They're half a band right there. Drums and bass. Drums and bass. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, Christy, what do you got over there? Residents in upstate New York neighborhood are disturbed by feces that keep mysteriously falling from the sky. I would imagine. W-I-V-B. I-V... Uh, B. Formerly I-V-A. <laughs> no? Oh. Mm-hmm. We got demoted? What? Uh, I think so. We have Devo TV. Reports that over the past <laughs> month there have been several instances of fecal matter raining from the sky and hitting homes in North... Tonawanda. What is happening? According to Mayor Austin Tylick, the city cannot confirm whether it's human or animal waste, but... From the sky? Yes. The fecal matter is likely from an airplane due to its appearance. Uh. The FAA confirmed it is looking into the matter. Dave Matthews got a plane. (laughs) (laughs) Or this this is in upstate New York? Upstate New York. North Tonawanda, right outside of Buffalo. I dated a girl from there. Oh, really? Mary McDonald. We went there for Thanksgiving, got all hammered, and met her parents. (laughs) Oh, how'd that go? Yeah, I just thought I'd tell that story. You miss her? Not at all. She was about five foot. Oh, okay. Hey, what's wrong, short for what's me. wrong with that? Well, well, I like to look at a girl in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you, like 6'4"? Yeah. Four? I'm 6'4", four, so yeah. basically I just talked at, above her a lot. She got to look at you? Yeah, yeah. Five five yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what's the other, 6'4", and she was 5 foot? You were nuts over her, huh? <laughs> That's God the thing. Uh, <laughs> hey, oh, here's the uh, mayor of uh, Tonawanda. He looks like he's 7 years old. Look at that. <laughs> he's probably the one. He's probably the one pooping all over his people. <laughs> he's a good-looking guy, though. Looks like a politician, right? Yeah. Uh, Mayor Tylick. I All think right. they should, uh, w- if it, if it is airplanes, they should throw the poop back. How are they going to do that? We have the technology. That's the same, it's the so same thing. It's, it's the same thing as a t-shirt guns. <laughs> is that right? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Same All thing right. as t-shirt guns. Yeah, they're uh, flying over Flushing Meadows uh, <laughs> typically. To, how do they not they, know if it's animal or human? Right. They don't. How many animals are flying? Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be from an airplane. They always, well, they know I it's from an airplane because there are peanuts in it. Uh, <laughs> that's how they figure it out. Is it like a bird, though? Is it good luck if it, if it hits you on the shoulder? Uh, Buy a lottery ticket right afterwards? I don't know. Did yeah. you know bird poop? The white is urine, and the darker part is the poop. They, you live weird. They, they, <laughs> <laughs> they do both out of the same uh, hole. Very, very helpful. <laughs> uh, uh, when, when we come back, um, really, G's going to join us. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. I, uh, when we when we uh, decided to do this, I said, uh, Tom, we should do a uh, Tim Wilson song. And I, uh, this is really hard. Um, I 
practice and practice, and man, I sucked. <laughs> you just can't do a Tim Wilson song. So I uh, took liberties with some of Timmy's songs and, uh, and whipped a song together in uh, honor of Tim. Help me get through this, folks. Can you hear that? Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> He really loved his trailer park woman. Didn't care much for Dr. and Phil. I'm sure he started the church league fist fight. And his ass got tired of Shaquille O'Neal. A big white hat with a black six string guitar. Now the heavens have their newest star. Where's my jetpack, he would say. Now he's sporting wings. And he taught Jesus Christ the booty song. <laughs> we all thought he'd go to Chuck E. Cheese hell. With George Bush, George Strait, George Patton, and George Orwell. Tired of me singing this song. <laughs> a big white hat with a black six string guitar. Now the heavens have their newest star. Oh, where's my jetpack? He would sing. Now he's sporting wings. And he asked Jesus Christ to join his band. They're singing Georgia, goodbye Georgia, Georgia, goodbye, Georgia, goodbye Georgia, Georgia, goodbye. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Wow, what am I going to do? I've got to get this box to Los Angeles by tomorrow. So just FedEx it. Are you kidding? It's too big. Well, then overnight it by train. By train? All the way across the country, overnight. Are you crazy? No, pal, he's not crazy. The famous Norfolk and Winston Railroad has just merged with WayPal Delivery Services. Together, our new company will revolutionize the overnight delivery business. Ask for us by name. We're... Hold it. You're telling me you can get this 2,000-pound package from New York to L.A. overnight by train? Norfolk and Way, pal. Overnight. Absolutely positively. Absolutely positively we will get you through it. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. We are going to do it. When you go by rail, no package is too large. 
and we'll get it there overnight. <laughs> Norfolk and Way, pal. That's the name. We do it by train. Cross country, by rail, overnight. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. Here at the Bronx Zoo, we actually shipped Washoe the gorilla to the San Diego Zoo overnight. We had to pry his eyes open on the West Coast, but he's fine now. Absolutely, positively. Absolutely, positively, we will get it. Overnight by train. Norfolk and Way, pal. Norfolk, Virginia. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. On November 15th, 1864, Major General William Tecumseh Sherman began his famous march to the sea. Sherman led his troops from Atlanta, Georgia, to the ocean port of Savannah. As he was leaving, Sherman set the city on fire, gutting 40% of it. Atlanta wouldn't be burned this badly again until they gave their franchise tag to Michael Vick. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian Diana Jordan is here with us. Now, can I ask you something? Yeah. Since you've been here last, have you had any augmentation of any kind? No. Okay. Must what, be... oh, I'm wearing the Wonder Bra. Is that Are you kidding? I, yeah. No. <laughs> I just showed it. Impressive. Yeah. They call it the Wonder Bra because when you take it off, the guy wonders where in the hell you're <laughs> Bob and Tom. Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. At the news desk, it's Christy Lee. Hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hey, Chick. Ace Cosby's here. here. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold with a, a special guest in the studio and uh, on the road. Uh, he is uh, <laughs> Ian Bag. Ian Bag. Uh, uh, all the way from uh, yeah. the north country of Canada, now a Los Angelino. And taking the American test. There's uh, Willie, Willie G. Uh, currently hey. in, uh, I think, in your kitchen, I think. Is that what's going on back there? Yeah, I'm in my kitchen, which is also my bedroom and the foyer, <laughs> uh, hanging out. Good to nice. see you guys, man. Good to see oh, we you. miss you, Willie. I miss like you the, all, too. I like the Elvis hair with the headphones on. You got kind of a pompadour going. Thank you. Uh, there's no product in. I haven't washed it in five days. It's greasy, and the <laughs> headphones make it stand up like that. Nice. Know. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, what's happening? <laughs> Not too much. Hey, I wanted to say hi to Ian really quick. I've never met you, but hi, a week ago I was at Zany's in Chicago. Apologize. I met your pal Scott Darling. He had a lot of good stuff to say about you. Scott's very nice. Won the Stanley Cup with the Chicago Blackhawks, and then decided to do comedy. Good for him. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Wow. Oh, yeah. well, that's very nice. Yeah. I know you're a big and, hockey guy. And he's very rich. He had some big contracts. <laughs> Be friendly with him. Be friendly with him. <laughs> so this ever happened to you? You win the Stanley Cup, and yeah, yeah. then you uh, <laughs> go to comedy? That ever happened to you? Yeah. Yeah. Probably not a lot of uh, relatables there. With okay. Do you know him pretty well? Do I know Scott? Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're, we're very good friends. Okay. And, and he lives in Chicago. And, yeah, I, he's very fun to tour with uh, in hockey places, in hockey markets, because we end up doing hockey things. And, uh, yeah, it's good. And you should know him, Willie. <laughs> Get to know him. Be friends with him. I'm telling you, he's rich. Don't mention the, don't mention the Blackhawks now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't bring them up. They are in dead last. And do not bring up Corey Perry. <laughs> I don't get that. Uh, what's, how, what's, how does our quiz work, Willie? Well, uh, you guys were kind of giving Ian a hard time about the citizenship test he has to take. So yeah. I want to ask... Uh, <laughs> I want to ask, to use Christie's term, all the real Americans in the room. I, I tried right. to correct her. I'm out. That's right. I want to see if you guys know any of these city of citizenship questions. Can you guys figure it out, you think? I doubt it. No. It's really tough. I looked up. I got the first one wrong. It said, who was the father of the country? I said it was Kid Rock. Turns out <laughs> it's uh, George Washington. Uh, uh, that, uh, that could happen to anybody, Willie. Uh, so here's number one, first question. How many amendments are there, real Americans? Oh, geez. No. 26, 29. Way too, way too many. Didn't they have to add one, then subtract it? Yeah. That, what was that booze one? 18th? Yeah. Oh, what was that called? 21st Amendment? That's I'm the one that took it away. 21st Amendment took I'm, it away. I'm going to say 25, final answer. I say 26. 
27. Christy got it. Price oh. is ah, closest without going over. What's the 27th one? Right. Is that the one where they uh, have to ship the Canadian bodies back up north when they die? What oh. did they do? Oh. Quit killing me. <laughs> Hang on. What do they do with the Canadian bodies? Well, Ian's going to become an American, but you know, once you... Did you, you say ship? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I don't think you did. <laughs> check the tape. Okay, yeah, sorry. Check the they tape. Drop, they drop them over North Tonawanda. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so you got the first one. Okay, Willie, next question. Okay, uh, how many uh, House of Representatives, how many voting members are in the U.S. House of Representatives? Oof. That's a good uh, question. 432. Hmm. Good guess. I haven't gone yet. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say 430-something. Hmm. It's 435, Chick. Yeah. Bingo. That, that, as a real American, that counts as correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're damn right. Yeah, my well, There's always a couple that don't show up. Uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Mine can't vote. Yours can't vote? Yeah. Why not? Because uh, he always votes the same way, so they just check the box. Is that, <laughs> no point letting him. Is that right? <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. There, there's, there's no, oh, there's no movement oh, there. Oh, boy. Whoops. <laughs> just move Man, on, Willie. I thought this... I thought this coach was going to be fine, and now I feel like you're going to hurt a House of Representatives member or start yeah. an international war with Canada. Okay. <laughs> well, the CIA is going to be at the door when we get done with this. Yeah. February 2nd okay, is gang. the new January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you on 2-2? Two, two? Yeah. That's right. Uh, final question for this quiz that's going mediocre at best. Oh, uh, if, the president, a great time. if the president and the VP can't serve, who serves as president? Speaker, no, speaker of the house. Of the house. Yeah. yeah, speaker of the house. All right. Well, you know what? That's a it, radio guy from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they get Bubba Airwaves. Yeah. <laughs> I am Bubba Airwaves on the. <laughs> the only way I know that is guys. I watched that stupid show Succession or whatever. What was it called? Yeah. Hmm? Where, they, where they killed all of Congress and the president. That was a scary show. It was what? amazing. That yeah. wasn't succession. That's not <laughs> succession. It was Peter Sutherland. Uh, Christy, Peter I believe Sullivan. that's White House Down. Yeah. <laughs> what was that called? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Something Survivor, yeah. Soul, Soul, yeah. Soul Survivor. Yeah, Soul Survivor. That's what it was called. Uh, Willie G is uh, on his way to Vegas. <gasps> you're going to be uh, reporting from Las Vegas, uh, the, the, uh, the run-up to the Super Bowl. And we looked into buying you a couple of seats, and they're nine thousand a piece. So uh, nine grand a piece. You'll be watching on TV. Sorry, Willie. <laughs> That's okay. You know what? I just let's be on it. How about you just buy me and Noah instead of buying us one seat? Just give us the money for half a seat, and we'll just gamble it all and buy legal weed in Vegas. <laughs> okay. Did you watch any of the Pro Bowl stuff yesterday? I've just seen little clips on Instagram. Oh. It's so weird. It's all these grown men, and they look like they're playing Nickelodeon game show games from the 90s. Yeah. It's insane. Yep, yeah, pretty much. And I bet they're having fun. Though. And not even the best get to go. <laughs> that, that's what yeah. It should be the, the semi-pro. <laughs> yeah, semi-pro the semi-pro ball. Ball. Yeah. Because it's not the best of the best. It's like, oh, those good guys, they're, they're actually playing. Uh. <laughs> they're the Super Bowl. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. All right, yeah. Willie. We'll talk to you in Vegas. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey remember, he's rich. He's rich. <laughs> Hockey. Best opener ever. Because he's rich. I <laughs> mean, he buys dinner. Yeah, yeah. You like a private jet to your gig? <laughs> yeah. How long did this guy play hockey? Uh, quite a few, about about eight years. Yeah, yeah. He was he he, he started he, he started with the Admirals in Milwaukee. I ended up uh, with that. He he had such a good season. He got uh, his choice of where to go. He picked his hometown, Chicago. Ended up winning the Stanley Cup his first year in the league. And he was part of that run, like, because he's a goaltender. Somebody got hurt. One, their number one goaltender got hurt. He played a lot of the, out of the year, and he played some of the, of the playoffs. And boom! And then he took a big, big contract with uh, uh, the North Carolina Hurricanes. And it kind of went sideways on him. <laughs> and then but he uh, cashed the checks. But he cashed the checks, and he's still getting them. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, he's still getting them. Oh, how does that work? Because uh, you have sign a contract for many years. Agents are pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah it's pretty amazing. <laughs> That's why they get all that money. That sounds yeah. good. Uh, yeah, Christy, guaranteed money, which football should have. Um, what do you got over there, Christy? A struggling ramen bar in Houston, Texas has started. No an OnlyFans account to drum up business. Oh, really? Ninja Ramen posted a statement onto social media explaining that it is facing the prospect of closing and is now pulling out all the stops to get through until 2025. In addition mm -hmm. to slashing prices for a limited time and reminding people that it has, quote, 
the largest selection of Asian whiskeys in the country. Ninja Bar also has joined the website OnlyFans. Owner Christopher Huang said, send me pictures of you eating our hot nudes, and I'll post them with your consent, of course. No, hot nudes is... Noodles. Oh, N-O-O-D-S? Mm-hmm. Oh, because I was thinking, people go to OnlyFans for hot nudes. Right. I yeah. I think is the... Uh, they're mm. trying to. They're trying to pivot, Tom. <laughs> so are they, I, I assume that they're expecting people to take naked pictures of themselves and send it to this guy. I don't know that they need to be naked necessarily. Right. Remember, White Castle had an OnlyFans for a bit. Or maybe they still may. Oh, actually. I don't know. Yeah. I think they're actually just uh, showing their waiters and waitresses what they'll be doing after the restaurant closes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Or maybe this guy's eighty-year-old grandma naked stirring the noodles in oh. the back of the restaurant. Oh, that is so Man. hot. That's, that's, a, uh, that's a hot news. Yeah, Twenty bucks a month. <laughs> this is our new. Uh, our new Not bukkake enough. bowl. Oh, oh man. Cream, cream sauce. Oh, oh man. <laughs> OnlyFans.com oh, slash man. Ninja Ramen if you'd He's like to see more. hot I, model with ramen oozing from People would watch crevice. that. Oh, God. What? Oh, what would. kind of ramen are you eating? Uh, <laughs> well, first of all, very salty. Yeah. So you got to be careful where you put it, ladies. <laughs> might, uh, <laughs> might sting. <laughs> It'll change your pH. <laughs> <laughs> you need to keep that balanced. Uh, coming up, I think we're going to have time to hang briefly with a uh, comedian. Am I, am I right? We're bringing uh, John Wayne in here? Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, it's when, happening. When we come back. I don't know how this show we've works. We've also I've been got a, for a, long a couple time. questions. <laughs> I want to review um, the fact that if you're listening to the show on those Raycon earbuds, it just sounds that much better. Yeah. Yes, it does. If you've got an ounce of sense in your head, you uh, know about Raycon wireless earbuds. They look, feel, and sound better than ever. The optimized gel tips from Raycon fit every ear ever made, and they will not budge. Uh, Raycons also give you eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life, and Raycons are priced just right. You get quality audio at around half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have tens of thousands of five-star reviews. And do not forget about the awesome features like customizable sound profiles and the awareness mode. Raycons truly has it all. Go to buyraycon.com com slash Tom right now and get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 15% off your Raycon products. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Okay, here's your uh, President's Day vacation tip. Get those uh, Raycon earbuds for yourself or get the full headphones from Raycon. Got them for my little girls on our last trip. Total silence. They were content playing their video games and watching their movies and didn't go, are we there yet? Not even once. Yeah, so the uh, we're not there yet headphones. Ask for them by name. Wait a minute. No, uh, just go to Raycon at buyraycon.com uh, slash Tom. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Yes, and... I saw a, uh, a billboard recently, too, that was kind of... It was uh, a billboard for a hospital, and then there was a picture of a smiling woman, and the caption read, They didn't treat me like doctors. They treated me like friends. Huh. Like, well, it's great for her. I mean, she must have really good friends. But yeah. Uh, me, <laughs> when I have to go to the hospital, I want my doctors to treat me uh, like, like doctors. doctors. Yeah, sure, okay? Yeah. Yeah. To hell yeah. with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. My friends don't know how to treat me. <laughs> yeah. I had sunburn once. You know what my friends did? They slapped it. Yeah. Sure. Uh-huh. When I told them it hurt, they just slapped it harder and more frequently. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, I want doctors who are going to properly diagnose my condition, not my friends who are going to tell me I have a fatal case of the queers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want doctors. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Doctors who are going to bring me medicine, not beer uh-huh. that's been kind of peed in. Yeah. yeah. I want doctors. <laughs> Doctors are going to provide me with proper treatment. <laughs> what? Can, you need new friends, pal. Yeah, really? What's uh-huh. this peeing in the yeah. beer routine? Uh-huh. Doctors who are going to provide me with proper treatment, not my friends who are going to shoot me with Roman candles as I struggle to get out of a hammock. <laughs> <laughs> It's always funny on YouTube. Yeah. Always yeah, when, funny. When do you not struggle to get out of a hammock? Uh, I mean, is matter. there an elegant way to get out of a hammock? No, no, no there isn't. No, no. <laughs> especially but when, great. especially when you're being pelted with Roman candles yes. right. that are lit. You gotta love that. You do need better friends. Yeah. <laughs> and you're weighing in at what? About two and a quarter? Oh, that's, you're very generous. Yeah, that's uh, very kind. Two forty-five. Mm-hmm. Two forty-five. Getting out of a hammock with Roman candles. <laughs> no, yeah, I'd uh, watch. Yeah, I'm my own man. People did. Yeah, I'm in. Wow. Don't you bottom out on a hammock? <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Poor Josh. Hey, Josh, we made you sit in the green room all morning. Isn't that considered a picnic blanket at that point? <laughs> wow.
Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Stanhope is with us. Uh, let's see, we've established a few things. Doug is a single man, but he's living with a woman in... Um, her, in sin. Her name is Bingo. Her nickname, yeah. Uh, she, uh, um, <laughs> they live in, is it Bisbee? Christy yes. felt the name to <laughs> You know, this, I, I, I get a great Bingo story, but I, like, her, she's got a really... Uh, Careful. Conservative side of our family that listens to your show and I have oh, a great okay. story and I can't tell it. Oh, that's oh. too bad. Well, she's Let very nice. We, we, we have met Bingo. She's very nice. Yes, she's mm -hmm. very nice. Mm -hmm. and we I'm did, not, a, we did a charity uh, poker event at in Miami last week. This yeah. is the card game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, with porn stars <laughs> and me. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because you hear poker. Doug's naked a lot. Did I mention that? You hear poker. No, not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. No, not, Those days are over. Yeah. I bloated up when I quit smoking. I just, yeah. Got okay. all achy. Yeah, I get all bloated and fat, and mm -hmm. yeah, I try not to be naked as much as possible. I'm sure Chick <laughs> can feel me on this. Oh one. yeah, I feel you, brother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the the only po point of my story is, uh, if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna have a uh, a threesome in a sleazy Best Western in Miami with a giant pile of stepped on blow <laughs> with Ginger Lynn, mm -hmm. do it in 1983. That's all, I'm That's all I'm saying about last weekend. Fair enough. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Didn't, didn't, wow. work, didn't work yeah, out well. Yeah, it's I'm nearing guessing. 50. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Things I should have done as a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why did I finally do this now? <laughs> No, Everybody Bob and Tom, well-meaning, but... Yeah, they're they're all messed up. ...more than slightly confused. Say hello and goodbye to Louie quickly. Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. Louie. Yeah. Louie nice Katz you, is here Louie. with us. Louie, you look like a 20-year-old uh, uh, Woody Allen, but I don't know anything about you except that you are actually from Los Angeles, California, born and raised. Yeah. That's very there. unusual. Yeah, rare, very rare. But mm -hmm. that's, that's For right. comedians, I mean, most everybody, most of them all move there. But yeah, everyone yeah. moves there, but I'm actually from there. Okay, are you married or single? Oh uh, no, I'm I'm uh, I'm single. A lot of my friends are starting to get married though, uh -huh. which is kind of oh, weird. Okay. Uh, rest of us use condoms, but uh, some of us <laughs> are starting to get married. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, it's, it's it's tough for me though because I'm like I'm supposed to be happy for them. They're getting married, but it's just I'm just not happy at all for them. It just seems kind of pathetic to me. I mean, these are like they're grown men, but all of a sudden they get married. They have to start asking for permission before they do stuff. You know, oh, yeah. they're always apologizing for things. It seems like they don't even know what for. Just stuck on repeat. Just sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. You know? mm -hmm. And as soon as they get married, they all get these big old guts on them. You know, I mean that that's not from drinking beer. That's from swallowing pride. <laughs> 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 A new interpretation? Yeah. It's time once again for people who suck at small talk. <laughs> hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f ass. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> You know you're too high when you're eating oh, cereal good. naked and your girlfriend tells you to put some clothes on, you realize it's not your girlfriend, it's just a woman on a bus. So <laughs> that's how you know you're too high. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, we've added a guest, Tom. We're up I, to our next and comedian. I gotta tell you, I'm confused. Yeah. We got Ian Bag right. here with us. And Canadian, then, he says. Canadian. And then John Wynn just joined us in the studio. And I'm looking at this picture of John. And uh, I got to tell you, John, you're like a fat pig in this thing. And now oh, you look like a slender, Lord. normal yeah. guy. Jesus, Tom. Holy what smokes. the hell happened? Let me see the picture of the fat pig, It's unbelievable. John. He's huge. Yeah. Oh, wow. He was massive. He was massive. You were massive. I was huge. I was huge. I lost a lot of weight. Apparently. Yeah, well, yeah. You look at, you're looking good. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, I had to do it because uh, I'm, I'm Asian. And a lot of people would ask me if I was Latino or <laughs> South American. And... You know you have to go on a diet when you've eaten yourself into a new ethnicity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How much weight did you lose? About 70 pounds. Oh, well, good for yeah. you. Yeah. Congratulations. He's only 5'6". That's the thing. You look like you're half the man you used to be. I am, yeah, totally. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Did it with the keto diet. Do you know oh. that thing? Oh, really, which one's that? It's oh, yeah. weird. You can eat, like, meat and cheese, but no fruits or vegetables. And, yeah. like, the tough, like, the thing I miss the most, uh, pooping. Uh, <laughs> 
too much cheese. Too you much you cheese. just breathe out the fat? Exactly. Okay, great, great. Although I know nothing about you other than the fact that you got to get a new picture for your bio. <laughs> I know. Uh, are you uh, married, single, gay, straight? What's happening? Uh, married. Married, yeah, yeah. Fellow or a lady? A lady, a lady. Whatever yeah. works yeah, for yeah, me. Hey, whatever works. Right, I totally. love that he has it. It's through gay in there. <laughs> <laughs> are you married? Gay. <laughs> straight. <laughs> Baby, it's you hear what <laughs> He's going to go ahead. Do you hear how progressive I've gotten? I said gay. Did you hear that? Yeah. I don't care. You know, we've only had one bathroom down at the radio station forever. That's right. I can identify three of the letters in LBGTQ. Oh, that's the airport in Long Beach. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, what's happening? Where are you from originally? I, I, I grew up in Waco, Texas. You know, Waco's like a small town. Sure. Nothing major happened there. And uh, <laughs> no, 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 never. No, no. Never. Oh, yikes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you're living now where in Los Angeles? Uh, yeah, yeah, in Santa Clarita, actually. I live I live in Santa Clarita. I'm, I, I do a my day job is a college professor. Oh, no kidding! Uh, yeah, I teach film, so that's pretty cool. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite movie, Josh? Wants oh to. boy, that's a tough one. I don't know. I, I Rushmore's up there. Wes Anderson. No sure, kidding. sure. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Love it. Mm. Mm. What's yours, Tom? Uh, Body Heat. Really? He loves Bonnie. Oh, yeah. Piece of trash. Favorite I, film of all time? That's a, new, that's a great well, I think one. Academia really interesting. will back Who's in Bonnie? William, William Hurt. Uh, William yeah. Hurt, Kathleen Turner, yeah. Richard Crenna. Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Yeah. Ted's, yeah, Ted Danson's entity. That was Plays the yeah. assistant yeah. county yeah. prosecutor. Yeah, yeah. Kathleen and then, Turner. Uh, uh, oh. Look her. It's a great movie. I'm, I'm sorry. You, yeah. you, you teach films. You get to watch movies all day. I what a, what a great gig. Yeah, it's awesome. I get to watch so many movies and, you know, explain them to kids who only watch stuff on their phones. So it's really <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah, what yeah. would you say is the most overrated classic film where you're like, Man, I don't know why we celebrate this one oh, so much. So Gone with the Wind. Gone with oh. the Wind. It's, it's up there, but there's like a timely thing with that movie. But yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, and I I know people like 2001 Space Odyssey, but you have to be really high, I think. To really... <laughs> now let's well, let's get right to that. You you like to uh, smoke the reefer, as they say? Or... I don't. No, I'm during not, your gay uh... love making. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Ian Bag, Ian Bag, you know, California. You got that's the the, the, the legal weed. Right. Are, are you a are you a weed guy or a booze guy? What uh, are you? Uh... I, I, you know what? Uh, I don't drink while I'm working, and I work a lot, so I have to have a week off because I'm one of those guys that takes a long time to recover. So I, I need time because I talk to the crowd a lot. We have a conversation, and I feel if I'm hungover, I'm behind them, mm. and they don't get their full effort. And the stage is the drug, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Now, uh, John Wynn, are you a weed guy? No, no, I don't do I don't do any drugs, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a college professor. But uh, yeah, I just don't I don't do any. I'm pretty straight. Just drink a little bit every once in a while. Mm -hmm. you know, no, by a little bit, you mean like Ace? Uh, what is? What do we figure Ace? A thousand bottles a year? Vodka and vodka. <laughs> wow. He likes vodka, and then if you uh, for a mixer, he uses vodka. vodka. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With a touch of vodka. They want to give me a thousand dollars to go. I'm going to liquor stores. Stock out. Let me try. Let me try this course then on you, you guys. Now let's just say. You had a thousand dollars. We give you a thousand bucks in cash, uh -huh. but you've got to spend it before noon today, and you have to spend it in cash. What do you do? So you got certain limitations. You can't, you know, pay a bill necessarily. You can't go online and buy something. So I can't something. just get my brakes done and be over. <laughs> no. uh, yeah, because no. that's, that's pretty easy. Yeah, you can get his brakes. I think so. Yeah, yeah, you can do yeah. that. Yeah. You get your brakes done. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. Yeah. I, mean, I, just, and I, I yeah. just complain the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I wish I could do something with my thousand bucks that I got to spend. Something. I have to get my brakes. Oh, you don't have time. Do you, do you, do you need a new air filter? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Do you change your own air filter? I change my own. I buy, I bear, buy the air filter at the place and right? then do it myself in the parking lot <laughs> after getting my oil done because I know they're ripping me off. 20 bucks compared to your 80. You're never paying me off. <laughs> no, Ace said he'd, get, he'd buy $1,000 worth of vodka. Really? Just one bottle? That's and we didn't even know he drank. I was stunned when he, when he said that. No, the weekend. No, Ace, if, if, I, if, you, if I were to be in the market for some illegal marijuana, would, do you know a guy? No. Really? Is, He's never been a marijuana guy. I mean, you know all these musicians. Here's I mean, my question. <laughs> Who's going after illegal marijuana? <laughs> <laughs> I know people. You can go to really good places and get the, the good stuff, but... Uh, it depends on what state you're Yeah, it depends on the state, check, check, check local oh, is it still? Is yeah. it still yeah. illegal here? Yeah. yeah. It depends where oh, oh, yeah. Are uh, you still bussing the kids? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for mentioning that. Get it together. Get it together, Indiana. Look, I got to kick you guys out. I'm sorry. It's my understanding you have a... Uh, 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 we do have to go do day. television. I don't know if you know about the medium. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but we'll have to go do a TV and yes. try to sell. Are you, you going to get dressed for it, or are you going to no, wear no, that? No, this is what I'm wearing. Okay. I, I dress the same for radio and TV. <laughs> okay. Guys, but I, I, I'm Look very great. interested. Like, hey, you're going to have to have you do morning TV, because those people come out to comedy. Grandma's <laughs> going to buy 10 tickets to come see me. <laughs> Not the people that are driving to work. Not this old, old lady that's waiting for, for, for Price is Right to come on. <laughs> I'm the idiot. Who's this idiot? So I'm going to get up and I'm like, we got to get out of Bob and Tom. We're not going to sell any tickets there. We're going to get to Channel 8. <laughs> Good luck so mad about it right Good now. Luck. Like, you should yeah. be. Oh, do you guys want me to do to Telegraph? Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. John, do, 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 do. Hang on, Ian Baggs. The Ian Baggs here. John, the man just took over at Ian Baggs down in Indianapolis. <laughs> It was nice to meet you, John. I hope nice we can get you in here when he's not here to and take all your no, time. I love it. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thank Thanks you, for John. Blackballing me again. If you don't, yes. leave, if you don't leave, you're going to get in trouble. Out of here. See you, Bye. <laughs> See you guys. I love you all. Okay. Love you. love you more. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Ian, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see now. Where were we? Uh, oh, uh, we were at the. Are we still at the news desk? Oh yeah. Of what course. happened? Well, let's see what happened. Scientists have developed a method to identify drunks by analyzing their voices. I Duh. have you know I'm not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> For the study, participants were asked to recite a tongue twister before consuming alcohol. Oh, I'm good at tongue twisters. They were then asked to repeat the oh. difficult phrase each hour for up to seven hours after drinking alcohol. What? Whoa. Recordings of the participants reading tongue twisters were used to develop a machine learning model, a, a machine learning model to predict intoxication. Mm. They found that the model was 98% accurate in predicting whether the individual reading the text was under the influence of alcohol. Ah, so the police use their So they just give you a tongue ears. twister. Yeah. Wait a minute, what's the percentage of correct? 98% accuracy. There's... There's nothing that's 98% accurate, is there? Uh, according to this. Um, well, okay, you want to try one, Chick? That's fascinating. You're good yeah. at them? Yeah, go ahead. Remember the one that begins with Peter Piper? Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers. Okay. That was good. How about... Uh, Red leather, yellow leather. How about she sells? I have trouble with this one. Do you? You got the button over there? Uh, My sister Sally sells seashells on the seashore. Uh, that's, oh, that's close enough. I had to pause was, a little bit. That was yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, those are good. But uh, do you know any of them, Christy? No, just the ones you've already done. Big I'm... black rubber baby buggy bumpers. I remember yeah. rubber baby buggy, buggy bumpers. bumpers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I know uh, what I, I know what I say to the cops. What do you say? Do you know who I am? <laughs> Hell yeah. I, I say it perfectly. <laughs> and then I follow it with, I am the law. <laughs> they love that. They love it. I'm paying your salary, one of those yeah. classics. Um, okay, Peter so, Piper's number one. Okay, the number two, uh, number three, I'm sorry. How much wood? Would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? There very good. Go. Ooh, very good. Yeah, that, I never thought that was very tough. Nah. You know, there's one that I really have trouble with, and I can't remember it right now. Damn it. Uh, a big black bug bit a big black bear. I have A big heard black that bug one. bit a big black bear. Okay. I can do that one. Okay. Big black penis. I ruined it. <laughs> oh. I guess I couldn't do it. <laughs> Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it'll make my batter bitter. <laughs> that was batter. good. Mm. You, make it you know what? And that... Tongue twister had a story. Yeah, yeah, nice. I like yes. that. Yeah. How about this one? Frivolously fancy Fanny fried fresh fish furiously. Hmm. Wow, that, that's a, Ooh. That's a, a tough, tough one. one. Um, fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Fuzzy Wuzzy had, had no hair. hair. Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't very fuzzy. Wuzzy, that's a classic. Yeah, that is a classic. classic. Every kid can do that. I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. <laughs> These are, these are a snap. That is I, tough if you do that hard. I mean, I if you do that fast. I saw a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Yeah. I saw huh. a kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's not hard. There now, what we should do is do this, but have doing shots all morning. Well. You can imagine. Wait. Don't do any of the ones that have an SH sound in them. Who can we get to do shots in the morning? Ace, Ace. apparently. <laughs> Ace is the new chick. <laughs> Ace, if we could, would you do shots Poor if Ace. we made a range? Yeah, well, he says one thing. He's going to say yes, and then the day, day comes the and he'll go, I was. Uh, well, yeah, limo? Hey. Will limo, limo you two in from the show? Uh, pour you into a limo at uh, town, town car. <laughs> town car. Uber X. Okay, fine. Yeah. Uh, let's get back to uh, Christine. An arrest warrant has been issued for a man accused of dumping 
a large sailboat onto a Florida beach. I saw this. Have you seen the picture of this thing? It's a beautiful boat. According to WKMG... Uh, we... No one like... Well, it's like magic. No, I don't know. <laughs> the sailboat had been abandoned <laughs> on New Smyrna Beach for over two months. Volusia County Sheriff Mike Chitwood said they have since identified <laughs> the man. You're drunk. Yeah. No, Chit. <laughs> I knew a termite named Chitwood. Did you? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael John Grimes was obtained uh, and a warrant for his arrest has you been know issued. What? what kind of movements do termites have? All that cellulose? You've seen it. We like have? They'll show it on uh, HGTV and stuff like that. They'll go, oh, look at this. This is a termite. And it looks oh. like sawdust. Okay, it's resident. Okay. Yeah. Is that what yeah. that is? I thought they were just where they chewed the wood. It was just spit out or something. Yeah, and some of that is the feces. Oh. Wow. Snorted wow. to get high. <laughs> Is that, is that right? Real high, but man, you got to want it. That's what it says on the internet. <laughs> the 49-year-old is charged with a felony violation of the Florida litter law as it applies to amounts exceeding 500 pounds. According to Chitwood, Grimes <laughs> beached the boat and ordered an Uber after he washed ashore. He then reached out to the Coast Guard and Sito and was quoted a price of $15,000 to have the boat removed. No wonder he left it there. Mr. Grimes' last known address was said to be Concord, California, his current location unknown. Um, Officer Chitwood said they have been trying to get in contact with him since November. It's a beautiful boat. He's I, I'm not guessing, responded. I'm wondering if he still has a lot of payments on it to just walk and Maybe. The boat's worth more than $15,000. I, I abandoned a car. You did? That's right. Yeah, the Gremlin, the Gremlin in uh, Springfield, Ohio. You just ditched it? Uh, at a place called the Hill Apartment Complex. <laughs> which, which apparently is still there, but your car is not. Uh, yes, a listener sent in a picture. Or the yes. apartment complex is still there, but the car was finally removed. But uh, I'm th is, I, is your credit rating ever recovered? Uh, you keep quiet. Everything's <laughs> cash now. Uh, let me think. <laughs> I'm going to say that was 19... 88. Now, did you take the plates off? and? No. No? No, I just left it there, and, and uh, I was gonski. Okay. So that's more or less what this guy did with a boat, I think. Yeah. So unless they get a hurricane sometime soon, that baby's going to be sitting there for a while. I think it was okay for the car, though, right? It doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt the car anymore. No, no, no. but... <laughs> what about the stain in the... <laughs> now, that hurts the car. Did the, the car still lot. run? Um... No, I think it had two flat tires, and it never oh, did. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a gremlin. What kind of questions? Good that? point. <laughs> There's a kid stuck in a so, claw wait, machine wait, again. Wait a second. Oh, what? Are they just going to leave this boat there? Well, I don't know. They I'm sure if you come up with 15 him. grand, you can move it yourself. If you come can up you keep with 15 it? grand, yeah. yeah. It's a sailboat. It. It's a pain in the ass. Nope, oh, nope. He's a sailor. Oh, oh, be Tom's careful. a sailor. Beautiful. I, <laughs> <laughs> I knew you have to move around the deck and stuff, Josh. Here we go. Hmm? You'd, be, you'd be very... You're telling me there's no way a sailboat is as fun as it is. There's be It's it's more of a work. pain than it is fun. Work. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Has to be. Uh, you you know, all those pictures, uh, you see the, the guy wind. in the sailboat with his hand on the tiller and he's just looking That's like out 30 seconds of being yeah. on the water. The rest <laughs> of it out there is yeah. just complete 30 to 40 seconds nonsense. of that and everything else is <laughs> just, just work. cranking yeah. and rolling. Stress and worry. Yeah. 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 You're just yeah. upset. Trying to find they, the wind. They, yeah. they, but back in the days when you were heavier, they treated you like ballast. Josh, we got. We got I've to, actually never been on. We got to get an even keel. Move to the. Move You've never to been on a sailboat. No, no. Tom, we need to go on a sailing trip. Okay, well, sounds awful. I'll take a sailing. It does <laughs> sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound like a nightmare. Do you have to do work, or can you just sit there and enjoy it? You can just sit there. Oh, you got to duck, uh, you you duck every once in a while. How do you get it started? If I say, how how ready, started? ready about hard to lead, that boom's going to come flying and knock you right in the head. I think women can just sit there. That's what they're oh, for really? on a yeah. sailboat. Yeah. Okay, give me a push. Yeah. I think they have motors, too, don't they? Sailboats Some now? Some of them, if you get Yeah. Them, yeah. Doesn't that tell you everything you need to know about a sailboat? It needs a motor. <laughs> well, no, not all of them do. I just get a motorboat. You know, the best, you know the best way to dispose of a sailboat? No. Viking funeral. Yeah. Set that baby yeah. on fire and set it safe. Now, isn't that legal somewhere? Didn't we hear that? Yeah, yeah. I think so. There's a story about that. I thought it was Nova, Nova Scotia. Scotia, yeah. I thought. I think yeah. that'd be great. To have a Viking funeral? Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah oh, put that in your will, because we would love to come everybody, to that. Everybody, I would love to set oh. you on fire. Every, every, everybody <laughs> takes boats out, and they're circling around. That'd be fun. 
playing All Jimmy right. Buffett songs. <laughs> they, what did they do? Wait a minute. Are you happy up until then? I like mine with French fried potatoes. Jesus Christ. And by the way, when I saw in this headline, dumping in a Florida beach, I thought, oh, God. That's just awful. Uh, Christy, we got time for one more. What Police do you got? in Australia rescued a young boy who got stuck in a claw machine. Queensland police said officers responded to the Kapalaba shop, the Kapal, Kapalaba shopping center after a three-year-old became trapped. The boy named Ethan climbed in through the prize dispenser in search of toys. Damn it. In a Ethan. video of the rescue, police instruct the boy to move away from the front of the machine, cover his eyes so they before... they could shoot the glass out. <laughs> exactly. Officers shattered the glass. Yeah, but they didn't oh, shoot it No, out. they didn't shoot it <laughs> They then lift the boy out of the machine and reunite him with his family. Uh, well, that's after they'd gone through 72 bucks and quarters. And they said they could not get him, couldn't get him out. Could not pick him up. Uh, no. And then his mom was there to get that Mother of the Year award. Uh, oh, yeah. Why is it her fault? Wait, yeah. Keep an eye on your kid. You've had oh, a kid get away on, from you. Right, yeah. not a you locked place. a kid in a car for an afternoon. It was only an hour. <laughs> <laughs> the AC was still on and it was hot. All right. All right. I stand correct. Try telling a one and a half year old how to unlock the door. Um, no. Well, uh, uh, coming up uh, in oh, coming up is our history lesson, isn't it? Oh yeah, sure yeah, is. Wow, right. where'd the time go today? Just I don't know. Flew by. What else is that? Oh, today's anything about today's history? <laughs> Today yeah. is February second. I don't know. What? No, it's not time for that. <sighs> Groundhog Day. <laughs> today in history. Today yeah. is Groundhog Day, and we and found he saw out a that shadow, Puxatani right? Phil did not see a shadow. Yeah, you guys figure it out. I'm getting a coffee. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> we have an early spring coming. That's all I know. It's going to warm up. Okay. It's good news <laughs> out right. of Philado of ben Pennsylvania. No. No, they're doing a Viking funeral for Puxatawney Phil. <laughs> no, no, no why? Puxatawney Phil is fine. No, again, she got I, wanna, I don't care. Groundhog Tom, I want to set something on fire. That's all I know. <laughs> hey, hey, what the matter with your head? Hey, hey, hey. Ho, hey. Uh, uh, right now, this part of the Bob and Tom show is brought to you by Better Help. No, it's a common misconception that relationships have to be easy. He's Mr. Right. Everything is perfect. She's Mr. Nope. Uh-uh. Sometimes uh -uh. it takes some work, and maybe a little work on yourself would be helpful, too. That's uh, why we want to make this a great 2024. BetterHelp has stepped up to help you. What BetterHelp is all about is therapy, and BetterHelp wants to take advantage of contemporary technology. We're getting really used to these uh, phones. You can be anywhere, anytime in the world on a Zoom call, and BetterHelp says, let's take care of that and let's use that in the world of therapy. You fill out a brief questionnaire, you'll be matched with one of 25,000 licensed therapists. By the way, you can switch therapists at any time, no charge. And then um, the deal is you can uh, plan it around your schedule. It's all about being flexible. You don't have to leave work, go to some office, park the car, sit in the lobby, do this. Do, no, uh-uh. It's done at your convenience. That's the beauty of BetterHelp. And find out all about it by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show. That'll knock 10% off your first month. And become your own uh, soulmate, whether you're looking for one or not. Betterhelp.com slash BT show. Once again, knocking 10% off your first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash bt show learn some uh, positive coping skills and once again uh, it's uh, very convenient and flexible and suited to your schedule and it can be done with a camera on it can be done with a camera off like a phone call it can be done texting back and forth whatever works for you once again this portion of the bob and tom show brought to you by better help coming up what we learned on the show and a little bit of history a very exciting day in history bob. oh really yeah i'm very oh. excited this is the bob and tom show Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or anytime. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look. 
There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. From Duluth. From Duluth. And you made the. Uh, how did you make the transfer into the, the transition into stand-up comedy? Did you have regular jobs? Well, I yeah, I worked as a secretary, and I missed that. I missed the camaraderie because you don't always get to see people on the road as a comedian. So yeah, I miss that. Where do you want to go for lunch? What do you want to get for lunch? Where do you want to go for lunch? <laughs> I get like a sandwich, some <laughs> or like a salad. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I mean, maybe we just a place I could get like a diet coke. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> we could go to quiz. <laughs> yes, we could. Yes, we could. I like the drama, you know, like, uh -huh. don't touch Don Donna's label maker. <laughs> okay. No, don't. Don't even look at it. Why? Because she bought it with her own money. Oh. oh enough said, sister. Uh -huh. Why don't you tell Donna to keep her mitts off my freaking tape dispenser, which she should know is mine because it's clearly label... Oh. <laughs> I was getting mad. Who stole my key lime pie yo play? It wasn't me. Did you eat my southwestern style lean cuisine? No. Did you eat my half chocolate rabbit I've been gnawing on for five years? It's basically only half a head and an ear with a soft baby blue ribbon wrapped around it because my ma gave it to me for Easter. Yes. <laughs> Don't. Oh. It took you too long. I had to scrabble it up in my chops. Um, but yeah, I used to work as a secretary for a long time. Yes, you've been around. Yeah, I've been around. And I used to work as a Star Trek character in a touring show. I was, a what? I did a Star Trek character. Character. Oh, we really? What? Mall, Wait a mall <laughs> openings and uh, Jack in the Box promotions around the country. Which, which uh, what Star Trek? Character? Well, I was a Bajoran, uh, which is from Deep Space Nine. Not many people. Oh, Greetings. So, I'm sounds... Major Lelanka, the planet Bajor. Get the F away from me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was most of my job. What is the, what is the name All of the, right. uh, the tribe, the people? Uh, the Bajorans. So they're Armenians. Bajorans. We were most, we were <laughs> like uh, the Jews of your World War II. <laughs> <laughs> we were decimated by the Kardashians, which are And the Kardashians lizard, definitely are media. Yeah, yeah they are. Yeah. <laughs> They're lizard-like people. <laughs> and all I have left of my parents to remember them by is this bloody paper doll. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a napkin with some ketchup on it from this food court. Oh, so you're a denier of the Holocaust. I see. Well, why don't you wait for your wife to come back from the, t the Chico's where she's buying a boxy jacket? Maria Bamford is our guest. <laughs> This paper doll. Oh. Did you? Did well, you? I haven't seen Chick look like that. In a did you ever? Uh, did you ever work at a theme park as a I, we, character or anything? They like uh, they trained us at a theme park, and it was mostly it was uh, in North Carolina, so it was quite. It was a very like it was a place where people wore a lot of religious kind of rock star T-shirts, where they'd right. go like, "Come follow Christ, he's going to be seen at the mega," you know, like yeah, that right. kind of uh -huh. thing. So we, we yeah, I did a little work there, but I'm not very good at talking to strangers, you mm -hmm. know, trying to get people interested in talking to me. I just, oh, it was just terrible. It was mostly that, like, greetings. You got makeup all over your face. Uh, you mean my genetic makeup? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very different from you. <laughs> uh, I'm an alien. <laughs> no. I wish the Vulcans would come back from their smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have that hair net. Oh, man. It's so right, right, right. And your name is Moody McCarthy, but you're not called Moody because you were bipolar or no, this no, was I, a nickname you had as a kid. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm... I, I had a conversation that messed my head up because my friend's real depressed. And yeah. I asked her, I go, 
I go, what's that like when it's at its worst? And she goes, oh, I just sleep all the time and I don't leave the apartment. I was like, uh oh. Those are the two things that make me happy. <laughs> Heck now yeah. I'm depressed that I'm not depressed. I don't know. But I like depressed people. They're, they're easy to be around. Yeah. Right? Very low maintenance. Right. Uh-huh. My girlfriend in college, she's depressed. And I used to ask her, I go, hey, what do you want to do today? She's like, eh, nothing. I'm like, done. <laughs> so weak. All right. I felt like a provider. Uh, <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Uh, the hyper people make me... Uh, Anxious, like, because they uh, people assume I want to do whatever they want to yeah, do. Let's like, go hiking, let's go backpacking, yeah. let's go ride bikes. Oh, that's be f- oh. that'd be great. You do those things? <laughs> no, my, my oh. least favorite question when someone asks you, they don't even tell you what they got lined up. They're like, What are you doing tomorrow morning? I'm like, Uh, screening your call. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> And the sign said, anybody caught trespassing <laughs> will be shot on sight. So I jumped over the fence and yelled at the house, hey, what gives me? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, this is comedian John Evans, the High Plains thrifter. And Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. It's time now for, uh, I think this is my favorite holiday of the entire uh, year. Oh, Groundhog Day. Really? Yeah. You going to watch a movie today in celebration? No, Andy McDowell's still in it. And until oh. I go back and she's been cut out of it, then I could probably watch it. What do you think, Tom? You like it. It's, I like that I, movie. It's good. Very fun. Right. Time now for today in history. Two, 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 four. Um. Woo! In 1847, the first member of the Donner Party died. Oh. Oh, my God. Old age? Uh, <laughs> no. Ironically named Stu. <laughs> not, a lot of people, not a lot of people know that. <laughs> okay, that's false. I don't know. I'd have to get really, really hungry. Okay. Uh, the first um, Man. Uh, Groundhog Day was celebrated in 1887. Hmm. Oh, so- uh, sponsored by the Groundhog De- Groundhog Consortium or the... 1887. I wonder how that got started. I don't know, but I, I, it's gotten a lot more popular since the movie. Mm-hmm. I think it's maybe because it's a great movie, Bill Murray's in it. And what if Bill Murray could work on Earth Day and make that a little more marketable? Doesn't really get the pizzazz that Groundhog Day has. Mm. Um, how about this? Um, the Chiefs beat San Francisco to win their first Super Bowl in 2020. That's right. Uh, now, rematch. Uh, let's do some birthdays. Oh, this is a really good one. I know Josh, you're a literary guy, like reading books. 1882. <laughs> I like books. James Joyce. Mm hmm. And you're pro Joyce. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. I, I know. Very well done. Yes. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I just uh, saw Ulysses? this. Ulysses? Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, but uh, it's Ulysses. I, I oh, just saw sorry. a thing about a group. I'm, I'm not kidding. There's an organization that uh, read one of his other famous books, um, Finnegan's Wake, and it took them 25 years. They Jeez, read, like a page what? a week. It's uh, ridiculous. It's it's all gibberish. Uh, oh, I'd have to reread the page before. I'd still be doing. It. Well, <laughs> the way they did it is they uh, they got really high. Uh, yeah. They'd go there, so they called it um, the Finnegan's Wake and Bake. Oh. And they got really toasted. Wasn't there uh, a comedian who had uh, something of James Joyce, uh, something from one of his books tattooed on his bicep yeah. or something? Mm-hmm. Who was that? Yeah. I, I, I forget. Uh, 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 we have... Um, uh, is it pronounced Ayn Rand? Ayn Rand? Is it Ayn? I think it's Ayn, yeah. I never could figure that I out. I know Ayn Rand was the dancer, right? The fan yep. dancer? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. Ayn Rand, Rand, yeah. Ayn, so it's Ayn like anal? Ayn. Oh, Ayn? Okay, like, never mind. <laughs> no, it's not Ayn like Ayn. <laughs> uh, how about um, 1947, happy birthday, Farrah Fawcett. Oh. No, it's Farrah. Ace was in love with Farrah Fawcett. Interesting that she's the only mm-hmm. Fawcett that can turn you on. Oh. <laughs> right? I mean, usually you turn on. Oh, Her oh. death got Michael Jackson, didn't it? They yeah. died like, on the same day. and Yeah, the same weekend. She was all but yeah, really ignored. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, oh, oh. You'll like this one, Christy. The uh, the Barefoot Contessa. 
mm-hmm. born on this date in uh, 1948. She's a cook, right? Yes. The thing and, uh, She's very good. Knows everything. Yeah, Excited for a health code violation. I would think so. You cannot have those. It's just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you got to wear socks, feet. too. Oh, yeah. my She's God. It's a wonderful show. It's kind of so relaxing to Get watch. Get your feet out of the pot uh, is what they'll say. Uh, Brett Spiner. Who? Brett Spiner, 1949. Oh, yeah, Data, right? Yeah. Android. Next gen. It's a walking ad for Samsung. Um, what? I don't know that one. Android? Yeah, it's a, not a not an iPhone. I got a phone. Oh, uh, okay. So um, I don't know it. You know, this one is Christy. Just Dwayne Chapman, born in 53. No. Sure you do. Better known as Dog the Bounty Hunter. No. Oh. Um, and uh, lastly, um, Gucci Mane. Is that a rapper? Is that a rapper? Mm-hmm. Designer name is that a real name or is it? Well, I, I, I don't know. How many matters. rappers use their real names? Versace. Try uh, this. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Uh, okay. <laughs> no. Um, time now for time now for things we learned on uh, the show today. Brought to you by Hyundai, the all-new Hyundai 2024 Santa Fe, equipped for adventure with capable features like available H-Track all-wheel drive and standard. Third row seating. That's Hyundai. Uh, Taylor uh, Taylor Swift might not be able to find a place to park her private jet uh, next Sunday in <laughs> Vegas. Don't worry Super about Bowl. that. I think they'll figure it you out. Might not, that might be a big damn deal. I'm sorry, they Taylor. Can, they can drop her off and fly the jet somewhere else, come back and pick her up. All right. She skydived down to the field. Oh, oh that would be so awesome. Would be amazing. That's, that would, that's what Pink would do. The yeah. dome. You're right. Yes. Well, you land on the top of the roof and then <laughs> the camera all down. <laughs> boy, nobody can piss on a joke like Ace, huh? <laughs> boy, oh boy. Now, know. will you do something, please? Uh, he could, do, could he you, doesn't. What else would we learn today? Uh, I will be solely responsible for bringing the sun back during the total eclipse on April 8th. It'll all be up to me. <laughs> we'll have to make sure you're not sick. And I think we right. found a picture of you emerging from the sewer. Yes, it's we, uh, there we go. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Wow, well, that's a good. But where'd you get that one? I only got one. I wasn't even looking at the camera. Look at that cheesy mustache. Oh. You bastards, let me walk around like that. <laughs> you and you, I know you guys were laughing behind my back. No, we no, weren't. Go check out the mustache. It looks ridiculous. <laughs> Josh, you you won't lie to me. It doesn't was the that, fashion of the day. Doesn't that look ridiculous? The mustache looked ridiculous. I it, don't think so. It's, it was kind of a '70s porn stash. <laughs> Uh, I like it. Man, oh, man, oh, man. What else we got? Uh, Ed Septic, uh, the new sponsor of Fail Dimension News. And remember, he won't sleep with your wife unless you absolutely insist upon it. Pucks County Phil uh, did not see a shadow, so we're going to have an early spring. Good news. Uh, evidently, I don't know how this started, but Ian Bagg uh, said that he was blackballed from our show for five years. None of us remember it, but... Who am I to question Ian? <laughs> sure. So, uh, let's see. Willie Griswold plans to spend money on Super Bowl tickets on alcohol and legal weed in Vegas. Willie's going to be our uh, correspondent in Vegas next week. Yes, oh, he'll be he great. is. Uh, and I don't think any of us will uh, ever forget where we were when Tom called one of our comedian guests, John Wynn, oh. a big fat pig. <laughs> Oh, no, I said in the photograph that he, that he has, he's lost 70 pounds. He looks great. Uh-huh. Oh, he's got to get a new publicity photograph. Yeah, but... This thing looks like a blimp. Uh, Have a good weekend. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. He was very sweet. I, I liked him a lot. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us? Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This...